No, he's coming in here. No, no. Guys, I'm dead. I thought you got him off me, Highland. Oh, dude, there's a chicken right there, dude. Three forty-two. What's up, Indy? Three forty-six. So we got two hundred there. We got fucking. Oh, he got me, dude. What? Dude, he fuck what? what? Oh, fuck. Dude. I didn't hear a death nothing. Wow, that's fucking garbage. How did that yeah, happen? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. No, you fucking assholes. You guys are you fucking cocksuckers. Wow! You guys are a bunch of fucking dickholes! Swear to fucking God! Why can't I move? Why can't I move? Shit barometer is off. Measures the shit pressure in the air. <laughs> you know what a shit barometer is? It measures the shit. A shit and strawberry shortcake, Randy. Uh. God damn it, dude. No, 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 no! Fuck you, dude! Wow! 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 Pure trash! Pure trash! Koski, let me tell you something. This is how the best way you guys can do. Put a, take a sharpie and put a dot right in the center of your fucking monitor, and you will destroy people. In this fucking game. Now you guys know how to combat the fucking cheaters. Yeah, third Christ. No, I didn't. Oh, no. Holy shit, I threw the fucking spike baseball bat at him and it blew up. And I Got little shots over here. What's that? Is that? Who's that? Is that Chronica? Bitch, get off my property! Oh, God damn it! The fuck was that? That was you. I don't know. Whoa! Oh shit! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking stopped and I <laughs> clipped that. It's, it's super. What the fuck? Oh, shit, no, damn Where's the therapy button? What the fuck? What's up, Miss Zilla? Yeah.
Cooper. We got beeper. Fuck, man. They're fucking riding after us. Open the fucking door. We got fucking zombies running up under the shit. The door's, the door's open, are... dude. Wow. Wow, that's Who great, died? man. Who died? The doors were open. I'm hurt down to 34%. I'm dead. I'm... Yeah. You and Lethal are dead. You're gonna take this down. You're gonna take this down to the next major four-way intersection. Keep going past that south. We got a while. Just keep going south. At the next turn, go fuck yourself. <laughs> right? Where the game is, you go to workshop, community hub here where you launch the game. Then you go to workshop. Then you go your workshop files, subscribed items. This is the subscribed items for just this game. Hit unsubscribe from all, and then go back into the game. It'll reinstall them. I heard that. Oh, man. You suck. I heard the explosion. Oh, I saw the plane. Did the plane just go down? Yeah, they shoot it themselves. <laughs> the yeah, I just saw the plane go down. They blew themselves up. <laughs> it gets so cold at night. Oh, my God. Fuck. That came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking giveaways over, you pricks. And I, 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 I don't, I, I don't, I really like yoga pants. I'm not saying that they're bad. I love them actually. So I just want you to know that you ladies keep wearing your yoga pants, okay? What the fuck happened? I got dicks first. <laughs> oh! 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 And I'm bleeding. You can escape by tapping F. Fucking trash. <laughs> Fucking idiots. He's right on my ass. I don't know how he's fucking keeping up with me, dude. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? This fucking smoke. Oh, he's just fucking... Oh no, no! It was a meat grinder there for a No. Okay. Oh, 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 get out! Come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Motorcycle, dude. Motorcycle. Someone's on the motorcycle. What's up, guys? What's up, Jigoku? What's up, Stewie? 
going on, man? What's going on? What's going on? Sup. Sup, 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 sup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. What happened? I just saw Lethal in Discord. He's gone now. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Maybe he went pee-pee in his pants. What's up, McSquack? How's it going, dude? So did you guys see the, uh, the video today? I, I seem to think that at 107, that's NPC. Hard to tell. I also think it's just an advertisement for the game, too, because unlike all the people who play the game and bitch about it, new people don't. They need to learn what the game's about. So I don't know. What's up, Bobby? I'm not too I'm not too sure what what exactly it is. Either way, I know I know personally there's a lot of things coming out. And I'm just you're just gonna have to wait, you know? Just like your mom waited all night for me to come over. Right. All right, so with that going, let's start the fucking giveaway. New games on the wheel tonight, and the wheel is a little bit chunkier. Open wide for chunky. Hey, what's up, Eric? I think you're my only YouTube chat. Now nah, there was another guy here yesterday that was watching me play Armor Reforger. That was fun, not going to lie. Had fun on Armor Reforger. Um... I really can't play those games a lot because I get fucking I get really annoyed with bullshit like the bullshit that was going on the uh yesterday with fucking shooting at a dude and it does nothing happens and then all of a sudden I get one shotted so but that's a good uh it's a good uh like uh fucking escape not that I have to escape from scum but you know like I told Matrix today scum's a lot like the wife Sometimes you can't stand her, but you always love her. Good to hear, Eric. Good to hear. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, that game's fun. Clearly, they're they're pressing it because they fucking gave Shroud and fucking Lyric a bunch of money to play it. Like, those guys just don't magically start playing the same game all the time. I don't think they're friends, are they? What's up, Brazili? I don't think Shroud and Lyric are friends, are they? So, you know, Bohemia was like, okay, let's dump a bitch, bunch of money into the hands of these guys. Like, I mean, if you're going to dump money on your game... So here's the thing. I think what Scum does, when they give the money to these paid streamers, they're very opinionated about it. What's up, Navigator? If I was going to give money and I was a company, I'd be like, here's the money you're going to get if you either play the fucking game and tell everyone you love it or don't take the money. So you either be a sellout or don't fucking take the money. That's what I would say. Because money talks and bullshit walks. All right? So yeah, Shroud, Lyric was playing it. What's up, Crush Crush MC? Remember, guys, you got to be a follower. If you're not following me, the bot's not going to pick you because it's followers only. Not subs, just followers. Just got to be a follower. Backdraft, hello, hello. All right, Backdraft, who is famous for using that saying, hello, hello? And he says nine, like nine, 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 nine. Oh, great, the sunset on the beautiful. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? That was weird. Oh, I know why, because I fucking, uh, I had my uh, mouse on the other screen, and when I hit my keyboard, it... It hit the, yeah, he knows what I, Baba Booey, Baba Booey.
No, 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 no. I, I was, I had my mouse on my other computer, and when I hit W to move forward, it, it W was the wheel. Hello, hello, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. Nine. I was here at nine o'clock. Baba Booey. What's up, Grim? No, there's no giveaway, guys. We're not. I mean, there's a giveaway going, but there's not one right now. Look at this beautiful place. Look at it. Luxury. Fantasy. Fantasy. So I think I'm going to go to the junkyard. My gaming life is like a nine. And my personal life is like a four. You know? Fucking... He's such a chooch. Now, the wheel is fat. Dude, can you believe? What's up? Can you believe that fucking how many fucking you won but you lost yesterday? I added a bunch of games to the wheel. Here's the games that I added to the wheel. Days Gone, Doom Eternal, Fallout 4, Aliens, Fire Team Elite, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Doom, Destroy All Humans 2, Reprobed, Glo uh, Reprobed Mortal Kombat 11, Seven Days to Die, and Sid Meier's Civ 6. Along with Helldivers and Humankind and uh, uh, old, there's a bunch of games on there. There's a bunch of games. You got fucking... This War Mine Complete Edition, Warhammer 40,000, Sanctus Reach Complete Edition, Helldivers 2. So you got a lot of la 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 well, we weren't sure if you were talking to us because sometimes when we answer, you're like, I'm talking to the screen, motherfucker. Well, less than anybody here. <laughs> wow. So I mean, wow. 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 Now, this is Doom, the two new Dooms. These are the two, the, the last, the latest version of Doom in its, like, uh, current state of production. Not, like, old school Doom. Like, new Doom. Like, Doom, like, gory, fucking rip alien heads off and fucking punch their guts out, Doom. I made some whole... No, the, you won, you lost, will always stay at five. So, what's up, Faye? So, I'm not going to go any more than that. Because... You know, there's a way that you can... The way you work the wheel is the way you work the wheel, right? Oh, work the wheel. Oh, yeah. I know the wheel that you get worked. Dead virus, what's up? Wow. Dude, I was laughing so hard. I gave Luis my fucking gun sounds for di from Dixburg. And yeah. dude, he was freaking the fuck out, dude. He ne <laughs> he didn't even listen to him either. I don't think he actually checked to see what they were like, and he didn't realize how good they were. You know what I mean? Then it would kind of boy, I'd give anything for a glass of water. Well, it's a one in uh, it's a one in seven chance to hit it basically right now because there's fucking. Uh, There's five spots and there's seven, seven uh, spaces in between each game. Well, now, you know, I mean, obviously, obviously after the, uh, oh. hold on a second. What's up, McDarkly? 
I don't know. I got to do something real quick. I don't know why. Sometimes my fucking streaming PC just runs like shit. It just gets into these fucking weird, funky, like, uh... That's right. Now feed me. Hey, baby. Nice thank you for the follow. Wait, are you a dude? Oh, wait, I'm saying follow. Brazili, sub, resub. I don't know why. Why is my fucking mouse like not grabbing the uh the the bars to move the uh you know how you we resize a window? It's not doing that. Uh, I gotta see I gotta see what uh what's eating up uh memory on my streaming PC or CPU usage. Oh, no, 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 no. I see what it is. Too many porn sites open. No, you know, I, I leave stuff open like, uh, like, uh, like my, my browser. Like I'll leave that shit open. Like, I don't know, fucking for weeks, you know? And it's like, has my stream. <clears throat> my stream labs website and all that for the wheel and all that shit so yeah of course when you do that kind of dumb shit mr johnny blaze what's up what's up blaze what did i think of this scum trailer i i you know what quite honestly i i've seen that <laughs> Oh, your cat. Uh, I've seen I've seen a commercial for Scum on social media. You gotta remember, they want to get this game out to people who don't play it. Like, I don't understand why people who play the game and own the game feel they're owed, like, trailers and commercials. You own the game already. Like, you don't need to be told what's in it. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's that's what it really is. I don't think it's... I don't think it's, like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, Xbox is going to fucking change the landscape of this game. Totally. It's like saying, like, what do you need a commercial for Chevy if you drive a fucking Chevy? You know what I mean? Ah, sorry. Hey, what's up, Shadwell? You know what I mean? Sorry. So that, yeah, I was, uh, I got distracted. I'm trying to do like 10 things right now. And I'm not really good with, uh, with that kind of stuff. Cause. That's right. Now feed me, baby. Nice and slow. Wait, are you a dude? Hey, EJ. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I got to open this. It's like I have a command and control, you know what I mean? And if I don't have that all open, it's kind of fucking weird because stuff doesn't work then. So yeah. No, I think I think it's uh I think it's good. I mean, again, you want more people who there's no people playing the game. Well, you're going to have to fucking uh you're going to have to advertise. So, I mean, there was really no commercial per se before, right? So, I'm not I I don't understand why I mean, I get why people want to see a trailer. They want to see what's coming. They want to get a boner and be like, "Oh my god, that's what's going to be coming," you know? But I don't think, 
I don't know. I kind of thought that one person was an NPC. It might be. You know NPCs are coming. You know they're probably going to bring back all the juicy stuff. You know, all the fucking vehicles we had before, I'm sure, are going to show back up eventually. I got a question. Who here got baloney, baloney nipples? nipples? <laughs> okay, I think I got everything fucking sorted. I really, really do. Uh, but I like to have my YouTube open. I got to have that open. And I got to have uh, my restream IO I need open. Because I stream to multiple sites at once. So I have to have all that open. Because then I, if I need to shut something down, I can just shut it down if I need to. So yeah, sorry for being, uh, you know, pulling a lethal on you and giving you trash, uh, you know. All right, there you go. Got my YouTube, got Restream open, got my fucking dashboard open for my yay old giveaways. Cause you got to save this on their website, and their website's actually fucking garbage. All widgets, and there's my wheel. My wheel. All right. There we go. VIP. Look at these guys. So we're getting a flying mech or something? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, how else are, how else are you going to explain uh, AI randomly spawning up around the map? You know what I mean? Like, everyone bitches that the zombies just appear. Well... How does a guy yeah, with a gun? One of the videos on Steam on the on the on the scum page, like the purchase, and then they were showing like um, Max being like like you know dropped in, and then they were showing like a freaking uh, flying uh, mech. Yeah, I don't know if that's a flying mech or the top of a mech on a crane. Let me go back. Like, look at it like it's a fucking mech being hoisted on a crane. No, there's one. That's hey, I better like, get VIP like a, status a in your crane. stream, fucking Blaze. I better, I better get this shit. I, I remember when you used to fucking stream on what's that fucking mixer? I don't, I don't, I well, I don't look at the chat, so I don't know. But I don't. Do I have a badge? Am I? Do I have a badge? All right, there we go. Sorry. I'm just trying to get all this fucking crap. Dude, I, these browser windows have been open for so long, it's probably why it was all fucking jaggy. The fucking browser had just gone out of control. You want a badge? Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. In oblivion. Oh, hold on. There's one more thing I got to do. Only song. Did you ever see this video for this song? This is a great fucking video. It's like a giant fucking. I believe this is the one where it's like a giant, like it's like a you know the Japanese fucking movies in the sixties and seventies for Godzilla, where this guy's like in a rubber suit, like Godzilla and Mothra and shit like that. It was like that kind of uh, video. And he's like looking. He's like a godlike figure looking at the uh, little fucking uh, diorama of the world. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think first person is like necessary. I don't know. 
there's no third person peeking. So to me, it's not fucking. I don't know why everybody's like, er, first person. And I'm like, no third person peeking. Who cares? You got all this shit you can dress your character in. You think you'd want to look at it if you paid for a fucking hairdo or a fucking uh, starter pack or a, a pack where you could see your character? Like, how do you know you're actually fucking, uh, you know, Danny Trejo unless you can see him? You know what I mean? No, I don't think it's meta. I just think it's fucking people. Like I said, scum is like your wife. Most of the time, you can't fucking stand her, but you still love her, okay? It's just like that. Take it to the grave, okay? The honest to God's truth. I don't, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel any more immersion in the fucking game when I'm first person. Mainly because I played the game nothing but the way it's been designed since the beginning. So to me, I don't know. I, it may be for some people, but not for me. Not for me, Blaze. I mean, I am in first person all the, most of the time. You know what I mean? When I'm not in first person, I'm driving or I'm just running around looking at how cool the game looks. I mean, that's the great thing. You don't have to play in third person. Third person gives you no advantage. Your field of view in third person is really no much, no different than your field of first person. So, we mean the beginning first person ruined it. I don't get what we, the game. What do you mean the beginning? We like third person, dude. I don't know. I, the reason I bought this game is because they had no third person peeking. Early, I played the game since early in development. I don't see. I don't know what you mean by like how they ruined first person. I mean, you can you can see your feet and your legs. That's about it. I mean, I, I don't recall anything being much different. I played the game since it released. Someone said the other day, I saw someone, they're like, yeah, this guy is so, he's the, he's, he, you can't get any more OG than this guy. And I'm like, I distinctly remember that guy was not playing at the beginning. Like, I know exactly who went, who started this or that or da, 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 da. And I'm like, now nah, that guy came in in like, like 2019 spring. I was there fucking September 29th, 2018. Right there. The day it fucking released. They changed the view camera position on first person. You know, you can fucking, uh, you know, you can change your field of view, right? Like you can make it really tight, really, you know, you can make it like that. You can change your field of view. I don't, I don't, I don't see it, man. I really don't. And that's the God. I played the game since it fucking came out. I think if there was something wonky about it, I'd, I would notice it. No, I was, I've was. i been saying today, and I said yesterday to Matoski that if you played Armor Reforger, that scum, I don't think you should have to slow down, but if I'm carrying all this crap, okay, metabolism, if I go to my uh, my gear weight, right? Hey, where is it at? Thirty six out of forty one kilos. Forty one kilos, dude. If you're carrying forty one kilos, you should not be able to go full blown sprint. It should be everything to do with how much you carry, and that should impact you directly. Now, granted, then you'd want to get stronger to carry more shit so you can be faster, not run longer. Oh yeah, navigate. You'll. I mean, it's a. For you know, for what it is, man. You know, I don't know. I don't know many things that have fucking entertained me for as much as this is, and I paid twenty dollars for this game. Like it, you. And let's say, let's face it. Most people who run around, like, how different would PvP mean if you could only carry a rifle and a couple mags, and then you couldn't run? If you're carrying like over your close to a percentage of your total weight, it would drop your fucking speed down. 
That's what needs to happen, and it's probably it's probably going to happen because, let's face it, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's too fast. I played Arma Reforger yesterday, and that speed to me was perfect. Like you're just like because hmm, 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 you're carrying, and then the more shit you carry, you even get slower. Hey, what's up, Schmelly? What's up, Grim? Yeah, well, there's momentum in Tarkov. You can't just stop on a dime. I know what you're talking about, but it, part of it goes because it's like 225 square kilometers. You know what I mean? Then get rid of the hordes? No, you just slow the zombies down a little bit. That's all you do. Why would you get rid of the hordes, dude? People bitched and moaned for hordes for the longest time. Scum gives them hordes, and they're like, not those hordes, man. Little hordes. You know the little horde? Just like the tallest midget, I want a little horde. But at the same time, I don't, I mean, they don't, they, they need to slow characters and, and everything down. Well, it's a horde, dude. I mean, unless you have a weapon, you're fucked, right? I mean, isn't that the case? Like, it's a survival game. It's not a fucking stay alive the whole time game. I mean, that's your goal. But, I mean, if you don't have a fucking gun, what do you think's going to happen? People always complain. I mean, whatever. I mean, I don't really have many complaints with this game other than that lever action shotgun is a fucking piece of shit. I hate that gun. Right. And by the way, in the Boom Boom Room, we made the, the abandoned bunkers vanilla now. The only thing in the Boom Boom Room that's different than vanilla is the fucking number of puppets. That's it. That's it. The puppets are jacked up. There's amounts of them. Way more. So I don't anybody who doesn't play here, then if you're complaining about hordes, then clearly you've never played here because I fought puppets for fucking 35 minutes one day shooting arrows until they all stopped. I mean, I don't like I don't like easy mode. But then again, I've been playing the game for almost six years. I think this game is gonna be like uh Yeah, I know. I mean, I dude, go play go play fucking official server and watch how fucking barren the game is. You're like, "Hello." Even if there's people in the game, you know, it's some cocksucker sitting behind a rock fucking snooping you, sniping you. Have I played Miss Survival? No, I have not played Miss Survival. Is it that bad being woken up given a sleeping pill? No, you're just you're just Eric, you're just used to them. Well, I mean, that's another thing. How do you, you don't no one knows if it's cheaters either, because like some guy sitting behind a rock and sees you run and snipes you and kills you. You don't know what happened. You have no idea what happened. Is it a cheater? Were you just did were you in the wrong place at the wrong time? You don't have well, I mean, see the thing is, is like I just hate that I have to play a lot of hours to feel accomplished. Change that feeling. Maybe lower your standards. You know what I mean? I used to hate going out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to find a really hot chick to bang. And then I started fucking ugly chicks, and I only had to go out one day a week. So, you know, it's kind of like kind of like that. You know what I mean? First person environment, especially in the complex terrains. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, Blaze. Isn't that just change your perspective? It's a game. Like I could see if it was like your work or job or something like that. But I don't know. I always tell people, where is it written down in the rule where this means you have to be this far in the game to feet to like play it? I mean, I still have this same I don't know. I get it that you don't if you don't play it a lot, but at the same time, then you just that's how why you join a crew like mine and you get everything handed to you. Like fucking prima donna. 
<laughs> but you also got to remember you're going to get killed by Tyrone. So. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing, too. That's the thing, too, is that uh, you're right. Then there's the people who have to win. Then there's the people who have to win at a game that has no ending or thing that tells you that you've won. You know what I mean? It's like the never ending game. How do you win at scum? Like, is it winning? You know, maybe for some people, it's not dying for a day. And other people, it's like, I must cook. Like, it's, it's, it's the little dick people who have no fucking life that have to control something because they have no control of anything else over their life, which is very typical of young people. Very typical of young people who live with their grandparents. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's, it's video games in general, man. Try hards fucking ruin everything fandom ruins everything tryhards and fandom ruin everything you know what i mean tryhards and fandom ruin everything yeah i'm fucking two years younger than you backdraft so i enjoy the game Yeah, I mean, it's like, what makes you feel accomplished? I think people have these standards of, it's like standards. Everybody has standards, you know what I mean? Like, some people are like, I can't, like, I'm sure everyone has a standard of living, right? And if you lost your job and had to take a job that had made 30% less money, you, you would be pissed off, but you would eventually get used to it. And if you truly want to be happy, then you just can't let that shit bother you, and uh, you have to roll with the punches, basically, what I feel. Some days I get destroyed. I mean, I fucking died like two, three times. And with the fame, how low it is when you die, it's devast It's another devastation. Like, I don't think permadeath is really that big of a deal because you've got to lose so much money before you die. And you've got to be a real shit situation. And, 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 and stupid, too. And back with McSquack said... Well, I don't know. It depends how close you are, McSquack. I mean, it's like, it's, it's like, it's, I don't know. You can't really describe the whole situation in one scenario. So, I mean, no per third person peeking means I cannot sit behind a wall and watch you run around and do your business and be like, okay, here he comes. Brrr, boom, you're dead. You know what I mean? I can't sit and watch you loot a police station, wait for you to walk right up on me and kill you and, and see exactly where you're at. That's how I look at it. I mean, I don't know. And you know what the thing is? Is there's first person fucking servers? Just play first person server if it, I mean, I mean, major a lot of people bitch and moan. Oh, this. Uh, I mean, it's a single player game too. You can fucking make it super hard and just try to. I mean, like Mr. Feudal, he doesn't even play multiplayer. He plays fucking single player. Hey, nice, Cujo. It's about time you did something. Fucking. You're delirious, dude. You're fucking figment of your imagination over here. Mr. Imagination here, seeing things. Mr. Imagination of the Magic Dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, Lethal. Go on, go on. So there, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you sound like you're fucking Wanna get high? Rip, man. Uh you re rolled? No, you gotta get you gotta get well well now you oh uh, if you re rolled before fucking Bla um Echo started, you should be okay. I mean, if that's what you want, John Blaze, I'll give you that. Fucking prima donna. You want to you want you want to comb to comb your hair, huh? Huh? Huh, John Blaze? You want me to give you a uh, a uh, one month subscription to Lethal School of How to Play Madden? 
<laughs> versus 12 year olds oh actually the how to be 12 year olds is an expansion kit i definitely could have beat that kid you definitely could have beat that kid yeah well you heard it there first kids people basically said blaze was trash that game was doing the same shit it was doing to me to him oh yeah yeah the game is just a gimme game it's like i don't i i i see you i try to play it like football and you guys see the meta and i don't see the meta and you won't tell me the meta so go fuck yourselves and i'm not gonna figure it out and a visual you just have to be you have to now there's a meta you won't say anything because you're just like any other fucking no meta really there's a meta come on there's meta for every fucking game dude every person figures out what the meta is and that's what it is. You know what I mean? Learning the mechanics, honestly, and getting lucky. That's it. <coughs> oh, John Blaze has <coughs> hacks. He's got Madden hacks. Wow. Wow. He says you have Madden hacks, please. You hear that? Take notes? No. Oh, why should I take notes when I have friends like you who could just fucking tell me? I don't have time to take notes. Tried showing you, but I mean, no, you didn't try showing me. Shut up, Lethal. Don't, don't, don't try to play like you fucking tried to show me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Besides, yeah. What? Yeah, here, let me show you. As I, like the what? first game, he's like, oh yeah, I'll let him win for a little bit, and then the Go next fuck game, yourself, you the next game, pieces of shit. I'll drill him into the fucking ground so he wants to fucking kill people. And that's what happened. What's up, Pepperon? Oh, wow. Look at Lethal even has the fucking things on cue. How, how lame is that? Hey, look at my... Wow, he... Boy, Lethal... Yeah, well, that's fucking... <laughs> that was quick. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, wait, hold on. Let me bring it out right now. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry. So fucking Matrix is talking about his plants. When did I play Scum? I played Scum on uh, today's Thursday. I played Scum on Tuesday. Okay, and I put the fertilizer on in on the garden. So let's see if all everything's dead. Doesn't look like it. I don't know why I can't get fucking this shit to grow. It should just grow. I've been growing. No, there's certain things like uh like the carrots look good. Uh the only thing though is once they come to mature and you get at least like one or two harvests, then they don't last much long after that. Yeah, like this one is uh how do you know if this is uh yeah, that one's dead. It says destroy plant. Search it first to get seeds. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't, for, it didn't uh, have anything. Uh, yeah, that we could try and get seeds. I got plenty of seeds. I'm not worried about it. It's fucking onions, man, and tomatoes. You know what I would like what? to see is being able to plant trees and create like forest and mazes. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like, like a an arboretum. What's yeah. that one game where you cut down the trees, you got to plant them again, otherwise you got no more trees? Oh, fucking uh, Valheim. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was, that was another one, too, but that would have been awesome. There is Makes one, you Navigator. Be careful about using your trees. Navigator, it's fucking right here, dude. Where's the water con uh, container collection thing? It's a fucking gas can and... Items. It's uh right oh, there. Improvised base. raincoat rain collector. Right next to the pumpkins. Of Sabbath. You need tomatoes and onions? Bigger? Oh, just fucking put it in a gas can. That's what I do. No, I got them. You want some zucchini? No, I'm good. 
up Thor's. I think you need some, like a 55 gallon drum or something like that. Well, I mean, you got 40 fucking. You got to remember when you drink out of a gas can, it's different than drinking out of glass. It's not 40 units that you would have one unit, two units in a coffee cup. It's not the same unit. You know what I mean? I think it would be like. It's different because I know when I take a drink out of a gas can versus taking a drink out of a cup, the, the, the amount of water you get is way more. So think of it that way. Remember, you gotta, you know, you just change your perception on things. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know some people have a, like, stigma about the game. Like, oh, I gotta be this. I gotta have everything. It's just like, I think people nowadays, like, for fuck's sakes, man, you don't even have to go in the store anymore. They bring it out to your fucking car. The fuck it? So I think just people in general are more suited for getting everything handed to them. And I'm not saying you guys are like that. I'm just saying in general, the people who bitch and moan are the fucking people who are like, yeah, you know, uh, I don't really like playing the game. I just want people to play it for me. So like people fucking, you know, it's just dumb. Well, yeah. Okay, so the one one. So everything's not scaled, right? You know, like look, the table's bigger than it is actually. Right? Is am I really looking at a bigger table, or does it just seem like it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess I'm just not that picky, Shadwell. I don't know. Again, start fucking ugly girls. Get more of them in the quantity. <laughs> Well, there you go. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I honestly don't really fucking it to me. It's like a moot point. Like I, it's never really bothered me. And it's like anything else. It's like the person you live with, if they get fucking morbidly obese, you really don't notice it until you're fucking someone who hasn't seen them in a couple months shows up and they're like, God damn, you're fat as fuck. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. Do I got rotten meat in here? Oh, dude, all that meat rotted, bro. Shit. Shit. I guess I can make veg vegetable uh, pasta. I don't know. I, again, I, I don't really... I don't really have that much allegiance to first person. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if that means I'm not pure. I, I'm not like a purist. I don't know what you mean by, like, I don't know what, I don't know what you're like referencing. Like, as far as like, is it because of DayZ? Is it because of other games you played? So I, I don't know. I just, I guess, I don't know. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that I don't I don't know if it's a, a game game changer for me, you know what I mean? Do you make good progress? Well, what do you define as good progress? If if you if you say good po progress is they had a good time and had a lot of fun together, that's progress to me. Like, isn't that what it's all about? Come on, Lethal. Isn't that what it's all about? Huh? Here you go. It's, it's just about having fun. You know, at the end of the day, it's about having fun. So, I mean, it, but realistically, like progress, I don't know. It's all, it's all in perspective. You know what I mean? Like you, you, you might think you're doing good because you've never, you're, you and your three friends who've never played the game are now playing the game and you think you're doing great until someone tells you you're not. And I'm, I don't, I don't, 
I don't like prefer third. I just I usually Ooh, play the game I'd in give both. Anything for a drink of water. I honestly play the game in both. I I play both fucking third and first person. So I mean it's not really I don't know. I do the same. I, I do first person when I'm shooting a freaking Yeah, I never ball. PvP in third person unless it's like fucking like something like someone jumps out in front of me, I just gotta spray and pray. But if I'm like fucking I'm most of the time I'm in first person. God damn it, I don't have any salt. I've only got one charge of salt. I got some if you need some. I got chilies. You want some chili peppers? No, I got plenty of those. I mean, content wise, oh, well, I mean, dude, Rust and DayZ have been out for a fucking like 10 years, over 10 years, man. Like, I mean, I would hope you had a fucking player base after 10 years. I mean, DayZ didn't really have a huge player base, uh, didn't have a huge player base uh, until it went 1.0, until they started dumping truckloads of money in the fucking shroud and fucking everybody else's coffers to play the game. You know, every fucking nerd in America is like, oh my gosh, Shroud plays the game. It must be the best game in the world. Like, I think the worst thing to do is to have an opinion of the same, of you know, like, I don't know. And am I a fan? Am, am, I a, am, I, am I a fanboy? No. I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself a fanboy. I think I'm pretty objective about and again, this is a fucking video game, too. This is not real life. You know what I mean? This has whatever these guys do with this game has literally zero impact on my life. And if they fucking close the doors tomorrow, would I be upset? Yeah. Would I die? No. You know, life would go on. It's not really. I got bigger things that are fucking weigh on my shoulders. So I don't know. I think uh, people who complain about this game should get some fucking real problems. <laughs> Someone says he likes it. The world might end. Proud's your friend. I'm coming to get some fucking salt. My neighbor in the estates, we like to call this, this subdivision here of the scum map, the estates where all the rich and influential people live because they worked hard at their scum career. I mean, look at I built this whole base by myself. Not one of my lousy fucking teammates on my squad helped me. Who's my squad mates? Master Echo. Oh, wait. There was another guy in my squad named John Blaze. Fucking chooch. You think, you think, you. You think Blaze built this? You think Blaze built this fucking place? No. Look at this. I yeah. built Blaze his own fucking base, dude. His own God fucking left. base. John left you. I know he left me. He went and re-rolled at that. He, he re-rolled, but he, I don't know if he's going to get in a group now. He can't. Well, unless he's got he, the fame. He don't have dirty fame. Can to fit an airplane. Well, uh, see, I don't... Honestly, I suck at airplanes. I can't, I can't fucking take off, so... Until I fucking shoot a guy who lands his airplane, which there was a guy the other day when I, yeah, the last time I streamed, was flying around my base. He landed, and if I would have shot and killed him, I would have stole this fucking plane. I would have stole this plane. You have to wait three days, and you have to have 30 fame. But I don't know. Since you joined the squad before Echo, you may not have to. You may not. It does, squads of two, it doesn't apply to. Squads of three, it does, though. So I, I don't know. I think maybe Echo, if he quits, I don't think you will. I don't see. That's one thing I don't know. Is it based on the order? Since you were the second guy that started. But no, I don't know. Then that would mean if it, if, you know, only. This. I'm, I don't know. How old are you, Shadwell? What's up, driving destructor? He's like, I'm old. He's like, I'm 35. Yeah. I want to see how old Shadwell really is. Fifty-three? All right, so oh yeah. I'm two years younger than you. I mean, I I, I it's not like we have that very 
greater uh, of a difference in our lives. We all grew up around the same time, so both you and I. I, uh, I don't know. What's up, Hexus? I don't really, I really don't feel that there's any other game out there like Scum. Like, do you have DayZ? And it, I, I, I tried DayZ, and DayZ was, a mo I, I've, I've had my mantra about DayZ. Fucking DayZ was like a mod, and then all of a sudden it wasn't a mod. Is there a way? No, there's no way to escape the island. No, I don't want tomatoes. It. Search the tomatoes. You, you give me the, what do you give me fucking cantaloupes for? Oh, if you want them. Nah, the food there is a little overcooked, but in case you need it's, it. Dude, I was going to cook food. I was going to cook brand new good food. Okay, so the carrots, if you plant carrots, they don't last more than one day once they ripen because these well, I, are already... Uh, I got carrots already, but did you put fertilizer down? I put fertilizer down. No, and I it, didn't. Is your, is your farming jacked out like mine? Hey, give Matrix yeah, a shout out. Is there any uh, mods in the fucking house? You bet these fucking lazy fucking VIPs don't do jack shit. I'm not a mod. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You think VIP would be uh, something like mod worthy or something, but no. You're 53? No, my farming is advanced. Tell us what really happened, you son of a bitch! Take all my privileges away, because you know I'll just ban you on your own channel. What do you mean I won't let you do? Bobby the Ghost is fucking, uh, is a mod. PZ Geek, you can't do shoutouts? Make me look good. Now I, yeah. The fuck? Oh, it's a fucking. From the clip. Famous people. I know. Look at all these famous people who live, but who come to my stream. Sub Floki. Matrix. Give Matrix a shout out. I don't know. You guys just need to fucking chillax. I called Matrix a Yenta today. I said he's just a Yenta. He just likes the bitch. It's like my wife, Morgan Fairchild. So you're two years older than me, Eric? Chillax, exactly. You've been, you've been lurking. Fingers have been doing something else. Happy Jack, is that like code for fingering your butthole? Oh, your hands are cold. Why are you freezing? Why are you freezing? That is warm. Let me turn up the heat. Put on a put on a shirt. Okay. Oh. Oh. Please. Oh, you're cold. Okay. Okay. I'll turn the heat up for you. I don't know, even though it's been the same temperature it's been all winter. Yeah, pretty much, lady. Yeah, what the fuck? The same. I don't, uh, I mean, here's what you really do when you like, cause I mean, are you really going to change the game? If you have problems with the game, are you really going to change it? No. The only thing you can change is your expectation about the game. If you still want to continue to play it, you can't do anything about it, you know? So either change your expectation or you just fucking quit playing the game. That's how I look at it. Your wife gets fat. You're like, well, either divorce her or I just stay married to her. Well, it's like that. 
you change your expectation. My wife's not fat, by the way. <coughs> or just never get married. Yeah, or never play video games. There you go. I mean, we do it in life all the time, right? Nineteenth anniversary. I think it's just on a little more of a micro scale. But again, There is, uh, like, throughout Scum's uh, history, so to speak, the only time that I got aggravated with Scum is when they were doing their fucking patches on Friday. Remember this, for those who were here? They used to do patches on Friday, and they would fucking break the game, and they wouldn't be able to get a hot fix out because everyone left work. And then it would be fucked for the whole weekend. Then he couldn't play on the weekend. And then they would do something like that, like in December when everyone's on fucking break and the game was really hot. You know what I mean? You got you got AIDS, Pepperone? What do you mean vocal minority? Everybody wanted fucking base building, so they put it in there. This game would have been PvP all the time if you couldn't build a base and you could only have a base in a town because every fucking town you would go to would have someone living in it. The game wasn't unplayable during that time. I mean, it was unplayable during the weekend if they fucked it up, but I don't. the game was playable for me. Yeah, I think some people do probably play too much. I mean, that's, that's evident when they had the fucking uh, scum uh, league fucking 24 hours a day like who the fuck has the time scum is not a game you get good at it's just a game that you can fucking be better at better at because you have more f disposal you know free time that's why the offline raid protection is great because otherwise you just get destroyed by some no lifers that fucking play the game all the time or you know live on the other side of the earth from you shut up rooster it's that horrible thing looking at you in the mirror oh it's you Fucking piece of shit. Here's another old fucker. Rooster. Rooster. You know what? Rooster likes to fuck old ladies. Sister. But again, here's the thing. Somebody's going to fucking bitch about the rope that they're going to get hung with. It doesn't matter what you do, what you say, what you're talking about. It's anything and everything. Someone's going to fucking bitch about it. So I guess if you're having fun, the game is a success. If you're not having fun, then it's not the game for you. Play something else. That's how I look at it. Let's play some scum. Objectively speaking, as an adult, people are going to fucking bitch some of the people yeah, online are yeah, so yeah, fucking yeah. stupid. They're like, fix the cars falling through the map. I haven't had a fucking car fall through the map in probably three fucking years. Honest to God. Oh, I know why. Because I don't play on a fucking potato. I Also, also I don't play on a server that it's a fucking potato. Gamer girl, thanks for the lurk. Did she just come in here getting a giveaway and lurk me? Oh, man, she better not win Helldivers tonight. There's some people like, I'm trying to play on my 660 with my fucking 8 megabytes of RAM. Well, like, or, or people who don't turn up their fucking, their this right here, right here, video uh, or graphics. You go all the way to the bottom. Streaming speed, if you have this to slow, that's how fast the shit in the d distance renders. So if you're going really fast and you get to the point where stuff is supposed to render, but it's not, it hasn't rendered yet because your computer's a potato and this and the server you're playing on is a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, you're going to fall through the map, but it doesn't happen here. 
So there you go. I mean, that's that's number one right there. Why that happens. People are like, fix it. Fix it. Fix it, dude. That's dumb. And that's some just jackass fucking... Why don't you just have mommy or daddy go buy you a new computer? That's how I look at it. Thanks, Backdraft. You done bitching? I'm not bitching. I'm just fucking telling you how it is, motherfucker. You bitching. Oh, I'm not bitching about anything. I'm bitching about people bitching. That's what I'm bitching about. Of the bitching of the bit people doing the bitching. It, it does not happen here. You can ask PC Geek. Have you had anybody had a car fall through the map? PC Geek or come to you about falling cars through the map? Nope. No tickets written. Yeah, it's been a long time. But clear, clearly online, it's a problem. Or they're playing in a server that's a bot server. Fucking 10x loot. 100 players. No mechs. Yeah, and everyone's in the fucking keyboard typing in commands in chat. Do you know how bad fucking people typing in chat and requesting a, a fucking bot to come in and spawn more items in the world that are already in the world already? Fucking bogs down the server? Yeah. I mean, that, that takes... No wonder your fucking server runs like shit. You got 100 people in there going, Give me an SVD. Eh, give me an SVD mag. Eh. Where ship hit hit a bridge. Yeah, that sucks. But at least you got a tunnel that goes under the river. Unless you drive a truck. You don't know why it's crashing? What's crashing, Pepperon? Why are you speaking in tongues? We're cooking a little food before I get started here. Boom Boom Room Asian server? Start one packed in. We'll fucking rent one. Pay two hundred and fucking seventy dollars a month, like I do. And uh, I think Scum is migrating all the official servers, guys. So I don't think they're going to be like on GG Host anymore. I think Jagex is like okay. Like if you put something like on an Amazon server, Amazon Web Server or whatever the fuck they use, dude. Like New World that has like Scum will run like an aped rape or a raped ape. I said I just said ape the rape. But rape, rape. here's the thing. Uh, you know, you put it on a fucking high end server, it's gonna run good. You put it on GG host was like, oh, we have an I9 and it's still a fucking, you know, come on. First of all, I I, I approached them, I was like, hey, let's talk. If, you know, if you can give me a deal. They were like, oh, what I have right now, they were like 300 a month. I'm like, well, that's $30 more than what I fucking pay. Why would I go to you for the exactly, for slightly marginally less than what I currently have? And I'm like, there's no reason for me to go to you. Your, your specs are basically the same, maybe less, and uh, you want more money. So my answer is no. Oh, and they didn't have any servers in the U.S. So I was like... Yeah, sorry, man. I don't know. I, I I can't. There's no reason for me to do this. Hey, Eric, take it easy. So, what's up, Google Wop? I, I, it's, I don't know. What's up, Toby? I really think that, uh, you know... Again, the bots, and, and here's another thing. I said it yesterday. Right now, the current community, at least the North American community, uh, is all about bot shops and no, exha no exhaustion. Like, if you turn exhaustion off, you don't even have to cook food, man. Like, this is, I'm going to get a, uh, a boost when I eat this to my, my stamina so I can run further. But if you turn that off, then there's like... 30 40 percent of the loot tables worthless you know what i mean so why so you have all these people that are like uh oh yeah you know i'll play on that 2x loot which whatever still more loot than vanilla and then bot shops and all or, or 10x or whatever it's it's it, it takes away from the game like, I don't understand why you even need a fucking bot shop if you have 10, 10x loot. 
Like there's there was there was servers that you just click the button and the loot would change and you just keep clicking it until you got what you wanted. So to me that's that's stupid. And then they were like, "Why is my server run like crap?" Well, I don't know. You got someone clicking the buttons. Everybody in the server is clicking on a box trying to get the cool thing. I mean, what, what do you what did you think was going to happen? What do, what do you think you run a fu your fucking scum server on a fucking su supercomputer? Wait, 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 it's coffee. Listen here. And that's what happened to H1Z1. Everyone was playing H1Z1 survival game, and then all of a sudden the King of the Hill mod came out, and then nobody played H1Z1 anymore. Survival, they all played King of the Hill, which then, or... Or BR, Battle Royale, or what, what? I think that's where it started, right? Isn't that where, like, Dr. Disrespect and all those guys were fucking playing Battle Royale from on the... After that, save the world for fucking, uh, what you call it, Fortnite. Nobody fucking plays that. Everybody plays a Battle Royale, you know what I mean? Any game where you let the community decide what the gameplay is going to be or mod the game... Like, Scum doesn't have the game files modded, because I'm sure this game would be completely different if you could mod it right now. And no one would play the survival aspect of it. But the bot is a fucking, basically a, a loophole mod, basically. It's like Rube Goldberg to fucking mod a server. Like, you have to put a character in game as an admin, as a bot, and then write Discord scripts to control that to deliver shit to people. It's just... Yeah, I know. You never cared much for Battle Royale, but you were talking about the vocal minority. That's what you were because the vocal majority turned it into fucking Battle Royale. You know what I mean? That's just how it is. So if you let the fucking little Joeys and little Jimmies who think, every, you know, video games are nothing but shooting other people constantly, then what do you think you're going to turn your game into? Shooting, you know, constantly shooting people. Yeah, I know you hated the boy Battle Royale, but uh, clearly Dr. Disrespect and everybody else didn't hate it. You know what I mean? Snot nose punks. Like if you're if you're designing something and uh, you're like, well, this is going to be a, a shovel, okay? I'm designing a new shovel, and 99% of the people use it to fucking beat the people over the head with it. It's not going to be... People aren't going to buy it because they want to use it as a fucking shovel. Wait, are you a dude? Driving destructor, thanks for gifting the sub. What's up, Abin? Well, I'm just saying that in general, you know... You were the vocal minority because majority of the people played that game the way Battle Royale. And I know Toby and you were like, I played this. Well, I hated the Battle Royale. Well, clearly they made a fucking game mode that's present till today about the fucking game. So, you know, I think I think the vocal majority took that game over and changed it. And it fucked everybody for who likes it. So, you know, who liked it for what it was. And if you do anything to this game in its current state that fucks with that, people bitch. Or if you don't make something... What's up, Captain Killshot? If you don't make something like, oh, yeah. Like, you better, like if you change something in the game where it makes it where people can't play their bot shop 10x servers, everyone and their fucking mother will bitch. 2026? Well, there you go. What, H1Z1? Or, uh, uh, what you call it? Yeah, well, I don't think Daybreak, I think Daybreak sold the company. See, I think that was a case too where the, uh, the devs were like, yeah, payday, see you later, fuck you, I'm rich. And then whoever got it does, does what they do with it, you know what I mean? 
PUBG was based off of H1Z1. I hate to break it to you. And a bunch of Arma mods. Like, it's all... It all stems back to Arma 2 and Arma 3 and all the mods that came out of that. I mean... You can't... You can't say that they haven't. If you, if you don't... If you don't say that, then you clearly didn't play those kinds of games. Oh, well, maybe they're doing it again. I thought they sold... I thought they... I thought H1Z1 was sold to Sony. But Sony purchased it. Or was supposed to purchase it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go back that way. I thought I thought they were supposed to fucking shit can it. I don't know. Matrix, are you still here? Matrix. Matrix. Stop grumpy. What is this? He's yelling me. Fucking six o'clock at night. This better be a fucking. Oh, okay, good. American Express has received my payment. So my, my work trips are all paid off. I had to do my expense report. My expense report for my trip to Mexico and my trip to fucking uh, uh, South Carolina was like four grand. Yeah, it's over a billion. I played today. I got, I got my two tickets. I bought two tickets. What's up, useless emperor? I got two tickets. Two tickets. Two tickets. Two tickets to paradise. paradise. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Got to check these. They always got good stuff in them. Usually MP5 mags. I got to get MP5 mags to give to John Blaze because he doesn't have enough time to be successful in this game. I should have asked him, how do you feel successful on Madden when you constantly lose the fucking 12-year-olds? Oh, I hope he's here. I want that VIP to come out of hiding right there. Inquiring minds want to know. I think he left. He's a busy man. Combing his hair. He's combing his hair. He's probably making some pasta. Trimming his chest hair. Yeah, he left. You know what though? Like, I feel like I'm declining. I'm, 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 I'm usually fucking like uh, I'm stumbling on things, and I don't know. I don't know if it's just because I'm fucking high more often than not. But I notice I'm my, my, I'm doing that now. I guess if you're declining, would you actually notice you were declining? Yes. I mean, but like if you had if you had disease, you you don't know you have uh fucking Alzheimer's or something like that. No, I'm talking about declining in I, real life, like mentally. You mean cognitive function? Yeah, like I'm 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 fucking I fuck up like I can't remember shit. I'm like. Some dumb shit. Yeah, like when I told PC terrible. Geek to shout someone out, I totally forgot that I was talking about Matrix. But that's just my short-term memory. That's just a moment. That's just a brief moment. Yeah, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> I got a lot going on in my mind. You don't want to be inside this head. Because if you are, I'm going to have sex with you. They own the I well the IP intellectual property. They own the idea and the name, the copyright and all that, or whatever, whatever IP they use for uh, creating it. If they they're still on the fucking IP is patents, right? And copyrights. 
So they're on that. So if they if they are using it to make money, then uh, Daybreak can say, well, yeah, well, we're that's our intellectual property, and if you want to use it, we will license it to you for this much a year. And they say, okay. So yeah, I mean, that's what that is. <clears throat> So, in the giveaway, guys, remember you got a minute after the bell rings. I'll let you guys all fucking get in, get your sloppy seconds. Dude, I find so much stuff here. I'll say that too loud. I mean, I find a lot of stuff everywhere. That's another thing. I think people are just so ingrained at in doing what they do that they don't they don't go off the beaten path. Like, how many people do you say see play the game and hang out at the mansion or the hotel or the museum or whatever the fuck you want to call it? Nobody. 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 Is there loot there? Yes. Is there guns there? How many people you see hanging out at the observatory? How many people you see hanging out at... The, I mean, now that the coal mine spawns fucking dynamite, people are there, but... How many people you see hanging out at the fucking uh, radio oh, the radio tower? Observatory is always kind of hot, and there's always a, a crew... I mean, here, but I'm just talking in general. Like, oh. even streamers. Just, just think about streamers. Bunkers and airports. Yeah. Fucking 38 everywhere, dude. What's up, Paglamia? What's up, Mighty Mouse? I don't know. It's... I've played worse games. How about that? <laughs> I, I, while I had a good time playing uh, Armor Reforger yesterday, that game's a fucking piece of shit nightmare. Like, I got to spawn in and fucking do something special to have shoes on? Give me a break. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I got to go to a little hut and put shoes on? And why just shoes? Whew. I would give anything for a glass of ice cold water. All right, water. winner of the giveaway is... Captain kill shot. Hey, I can see fucking gamer girl running across the house in her socks, sliding like Tom Cruise on a fucking wood floor to get to the computer to see if she won to type. I'm here. And she's like rigged and then walks away. Guarantee it. No, she's at the gym. Remember? So she's probably. Oh, yeah. She, at people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Motherfucker. You're, you're at the gym. What are you doing? Are you walking on a treadmill? There you go, Captain Killshot. Whisper to me on Twitch, will you? Whisper to me on Twitch. No Congratulations. Or maybe not. You just won Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. Wow. Nice snatch. A snatch. That was legitness. Yeah. There she goes on the lurk. She's finishing up her weights. What the hell are you doing at the gym? She's over here pumping iron. Yeah, because if you don't fucking win that on the wheel, she's coming after your ass. Whatever. Bring it, lady.
All right, there you go. There you go. Reset. And get the giveaway. Don't don't start that, dude. I'm going to tell you, yesterday, that fucking annoyed the shit out of me, okay? You, you can say whatever you want, but you start doing that. Yeah. Yesterday, I'm like, you know, of all the things you can do, how about not that? I just went to bed. Yeah, I know. Then I called you a bitch for leaving. I heard you. Yeah. I give a shit. I know. And you were probably like, sitting in bed. <laughs> Fucking I ass. Did. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, that's not lethal. It's just some fat, retarded kid in my stream just fucking trying to talk. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, April 25th to the 29th, we're doing a uh, F cancer charity for testicular cancer. So if you guys want to be a part of it or support the charity, uh, we'll be doing that coming up at the end of the April. Support your balls like a good pair of underwear. guys wear underwear yeah i mean what do you how do you not wear underwear being a guy come on free ball it. you're gonna free ball it you must have fucking grapes instead of plums that's all i gotta say no i just got room down there you know, fucking yeah or you wear really baggy yeah he's fucking yeah fucking lethal wears gncos fucking his crotch is hanging down to his fucking knees he's like oh i could have fucking elephantitis of the testicles no one would notice <laughs> Go commando, dude. I don't commando in a fucking pair of pants. Fuck that, dude. Fart too hard and you shit your pants. You leave a stain on your fucking jeans. No way. You fucking leave it on your underwear. Come on. Think about all the skid marks you ever seen in your underwear. You can put that in your pants. The fuck out of here. Hey, listen. It's gray pants, gray sweatpants season. I've already got mine ironed out. Yeah. I'm just getting ready. Yeah, and then you could zip the tip. That's that's also true. No, I don't have grapes. I got I got plums. <laughs> grapes. What kind of grapes do you eat? You're like, I have these giant grapes. They're like, they're like watermelon grapes. Thanks, I need to wake up. Congratulations. Guess what? Tyrone gonna go drink some coffee. <laughs> First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face! Your own face. Yeah. Now imagine I wasn't wearing any underwear. I would have shit in my pants right now. No, now it's only in my underwear. And I only have to clean a little. I can throw underwear away. You throw your pants away? No. 
Unless you buy really expensive underwear. And if you're a dude and you buy really expensive underwear, then you're fucking weird. Or you have too much money. You're like, yeah, I got so much money, I have to pay $1,000 for my underwear. Thanks, Mighty Mouse. Shit my pants. Another reason you should wear underwear is right there. Right there. Soiled myself. And swim trunks usually have the underwear built into them, right? Oh, God, I hate those. I cut those out. Well, I mean, or you can just buy them that don't don't have fucking... Lethal has the ones that have, like, you know, cheap fucking nylon mesh that they make fishnets out of. Literal fishnets, not the ones his mom wears. Dude wipes. You know, Ty, you can always just use a man pond. Man pond? Yeah, just use a man pond while you're doing those long streams. There you go, that's another one of those that's What do you mean, man like, ponds. fucking, uh, wad up some toilet paper and shove it in my ass crack? There you go. Yeah, well, who says I'm not doing it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pull out my shit-riddled fucking toilet paper out of my ass crack, and I go... Another pair of underwear saved today. Just save three dollars. Or you just have a hole in your underwear and you shit directly onto your chair. That's disgusting. No. Yeah. Guarantee you somebody in the fucking chat has a fucking chair with a stain right where the sh the ass crack goes. Butthole sits. The brown eye fucking touches. Probably gamer girl. I would I would I second that motion. Probably gamer girl. <laughs> Up's not rocking. Everybody's getting up and looking at their chair right now. Do I really have one? Look at this fucking monstrosity. Yeah, that's going to be something to... I'm waiting for... I'm waiting to get shot at. If I get shot at, then I'm making it a point to fucking shoot at those dudes. I don't have a little pop gun. I got an MK-18, bruh. Once you get on my level, bitch. Come find me. I'll take it. You're so lucky. Why? I was going to camp that fucking gas station. Oh, yeah, okay. Your truck would have been my truck. Okay. Easy Geek Ban Lethal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I'm glad they took out all the fucking novelty shit like that. I don't, I mean, I, I mean, is it still there? I don't know. I never found the need to make dildo crossbows or dildo spears. I, I, I get it. It's like a fucking Easter egg. But if you think that shit's going to be part of the main game once it releases, probably not. I can pro, I will guarantee you they're going to take that shit out. Because that's not going to Xbox. No way. No fucking way are they going to put that game on Xbox. What other game do you know has a fucking dildo in it? Come on. Tell me. There's an old game called Saints Row. No, Saints Row on, on Xbox or PlayStation. It's got PC. a dildo. Okay. 
Um, again, console. Oh, well then, no. Yeah, there you go. My point exactly. You'll see that disappear. That that will go away. And I will sh not shed a tear because I don't give a fuck. The dildo makes no difference in the game. Yeah, naughty mods, whatever. Yeah, you know there's going to be... As soon as this game's modded, some guy's going to make it so you can have sex with the fucking... It'll be, it'll be a whole thing. I guarantee it. Be like, come play on our server. You can have sex with every, each other. <laughs> you know it's going to happen. Yeah, he's calling it right now. And then Pepperone's the one that opens it. Come to my server, also known as Fuckfest. Where you will be able to have simulate, uh, you know. You have sex with a goat. Yeah. While a bear watches. Yeah. Playing Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. I mean, do they have that in DayZ? Baby Shark? No. No, no, the fucking, that, that sim mod. Or maybe because it's a Steam mod, they won't let them. All right, well, there you go. Maybe not. But people have asked about it. I know that. I've seen actual comments like, when are we going to be able to have sex with each other? And they were dead serious. Or they were talking about having children in the game. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, we're going to put little kids in a game about prison. No. No one would ever let that fly on. Yeah, I mean, you don't even have that. Do you have that in The Sims? Is that is that Sims even? Can you do that in The Sims? I know it's it's yeah, it's it's, it's uh, assumed or insinuated. It's not like. No, I, I don't. There's not. They're not going to because that's just weird. You don't see anything, but you can go on on dates and be promiscuous and have as many kids as you want. Take down a mech? I have to make a lot of crap ammo then. And I got to get a decent weapon, like an SVD. I don't have an SVD. The most powerful gun I have right now is an 1891. And that's going to take a lot of ammo. And it's a bolt action rifle. And I'm going to need a lot of fucking repair kits because it's firing that over and over and over again. is basically going to destroy the gun. So when you do that, you have to be prepared with gun repair kits, uh, ammo, and a high powered rifle. R98, 1891, SVD, uh, or uh, M82, or RPG. And I have not done a kill box, so that's not going to work. Insane Cujo. I'm not going to be able to, I mean, I could make that a goal. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it. I've shot a mech. In my fur in uh, the uh, test server or a little ten player server that I have. I mean I'd like to get some tear gas. I think that'd be great for raiding. Throwing tear gas on someone and having them fucking like, we gotta get out of here, oh, we're gonna fucking can't see shit. Come back. 
Welcome back. Captain Killshot. Not you. Oh, I know it wasn't me. I wasn't even in it. Oh, man, that was a fucking deep hole. That's random. Yeah. Did I say deep butthole? No, I said deep hole. Matrix was talking today like he was up at the D4 airfield and he's like, where's the holes in the fence? And I'm like, they took him out. He was kind of pissed. He was kind of pissed. He was like, what is this? I don't understand. I'm just getting metal. I have nothing in particular weapon wise. I mean, I'll take anything major like big booms or big guns, but... I'm looking for uh, stuff to upgrade the base. Oh, that's good. Because the base can't be wood because wood's too easy to get into. What time did I stay up to yesterday? Like 1.30, 2 o'clock? And I got it for, I was dragging ass today and I came home and I'm like, ah, I'm not going to stream. And I'm like, no, Tyrone. You must stream. But this is the stuff I can't. You come to the junkyard, you come here for metal. That's it. I was not. I there's metal in the city, but. I hadn't been here in a while, so I figured I'd make the trek. Figured what the fuck. Start drive around. I, I have I do I have spent a lot of time in the same area on the map. And that's usually what you do because that's kinda like what, what happens in real life, you know what I mean? You you live in your community, you shop in your community. And in the estates up in the mountains, we're a affluent neighborhood and we don't like going into the ghetto, you know what I mean? Like where Lethal lives. So uh yeah. You know what? I'm going to take this fucking... No, I got a hose. I don't need it. I got a hose. Nice little stamina boost right here with the coffee. How many guys... You're slacker, and you do less than anybody here. <laughs> Fuck you. Like I got spaghetti, 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 vegetable, coffee, coffee. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling up here because I need some metal because John Blaze needs a secure home to live in, not a trashy wooden log home he's not a he's not abraham lincoln okay and i gotta get bolts so this was the one-stop shop because i don't really want to keep like i was going back and forth to the city and the city has substantial metal but i i have to make multiple trips because it one it's just too dangerous comparatively to this you know what I mean? So. Hey, if you get, if you have the space in the truck, can you bring me wolf wagon doors? I'll give you some bolts for them. You drive that piece of shit down here and get it yourself. Give me bolts for them. Get a fucking, oh get, get car. Oh, I, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fill up my whole truck. 
instead of filling it with metal, fill up your fucking wolf wagon doors so you can give me a fucking bolts. I got bolts for you. Did you not take boxes to put the bolts in the... the no, I in? don't do that. I'm not a fucking tryhard. Who the fuck takes boxes? Throw everything in the back of your truck. Have you ever seen the scrap guys that go around on garbage day? Do they put it in boxes and then put it in their <laughs> trucks? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So good, man. So good. So good. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna, oh, my God. Up easy motion. Do I even have bullets in this thing? No. I'm carrying a gun with no bullets for fuck's sakes. Wow. Wow. I mean, I got nine mil, but I don't have any. I'm carrying a. Okay, we'll just throw that in the trunk because that's po pointless to carry. What can you do with that gun? Can you beat people with it? Oh, whoa. Man, that was fucking weird. Was not expecting that. Look at how much I get the metal real quick. I don't even have to go deep into the junkyard. So less risk, less risk, more reward. Plus you can find good stuff here. I don't really, I wish the city had better loot to be honest with you. I'm not saying it's trash, but it could make, it could be, there could be more interesting things there. You know what I mean? No, I'm not benching. I'm just saying. I'm making a recommendation. My recommendation is lethal. Recommendation is just bitching. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. And exit stage left. Yeah, see you later. Hey, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay.
Yeah, I think it just needs to be like it should be a um like a highlighted thing in the map. Like you should want to go there. Like everybody goes to the brickyard or everybody goes to the junkyard for metal. Like you go to the city for this. I realize the city kind of has everything. I mean, maybe that's why. But I guess it's that it's just like the sh the shopping center for that area. I suppose it has food. It has building supplies. So I guess it is good. I take it back. I retract my statement. I was wrong. <laughs> Shut up. I escaped that shit, man. That was scary, dude. I, I was legit worried there for a little bit. I was like, yeah. I could get a horde? Oh, yeah. I had one. I ran away. You know, I was oh, like, yeah. I was like, could this be the end of Tyrone Shoelaces? Stay tuned next week when we find out. Does he die at the junkyard? Does Gamer Girl actually win Helldivers 2? No, I'm going to win it first. Yeah. Oh my God. It's gonna be a cat fight. Wow. She's like gonna come to your house and be like, you know what? That's my game. Three years from now, she's gonna be like, I'm gonna win Hell Divers too, but it's only three dollars on Gamabo. It doesn't matter. Dude, <laughs> it's funny. The old Hell Divers game on on all this CD keys thing. It's like. Hell divers, it'll say that, and it's it shows the right cover for the thing, but it says Hell Divers, and it's like three dollars and fifty cents, and people, you know, a game that was going for like seventy eight cents is now tripled in value. What's up, Hexus? Oh, hey you, hey you. Hey man, look at my life. Hey Lethal, you want to see something? You want to, no, I'm going to send it to you. Hold on. I already know what it looks like, Ty. It's not that big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here. <laughs> That's exactly what she looked like. Fuck you, smaller. dude. That's gonna be my uh my uh thumbnail for the uh the stream. Yeah, I'm I'm assume, I'm going to I'm pretty sure we're going to get all the fucking vehicles back, the motorcycles and everything. That's low hanging fruit, right? That's super easy to do. I'm sure there's a team working on it. It's probably ready to go. They just want to drop I think they want to go 1.0 with the most possible content cuz I don't think if they go 1.0 with the most possible content that there's still the the, the current player base is going to bitch and moan about it. And for the new players it'll be incredible. You know what I mean? Think about it. If you're just getting into scum now, now me, uh, how much, how good would this game be versus what it was six team. years ago? Pepperon, man. Thanks for the resub, man. I appreciate it. AKA Eddie. Mr. I've known you for a long time. And then for the whole longest time, you're trying to fucking pretend like I don't know you because you change your fucking Twitch name. That'd be like me changing my Twitch name to Mr. Bojangles and hanging out in your stream and be like, what do you mean? You don't know me? Bob 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 Bob
That's my cop Bob name in uh, GTA RP is Bob Oblock. I'm Bob Oblock. And I'm here to fuck you up. Yeah, talk with a lisp, too. See this little beauty right here? I was going through life shit face. Oh, that's it. Up, uh, I'm going to send you something else. All right, we got that gone. Gonna suck to suck. Yep. Yep. Shit. Thank God that's a fatty. You looking in the mirror again? You happy? Fatty made it funny. I do feel I know I know the map is big in this game, but the, I do I think that's probably the one thing that if I if I modded if we if I could mod the game I would slow it down and I definitely would make it the more like if I'm carrying fucking fifty two kilos of metal on my back I should not be able to run full sprint. And I, I'm, I, I'm, I would be in a, I wouldn't bitch or moan if that happened. But the only reason they don't do that is fucking ninety percent of the people who play the fucking game need that to be the PVP player. But you know, everybody's like, oh, Tarkov, Tarkov, oh, Tarkov, Tarkov. Nobody bitches about that movement because that makes it way harder. And that's why most people in Tarkov cheat because they suck so bad they can't even be good at it. You know what I mean? You know, cheating in video games is for the small, the weak, and the feeble. But at the same time, there's also the people who just want to fucking win, and they can't. FBI, hey, Shipmate Warrior. What's up, man? Thanks for the raid. I was just in your stream earlier today when fucking Matrix raided you. You weren't talking. Do you not have a microphone? Huh? Or was that like a clip or something? And it was funny because I heard I heard someone say today they're like I don't like the way the devs are making us play the game all sneaky and stealthy. That's right. Okay, well, now I'm feed me baby. Nice and slow. Oh. Wait, are you a dude? Oh. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh no, why is it not pull the bow back? Shipmate warrior, thank you for the resub, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, hey, shipmate, do you have a, were you not talking when you got raided today, or do you not have a microphone when you stream? Because I, I, uh, when Matrix raided you, I was in there, and, uh, I didn't hear you, or was it on mute? You pull one of those. Thank you for the resub. This truck is going to be packed with fucking metal. Then there's an inventory rework, too, that's coming up, too, right? Pretty sure. 
So I don't know. I think in it, in all in all, it's gonna be good. I'm I'm an optimistic person, except when it comes to dealing with lethal. <laughs> lethal. Dude, what is with you? You've been hanging out with your girlfriend too much because that's probably what she does to you. Seriously. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell because this is really uncalled for. This is something new. This is something new. So I've noticed I've noticed the pattern of the non typical lethal behavior. Oh, like, oh, I don't like mayo and cheese on my sandwiches and all here in the in the in the kitchen. I don't like mayo and cheese on my sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> right exactly and now you're doing it dude now the thing you hate is you become a bad habit for you oh my god i'm gonna have to beat her <laughs> you gotta remember lethal's stone is he's high yeah. as kite i am too. Do, do they have it where you can drive the bigger vehicles in game like cargo truck what do you talk what are you talking about Monty mouse did i miss a chat or something or are you in the wrong stream no here? there's not any cargo trucks in the game no, 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 no. I'm talking about the vehicles. Oh, you mean the past vehicles? No, motorcycles, the rafts. Remember, you used to be able to build a giant garbage raft and go sail around the map? Dude, I want to do that. That's fucking great, dude. I, I love doing that. There was always a stream or two where I built a giant garbage, garbage fucking raft, and I'd go sailing and then get killed by a storm and eaten by a shark. Biggest vehicle was the tractor. Yeah, and I'm sure the tractor will come back. And it was also the loudest vehicle. Some guy was complaining about today on the one of the forums is he gets the white map thing. Remember, I used to get a white map every once in a while. I've never had that before. I once I used to get every once in a while. You'd have to log out and then you log back in. Never. The tractor will be back. I don't know if you saw anything that Tom has put out. He had a fucking thing with the tractor all armored up and shit. Kill dozer? No, probably not. That would be that would be kind of cool though. I mean, if there was terraforming in this game, then that would be a whole, whole, whole fucking different animal. Like if you could get a bulldozer and build like mounds and fucking physical features in the ground, like dig a hole in a mountain or something like that, or dig a cave or some shit like that, <laughs> game would go to the next level. You know what my wife made me today? She made me chicken fried steak. Mm. Yeah, good with brown gravy. Yeah. Someone's trying to get their bean flicked. Yeah, she got fucked. So. She got her. Uh, she got her daily allowance. If you know what I mean. Is that before or after you woke up from your nap? Uh, I was uh, after. I slept in. Okay, baby, I'm rare and ready to go. I hey. my alley. No, I don't have to take pills to get a boner. No, it's all I ate at all. I don't have. I don't usually do. I don't like leftovers. It's annoying. What leftovers are the best? All the flavor and everything. Like put into the no, I just make enough to eat, and then I don't like eating the same shit twice in one week. If I want to do that, I'll just eat fucking peanut butter sandwiches, and 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 not have to fucking cook, make a mess, wash dishes, go out and buy groceries. Do you throw out your pair of socks every time you wear them once too? Jesus. Uh, yeah, I do. Wow. Damn. 
I have I have a fucking I have a peasant living in my home who who weaves me silk stockings to put on every day. And I lock them back up in their cave. To go back to work, you piece of shit. I think I think that Scum will eventually have more cosmetic different bases. Like you're gonna be able to buy like panels, panels for your base. Like say you'll have the stock panels, which you have now, twigs. Maybe you'll have like uh Oh, that scared me. Maybe you'll just have different different colors or maybe you can paint your metal base. I don't know. I also feel do when the game goes moddable though. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, rabbits drooling at the at the the mouth right now. Uh. I don't know if I should continue looting metal, man. I've got so much fucking metal. I don't know. I think the truck is like full. And anything I'm gonna gonna need extra might probably gonna be. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully Jagex lets Game Pyres release the game files and mod it. I'm pretty sure they will. I think that was the whole intention of the game. I mean, look at GTA. GTA is so fucking popular because of mods. Literally had to do jack shit for like 10 years to their game and they just sold copy after copy after copy because people were modding the shit out of it. You know what I mean? But hopefully Jagex sees that as a val uh, valid fucking revenue model. Of course, GTA 5 didn't release the game files right away and I don't expect Jagex, Jagex to re release the game files right away either. But I guarantee you, if the game doesn't perform like they think it should, I don't know. I don't know what's. I don't know what to expect because, like, if the game doesn't perform out of the box and isn't a super hit, they may say, "You know what? Just fucking release the game files and be done with it and see what happens." Then that will fucking blow up. Because I mean, if they're gonna have to release the game files. You would think they would. I know that they want to make it infinitely moddable, so you don't need to release the game files. But I don't know. That eliminates creativity with like, you know, characters and skins and on guns and whatever, you know what I mean? So it could it could be to its benefit that Scum is not a major hit and then Jagex is like, fuck it, just cut our losses. And then they do and all of a sudden they have an unexpected hit on their hands. I don't know. It could be different. Why? Why would you get the supporter pack? Then it wouldn't be a supporter pack, Stewie. And you're not an early adopter. When the game came out, you were 13 years old. Or 14 years old. Wait, 14. Well below the legal age to play the game. <laughs> you're not early adopter. Who says they don't? I bet you if I go to Matoski and say, hey, give me the supporter packs, they give me all the supporter packs. <laughs> Whose name? Stewie's older brother? No, he doesn't know. He just calls himself Stewie's older brother. I don't even think he's thought about that. He just blew Stewie's mind. 
He's like, do we even know his name? Stewie just is like, now he's in a corner crying. I got a name and I don't even know what it is. Man, I am just gulping up the metal. I almost did it. What? I almost did it. Almost did what? Talk to you. Yeah. Well, you know, just just remember, you sound like your girlfriend when she fucking annoys you. You're just picking up your bad habits. You're sooner or later, you're just gonna get fucking married because you're already you're clearly nesting way too much that you're all talking to each other. She's probably going around fucking going do, 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 do. just My like name you did. My name is Lito. My name is Lito. I'm sh no, I'm just saying. She probably is. What do you mean, be disrespectful? Right, calm down, calm down. There's a goddamn fucking hey, sound hey, effect hey, for hey. it. All right. Are we going to be invited to the wedding, Lethal? Oh, my God. I'm never getting married. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lethal. Here Don't comes the bride. Yeah, okay, sure, right. That, that doesn't matter. Get a girlfriend for like 10 years and watch how that's the same thing. Wedding ring doesn't change that. Someone just gets sick of your saggy ass balls and they're like, fuck it. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you're like, bye. And then you're like 65 and you can only fuck lot lizards. <laughs> Why is Lethal always fucking these 75 year old women? Well, actually, they're 35 and they do meth. Why is he playing the video games from the freaking tr truck stop? Yeah. <laughs> Do you drive a truck? No, I just play video games in truck stop parking lots to get fucking two dollar blowjobs. <laughs> All right, clearly there's no. like the chicken fried steak at the truck stop. I won't lie. The stripper cake. Some cougars are worth it. Yeah, I think I'd date it. I'm I'm married to a cougar. Stewie, what's your what's actually your name? Because if you're Stewie's older brother, then what's your name? Oh, he he explained it the other day. So the Stewie's older brother, the one he is, the one he's he's supposed to be, is when Stewie goes to the future and meets himself in the future, his older self. So he's his older self. He's the older Stewie. So it's actually Stewie. Yeah, what'd you think? Of course it was from Family Guy. Yeah. Maybe you should change your name, Stewie. You should take on a new persona. Stewie's younger brother? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Stewie's mom. Oh, Peter. Stewie's mom got it going on. Yeah. Stewie's mom, she's got it going on. Man. All I want is like five minutes to talk to your old lady and be like, how annoying is lethal? And she's going to be like, oh, let me tell you. Oh, she'd make up a fucking story just to... She'd be like, oh, do yeah. The same thing you guys fucking do. You just make up a story to make me look like a chooch. Yeah. He he requires... Am, I'm actually a really nice guy. He requires the crust peeled off of his peanut butter sandwiches. He wants me to clip his toenails and keep them in a... The, the, the chips in a baby jar. No, I can't have other people clip my nails. She requires, he requires me to suck the toe jam out of his fucking, his cheesy ass toes. She does that for free. Whoa. Yeah, you just looked over your shoulder, man. <laughs> Alligator funny. TV, thanks for the follow. 
she lives by herself too. You know, we, we live separately. Yeah. So. Until you get married. So, so do me and my wife. We just unfortunately live in the same home. <laughs> you live in a closet in the basement, and she has. I don't live in a fucking house. closet. I'm living. In, I'm in a fucking 500 square foot room right now, with an 85 inch TV hanging on the wall. I got a wife. <laughs> So you live in a closet. Ooh, I, I have a house where you, we have multiple large living areas. So, you know. And I'm always going to bed before her or she's at work at night. So, Yeah. You have multiple couches to sleep on, you know. Yeah, I do have multiple couches to sleep on. I also have multiple beds. I got my own room. Get out of my womb! Mom said, "Don't disturb me while I'm cleaning my room." Yeah. Mom almost ended up sticking your dick in the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So that doesn't change either. Just be, you just you just have you know it's like it's like being roommates. Cheaper. Yeah, roommates they go to Pound Town. Yeah, well, maybe you get some action on there, get her to sell your house, get some fucking cash, pay off your house, and have more money. That's what I was hoping for and never achieved. Nope. That's what I got. I didn't hear you. Someone played the crash sound. What'd you say? I turn you up because you're quiet. I didn't say anything. Does my wife ever watch my streams? Never once, not once in six years has she ever watched my stream or give a fuck what I'm doing. My yeah, wife does not. She, my wife's never played video games. Because yeah, the next stream would be, all right, guys, I'm getting a divorce. Uh... <laughs> no, there's nothing I would say to you guys that I wouldn't say to my wife to her face. Or have not, haven't said to her face. So, you can just take a chill pill. I don't go talking behind people's backs. Unless your name's lethal, you know? Yeah, unless your name's lethal. Hey, don't start. Yeah, wait, I, I don't have... Don't I, start. I'm not even going to start that, but... <laughs> don't. I'm just telling you, that's a... You can't handle the truth. Yeah. New toxic behavior you have, lethal. Can't see when I there you go I and I called it out too because <laughs> Lethal was actually shocked when I said that he's like oh my god he has a newfound right. res he has a newfound respect for me because he's like wow he actually does know what he's talking about Mary Chooch knows He always gets. He always kills me. He never. Oh what are you even? Have, when's the last time you played Hell Divers? Oh uh, shit! Honestly, like a week and a half. Yeah, it's been a while. Even even Meowthy hasn't played Hell Divers. Nah. People are saying that the uh, the bots are too hard. And like... No, they made a big change. There was like a patch, uh, like today or yesterday. Was they it? added. They added they... a new bot. Apparently, it's a giant fucking walker. They also added new guns. You did that? Oh, I might have checked it out. Though. Yeah, DTP, uh, and they fixed the electric guns. Remember how they were broken? Oh, that's good. That was that was annoying. Yeah, <laughs> DTP is like down. He's like messing me because they fixed the electric guns, and he was like, "Bye." <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like a fucking like General Zod in that game right now. base rating with DTP. Huh? I missed the base rating with DTP. I think base rate. See, that's why we made uh, the 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 server the what you called what you called the uh, abandoned bunkers vanilla again because 
it's now you can go get your C4 and then someone's online, go attack them. But most people who do raid, they would offline and they didn't have any balls anyway, so fuck them. Pull up the patch notes for Helldivers, see what's new. Currently on Scum right now. Oh. Well, anybody can do that. Pepperon, make yourself useful. Start fucking looking. Oh, man. Did I fuck my title up? I did. There we go. Fix it. It's fucking annoying. Why don't you guys tell me that I had the website twice in my title? Got to go to parttimers.live! Exclamation point. Parttimers-live. Make sure you got it queued up in your fucking computer. On. All the time. Support the people on the team. You support them. You support me. You support me. You support them. Get it? Good. Good. Real good. Okay? Real good. I don't want to go do this fucking police station. What are you doing? He's at, his, he's at his fucking base. How much uh, fame you have? It's 41. I need a padlock. Right. Give me, yeah, give me a minute. I'll hit the sound after I'm done here. Don't you have 10 no, fame? No, no, padlocks need at least 25. No. All you need is yeah. 10 fame to get a fucking dialogue. No. I it was 15 to get anything out there. What? It's for the dialogues. It's fifteen or twenty. It's not ten anymore. What do you mean it's not ten anymore? PC Geek, did you change it? It's no, I thought 10. it was thought it's been uh, fifteen for anything at the trader. No, it's know. ten for padlocks. A hundred percent. I know. Fucking PC Geek. Ah, shit. Later. Whoop, whoop. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's why you get the fuck out of Pound Town. That's why it's like, oh, I don't like the food. I'm gonna, you know, mate, just because you there's hordes doesn't mean you have to stand and fight them. I mean, you can try if you want, but best bet is to flee. It's like active shooter. You know what I mean? Just flee. Remember when you could store stuff inside the plants? Anything you could loot, you could put stuff back inside of it. Remember that? Memba? Memba? Oh, I found a syringe. Let's go uh fuck banner. I don't have a I don't have a card yet. I mean I I, I, I you don't need a card. I mean I guess you gotta go uh find a bunker that find the bunker that's currently that's open. open. Yeah, it's not going to happen because you could store stuff like in fucking watermelons. You're like, hey, people were literally put guns inside corn plants because there was no there was no bases. So you had to carry everything. So people would keep shit inside buildings in the drawers to hide their shit. Because there was no place to there was no boxes. There was no locks. There was no base building. There was no barricades for windows all you had to do was put something inside something so if you were like uh, I don't know go over to like the little 
shitty area and search a fucking log, you could actually drop your gun inside that log. Two new war bonds. That's it. So you, oh, so there's two new uh, levels then. Yeah, like complete setups. Yeah, that means they're probably going to bring more enemies because they, they, all they're going to do is just, you know, when you start out, you're probably going to have your like your thing, and then you're just going to progress into the elite levels. It's not because it's a fucking legit. It's a it's a database nightmare. Let me tell you, that's why it's not there anymore. People pulling shit in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out is fucking horrific. <laughs> For a uh... I think rating's more interesting the way it is now. You don't you cannot be offline. Dude, no matter how you break it down, dude, the fucking game was plagued with offline rating. Change my mind. Cause you're not going to. Pretty much everybody who's been playing the game fucking or left the game is hates hates it because uh that act with likes the game but stop playing it because of offline rating. I don't hate it, but it's definitely a bitch move. I don't think it's a bitch move. Rating? I mean, it's an option in the server. You don't have to have it that way. We just turned it on. Oh, to do it. Oh, to do it. I thought you meant it was a bitch move to turn it on. No, I'm just saying. Oh, it is a total bitch move, but nobody... Like, I mean, you could probably count on one hand how many times you've been fucking raided on while you were online. And you could probably list on about 10 or 15 hands how many times you've been offline raided. And you could probably, every time you've been offline raided, tell exactly when it was a crew who spoke po Portuguese. <laughs> I know if there was nobody home, we left. We'd leave a mark to let them know that somebody was here. Yeah, I get that, but not many people did that. You know what I mean? I mean, you can still do that. I have self-respect. Most people are like, oh, I don't like it. It's it's going to change the way I play the game because I'm a raider. No, you're not a raider. Raider means you fight. You're a fucking thief. <laughs> okay? You're not a raider. You're a fucking thief. And it basically eliminates the whole lock picker fucking bullshit. Like the whole, I'm a good lock picker. And everyone's like, yeah, no one cares. Because you can't do it when someone's online. You know what I mean? You know how hard it is to sit and pick locks while someone's at their fucking base? Some dude just shoots you through a peephole or something. Throws a fucking grenade at you while you're... Because now that there's online rating only, people are going to build their base so that they can protect it like they're online. Prior to that, people used to build their base so that it was protected while they were offline. And you did not have optimal things like lines of sight or base design. Certain base designs are better for certain things. And most, you know, the meta was to build so that no one broke in. Well, now you got, now they got to be there. And that's a different, me that's a different meta. And I feel a more interesting and a more, uh, uh, like for, as far as replayability, like you may not design that you, you'll learn more from your base. Not going to be so meta like, Oh, stack these many door frames in front of each other. So you can not get raided. You know what I mean? You don't need all those door frames anymore because when you're offline, you're not going to get raided. It's a bit more fair. And it's like, you don't need to have a base with 6,000 base building elements to have fun and when you're offline you're like yeah i can't get raided fuck it 
I can't play until Friday. But when I come back, all my guns and shit will be there. Yeah, the time, like, you don't need that anymore, man. It's like, it's when people do that. Like, nobody's going to break into your base. And, and you're, because first of all, like I said, lock picking is tremendously hard when someone is there, especially in here, because you're going to get the alert that says someone's lock picking something of yours, which means you're going to return to your base and shoot the motherfucker who's doing it. And then if you got dial locks on your base, like we sell dial locks in this server and fame is really hard. Is It's got the fame multiplier is really low. You get the fame, the highest fame in the server is 217 speed rain. Dude, someone knocked the guy off. That's not the guy who was at number one before. I had speed rain was not the guy at 217. 217 is the highest fucking fame in the server after a month. So... That's another thing. You're not going to be able to lock pick or use your dial locks very much. So the one way to get into a base is to fucking do a kill box, get some C4, walk up to that goddamn base and blow a hole in it. Because then you've got exposed areas of the base where people will shoot at and you'll have a gunfire, gunfight, and people will have fun because that's what everybody wants. Nobody ever said, I want a game when I shut it off, I get fucking robbed senselessly and I lose everything. Nobody I ever... Uh, yeah, why? Are you in the town? Here, give, yeah, give me some. I'm sure there's nobody ever that was like, you know, I wish I could get a game so when I log off, I come back in and everything's gone. Some jagoff steals it. Everybody wants to have fun, exactly. Where the fuck are you? By the grocery. The By the popo. I hear you. I'm right here. Woo! Thank you. Right, everyone wants to have fun, and that's going to promote more fun, in my opinion. And if you don't think that's fun, and you think it's fun robbing people while they're offline, then you clearly have a penis the size of a grain of rice. And, you know, and on top of it, no online rating or offline rating means that all those people are basically not going to come to your server or are going to just stop playing the game. And the people, because here's the thing, though, the only people who are going to experience online rating are going to be the people who want online rating or offline rating. I mean, so official servers are offline rating is allowed. And people who don't want to experience that are going to go elsewhere. And the only people who are going to experience it are those people. And you can't really bitch about it, right? You will not be able to bitch about, oh, I was raided offline. Because you could just say, well, go play somewhere else, dude. Because playing official servers is probably dumb if you're really sensitive about that. Or you have a lot of time on your hands and you can play a lot of scum. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, that's the thing. I think it really pissed me off is that I would have, we, we would wipe the server, It would the population would be booming in the boom, boom room because I have a big community. I've been streaming and playing this game for almost six years now. And then it would just get totally fucking sidelined by, by fucking six people who came in at 3.30 in the morning and just fucked everybody. And yeah, okay, while there's like 20 people online, maybe at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, they're definitely not getting raided. So it, that was that was the thing. And it's happened almost every time we've had the fucking server wiped since the inception of lockpicking. Offline base raid, you mean? No, I don't. No problem, Mighty Mouse. I'm glad I could be of some some sort of assistance. Or or aid or or therapy. Provide some escape from, you know, escape. I try to escape lethal every day, but I, I find it hard, and I come home to Discord, and there he is like a wart on my asshole. Never goes away. Yeah, with a big smile on your face. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know.
Yeah, look at you. Beating the shit out of that truck. Yeah, because I just drove it halfway across the map. <laughs> Filled with bricks. Well, you're getting bricked up, huh? Not bricks. I mean metal. You know what I mean? Bricked up. I was bricked up. I'm bricked up right now thinking about you, Lethal. I just want you to know wow. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think it is a good thing, and I don't I don't ever want to have offline rating. It's just stupid. It doesn't make any sense, and it's literally – it's just a way of – it's just – it, call it what it is. It's fucking griefing. You know what I mean? You're just there to ruin somebody's day. You're not there to have fun. And at the end of the day, come on, Lethal, say it with me. It's all about heaven. And now you don't have to. You don't, you know. Well, there's that, too. You got to admit, fucking people who do that kind of shit are like fucking really lacking. <laughs> ex ex lacking, you know, I mean, they're just whatever. Lacking male stimulus. Yeah, they're just lacking. Their mommy never hugged them when they were babies. What I thought I was thinking today, I was like, yeah, you know, everybody changes their point of view. It's like your mom changed her point of view when she didn't abort you as a fetus. Griefers are the unintelligent people of the gaming community. Right. They're the village idiots. It's, you know, it's like the guy who comes to your base and stands next to it and plays music all day or watches you so he could learn your paths. You're like, yeah, you're a weirdo. Remember we were talking about that guy? Yeah. Hot Rod. Don't say his name. Dude, he hasn't been here in fucking forever, dude. Dude, oh, he, right, he wrote right, a manifesto, right. man. If he's here, I will gladly call him a shitbox. He's probably locked up in a fucking asylum somewhere. Banned from computers. Yeah, right. He's in a fucking straitjacket rocking in front of a fuck or fucking drugged out what on fucking your stream on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> with a with the with the face mask on. He's like the guy from Quiet Riot on the album with the fucking man in the iron mask. It's in there laughing like a beeper. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually his real voice. Alright, I'm gonna go pee. I'll be back in a second getting a giveaway. Oh my god! Keep your fucking head, asshole. Shoot him in the leg if you haven't already. Get up! Where the fuck's he going? Is fat and stream all day. Weighs 700 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Shit. Oh, he got me, dude. What? Dude, he fuck. What? Oh, fuck. Dude. Wow, that's fucking garbage. How did that happen? Birthday 
to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cooper. Happy birthday to you. Motherfucker. That's fucking weird. The rifle. Oh, you know what? Let's shoot him with the bow. No, I gotta watch. <laughs> oh! oh my! Oh my God! I literally looked down the thing. Oh my God! Wow! Fucking asshole! Down. Song request isn't on because. Oh, shit! Look at all this. Uh, uh. Fucking bitch scared the shit out of me. There's nobody here. What? Who's this? Oh, God. What the fuck, dude? Hit him. Fucking piece of shit! Wow. Wow, dude. Come on, I can't. Alright. I'm back. White. Uh, nine minutes, Mighty Mouse. Oh, the giveaway's over, huh? Did it just finish? Give us our free shit. Yeah, so I actually changed my chairs. I have a desk chair, got arms on it, and I always lean on my left arm, and that's what fucks my shoulder up. So I swapped out for one of my kitchen chairs. And actually, it's way more comfortable to sit in a chair that doesn't move, too. New winner is... Grumpy. 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 No you're gonna get a long Reddit post with Gamer Girl on there about how your giveaways are rigged. Oh, Grumpy! Start dancing around, oh, tucking my wiener no. between my legs, and be like, "Would you fuck me? <laughs> I'd fuck me." Grumpy. And I put more games on the wheel, so you guys can't say it's because there's less games on the wheel, Tyrone. I put a bunch of brand new games on the you wheel. You did it! Congratulations! <laughs> All right, you can still try again, though. You can still try again. I'm going to get a long Reddit post. She's going to be like, you know what? This motherfucker, I went into a stream and he didn't give me Helldivers 2. So I went to the gym and I started working out and then I met him in person and then I tried to beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what she's doing. She's prepping. It's okay, that was pure fucking skill. All right. What do I need to upgrade this shit? Oh, toolboxes. Okay. I got that. I think. I'm really enjoying this list that I have going on right meow. I'm just 
really liking it. Keep rocking out, my cock out. Uh, 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 I'm lethal, and I listen to Barbara Streisand. Uh. I do. Yeah, I figured. Dude, no, don't lie. You said you don't listen to music anymore, and that's when I was like, you're a poor, old, pathetic soul. You're like, I don't listen to that goddamn racket anymore. It's yeah, not nonsense. Yeah, I got a Scott Staff poster on my wall, and I listen to nothing but old Creed <laughs> albums all day. I got like, Lethal's got long, greasy, curly hair. With all wide open, it is a struggle. Well, we'll be my place. Come on, every way. Fucking got a Scott Staff wig. He only gave me 20 games, and I feel like Helldivers would have been the game to give me, but he said I couldn't bribe him or blackmail him, so 4 out of 10 needs improvement. See? I knew it! <laughs> wow! Yeah. You see? Fucking goddamn, man. Are you a Zoomer? No, you're... What are you, Millennial? Gen Z? What the fuck are the generations now? What generation do you classify yourself in? Even though she's probably really a 72-year-old lady. Who crochets, aka works out. You're 30? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. You're turning 30, so you're getting dirty to the 30. Yeah, dirty 30. Chicks in their 30s are the perfect age. It's like a piece of fruit, extremely ripe, and in a short amount of time, it turns extremely rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. Lethal, why did you make me say that? You're definitely getting reported. Reported. Yeah, she's going to go to. You called me Shaggy. She can't. <laughs> Man, I got a lot of metal the way it was. No. Oh. Might as well take all this out of here. Nah, you'll be fine. That's why they got that's why they got all the support garments. Just get support garments and always have sex with the lights out. You'll never have to worry about it. Yep. Never have to worry about it. Plus, it really depends on who's really uh on the other on the on the giving end too you might want the lights out you know what i mean like if you were if you had to if you were if like lethal's old lady she shuts that shit off and fucking puts the fucking sleeping patch over her face i'm gonna really explain why her head's in the pillow a lot. I mean, yeah right <laughs> yeah. yeah right yeah he's like gee it's like I got these earbuds in, and uh, it's like AI. So every time he speaks, it's in a. It, uh, I get. I just all I hear is Brad Pitt talking to me. <laughs> it's Rob Lowe talking. To yeah, me right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Lethal's like, yeah, I don't fucking. I, and all she hears is, "It's okay, baby." It's like translate. Like it's like <laughs> Lethal's just going on and on and on, and all of a sudden you just hear Rob Lowe telling her a story. Yeah. <laughs> That name came to mind because I uh, recently watched the roast of Rob Lowe. That was a good one. Yeah. Has anybody heard from Freezy? Like no. he's he's been like fucking MIA for the longest time. Dude, I think last time I, I looked at a message that I sent them and it was been like hundred and twenty days. Yeah. 
He's been playing games though. Yeah. Really? I don't know. Yeah, if you look at your Steam friends um, activities. Cooper's like I spy on everybody on the Steam. I I dude, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't I don't go looking. I I look at Steam to press he's play on scum. Play. Oh, he's been playing grid. He's been yeah. being a race car driver. I, 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 I press play on scum or whatever game I'm playing and then I close out Steam if I can because I don't like it in the background. Because I remember he was going on vacation. I fucking should just message him. I mean, usually he just comes comes around here. Could just be like in his head with trial and stuff going on. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, I guess, yeah. I suppose. I forgot. Yeah, they, that's what was going on. But I, I would assume that would probably be over. Fucking, that's four months, oh, yeah. man. Nah, that shit can uh, go on for years, dude. You think so? I mean, oh, maybe. Yeah. Eh, I guess. I suppose. I I just thought it would have been more cut and dry. Cons At least six months. At least six months in a trial for something like that. First appearance is gonna get postponed for a month or two anyway, so they can disclose. All yeah, the but pro provided the fucking the. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot server restart. Oh fuck. Well, at oh. least I'm in the uh, safe zone. Was that you in the car? Yes. I saw you drive by. I was gonna shoot you. I mean, we're in the safe zone. You can't shoot me. No, no, you were you were on the on the road. Oh yeah. You I drove was... right by me while you're on the road. I, I pointed at you. I was like, that may be Goober. That <laughs> may be. Why don't you kill him? Because they're about to reset, and I don't want to fuck somebody. Oh, that's true. How long have you been sitting there? <laughs> He's probably not even there. You just like. No, I'm. I was seeing him drive by, and I pointed my gun at him. Whoever was in that Liker. What Were kind of gun do you have? The, under that little tarp in front of the bridge. No, I, no, uh -oh. I was sitting in the road. Oh. Right before, you get, right before you get to the trader, I was sitting in the road right underneath the tree. Oh, okay, because there's. And you were driving else. right towards me, and I and I had my gun pointed right at you. Shit. But you know, see, I don't know. Lethal's a nice guy. He didn't want to fuck you because restart. Some guy, uh, there was this company, they kept bugging me about this. They were like for grips for controllers. And I'm like, uh, hey, what's up, Boom Shakalaka? Yes, after me. Correct. You are correct. So is the mask in game is made after me. I did have someone tell me, you're such a loser. You named yourself after a mask inside the game. And I'm like, really, dude? Really? <laughs> someone actually said that to me. I was like, okay, whatever you want. Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's what I did. See, there's my mask that I'm wearing right there. The same mask as your logo. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know you had authorization to change it all on every other server, too. You must be a server god. Right, Cujo. I haven't played this game longer than some of the... De I bet you I've played this game longer than some of the developers. I know I've been, I've been playing the game longer than, like, Matoski and Kick have been working for Game Pyres. Like so, here you go. All around the stack, this plant, the stalker chased the bandit. The stalker thought twas all in fun. Pop goes the bandit. Wow. Uh, twenty-six thousand one hundred and sixty-five point one hours. Get a life, bro. Yeah, I know, dude. Don't, and everyone's like, <laughs> so it's like, he's a. Someone like they're like this guy's like a super OG, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I find that kind of insulting, since I remember the day that guy started playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> T 
touch grass. I do touch grass, man. Six years, dude. Plus pandemic. That's all I got to say. The fuck did you do for the, in the pandemic when you had to stay home from work? I played fucking video games. <laughs> so, it's not like it was like 26,000 hours minus the two years most people sat at home. I worked too. I worked from home. I designed a fucking oh, machine no. that they my company sells for 2.5 million fucking dollars. That's what I did. I did drink like a fish. I did I did drink like a fish. Not gonna lie, I drank way dude. I was I was an alcoholic. We had a good uh, few bourbon streams. Yeah. I can't even drink bourbon anymore. I mean, I can, but I mean, I, like, I don't want to, I don't like, I guess I just don't like feeling like complete ass the next day anymore, waking up like someone, like, I don't even want to do anything. Just as you get older, I can't party like I used to because my body's starting to fail me. Share your butthole, thank you. Well, that's another thing, too. Everyone's like, oh, it's the food I ate. No, usually when you shit after you drink, it's because all the booze killed all the good bacteria in your gut. And now you're just fucking crapping blood. Yeah. So, yeah, I was... I mean, I've, I've fucking partaked and partied for a long time. For, for, for a long time. Sooner or later, it's like, yeah, you know what? Is that you, Lethal? No. No, someone's here. Someone logged in. Whoever was sitting at the trader is logged in. Yeah, like, they just finally came. I'm about to shoot him right in the head. I don't think it'll work. I know. I'm just to scare the shit out of him. Maybe we should make an RP server and we'll make the traders where where you, you can't, there's no, uh, there's no uh, safe he's zone. He's still dancing. And then you get murdered and then that person goes to jail. And then there's a guy in jail, and his name is Bubba, and he likes putting his finger in people's butthole, and he puts it in yours. Sends your mom pictures of it. Oh, you know what? I think that's Cujo. Cujo, is that you? Got Cujo in the face, then. Punch, punch that motherfucker in the head. He's, uh, he's running down the bridge. Bourbon streams are bourbon streams are no longer. Yeah, I mean, I granted, like it's another thing too. Now I have a daughter who's. I, I, I don't. I don't think it's a good idea to have that out on the. And the last time I did a fucking the big long, the beer streams, the ones where I drink all that beer, I fucking uh, delete. I don't keep those vods up, so you have to be here to see those. I'm not saying I won't do another one, but you're not going to see as many as I used to. <laughs> that made me cough. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why are you poisoning me? You know what? Ever since I started using pens, when I go to fucking shake or flower, it's like nothing. What do you mean? Like it's not not powerful enough. I don't, uh, that's why I don't use them. They don't affect me. Oh, I ran out of bolts again? Dude, I'm going to be pissed if I don't have any fucking bolts. <coughs> <laughs> he took a shot at you, Lito. I shot at him. Oh, that was him. Oh, is that, I didn't see who was who. <laughs> <laughs> he missed. <laughs> you missed. <coughs> I'm gonna get something to drink real quick. I ducked as soon as he shot. <laughs> there he is.
Yeah. <coughs> you know what sucks too? It's well, it's the blood pressure medicine does that too. Give you the cock and mouth? No, it gives you a dry cough. Honest to God, it's one of the side effects. In a bloody asshole, it's weird. Because mm. In a rotten, a rotten booty hole, I got a rotten booty hole. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Are you going to go do water that guy's bald head? What? He's talking to uh, the goob. No, Echo will be back. I know he'll be back. In fact, I, 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 I feel Echo will come back and play more than Blades will come back and play. <clears throat> How much are the padlocks? Uh, $2,000. Hold on. Give me a sec. Not well, the padlocks. No, you can, okay, go look at the fucking I mean, dialogues. Dialogue. They're they're $2,000 and a 10 fame. I have 5 fame and I can buy miscellaneous stuff. Ooh. Yeah, you can buy like water and jerky and all that other shit. <clears throat> no, you can't buy food. I'm 5. Guys, if you're playing scum and you're looking for a home and you want a fucking more mature crowd who basically uh, validates every person's Steam that comes into the server, and if they have a VAC or a fucking game ban on their account, they can't play here. That's another reason, too. Everyone's like, oh, no one's playing in your server, Tyrone. Yeah, because we've banned like 400 fucking people out of the community that all have fucking previous bans, most of which are from fucking like less than a year ago. You're like, yeah, I want that guy playing here. You don't, you won't believe how many fucking people cheat at video games. And it's always the same story. Well, my little brother got on the computer and, you know, he gets on there and he's really mischief and he goes on those sites and he just wants to win. And then I came home and played a game and I got banned. Okay, dude. Okay. Sure. And it's funny, uh, Echo was telling me, remember one of the guys that played with Echo? Remember his crew? Uh, there was a guy on his crew, I forgot his name. When he said his name, I just instantly brought back, because he used to play with Junkie, too. And uh, he got actually banned from scum for cheating. <laughs> And this guy was a fucking regular in the server, would fucking bust my balls. Remember when they were playing with Spanky and them? Who was the guy that was playing with them that was playing with them also, also with Spanky? Remember they were playing with fucking Blades or something like that? Or Junkie? And he said, the guy stream sniped me. And I'm like, you don't even stream. He goes, but I play with a streamer. And I'm like, that, that, you can't get stream sniped if you're not a fucking streamer. I do remember the spanky guy, but I don't remember the guy. Oh, oh uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Is it something devil? Give me two. Edge? Edge? Mo oh, Edge DK? No, not Edge DK. The guy used no, to play with Junkie understand. and Echo people, well, people back in the day. People don't understand what's going on. The Blaze, remember? Remember what that crew? What the fuck is fucking going on? Nobody fucking knows. Oh. 
Remember when Junkie had a big crew? He was living in like B3 all the time. Because I, I was asking him, he goes, yeah, so-and-so. You remember that guy? He goes, yeah. He goes, he got banned. And I'm like, oh, I always knew he was full of shit because this guy would make these miraculous fucking snipes. Back in the early days of the game, this guy was like fucking. Oh, that was just like, that was like Deadeye too. Remember Deadeye? Yeah, that guy. Just doing the most. You're like, come on, man. Killing you from fucking 350 fucking meters away with a headshot while you're on the run. In this game, which, you know, you can run really fast and it's really fucking hard to, to hit someone when they're moving really quick. Lethal knows. There's always been, there's been a bunch of people have been through here and you're like, there's no fucking oh, yeah. way, dude. Well, you've been dead eye after he shot me through, through woods in, in a fucking house in B2. Yeah, it was either that or people just using really, really, really bad exploits. Yeah. Yeah, whether and and now yeah, wi the windage in the game. Dude, there was guys that were doing shit. You're like, there's no way, no fucking way. Well, I mean, I I have made some great good shots but that's right not 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 not, not all the time no i mean like you got to really have your timing down yeah the chinese guy flying yeah but i mean these guys were these guys were fucking pro cheaters you know what i mean Pro cheaters, not not people who are not stupid cheater. Stupid cheater is guy who flies around, kills you with one bullet from the other side of the map. Pro cheaters are are ESP guys and only using it to get the tactical advantage and then toggling it off. here goober yeah i'm by the car you got any food on you yes if echo oh. shows up he'll he'll know his name That edge dude is on my, is on my mind now. Huh? The edge dude. You know I what know I'm talking about. Something. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you've got it on a tip of your tongue. He used. I do. Am I making a brick? Eventually, I will. Yeah, I mean, I think right now, I think I need to go to metal first because it's a it's a crucial it's a base area that I feel I'm going to store stuff. Because my other base is kind of a pain in the ass to run around in, but I do think I'm going to have other people play with me. Because I. And remember, guys, May's coming up, so I'm thinking about possibly doing a full wipe in May, maybe June. Maybe I'll do it on my birthday. Tyrone says, happy birthday. Go fuck yourself. Full wipe of the server. <coughs> What's up, Disco Ninja? <clears throat> Eight Avins of fucking speaking Italian. A bumpo. A bumpo and a jumpo. I'm going to move the car over that way because it's too close to the sales uh, part of the trader. But yeah, I think if you guys are looking for a place to play, 
and believe me, this place has a big community. Don't let it fool you. Scum's really in the doldrums right now. That's why the only people playing the fucking game are fucking people either role playing or playing in some fucking all the all a lot of the big U.S. servers are are uh, are fucking max loot. Like I don't understand how people have don't like can play the game without max. That still that 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 puzzles me. That, I, is, that is easy mode. Easy. easy that mode. is like super easy mode. That's like I'm too. I, that's like I'm fucking lazy mode in my opinion. Like you're like I'm too lazy to wait two minutes to see which if it turns around to walk into the fucking thing. And that's also a good way to know if you're gonna get fucked in the ass by some crew rolling up on you. Yeah, Ma Max. Loot, we only got vanilla loot here. Like, I just don't fucking get it, man. I don't get it. That's like truly turning it into a battle royale. Yeah, it's like, just go play another game. Like yesterday, I said, you know, when I want a constant firing shooting game with like a little lull, like I, I like, I don't, I don't like Call of Duty because you always got to be on point. Arma Reforger and that Vietnam game were perfect. I could still play it and there was enough break in the action while I was running to the battle or whatever where I could talk to you guys. And I'm sure when if you had 100 players consistently on Scum, it would be that. But it's a hard, it's very hard to get 100 people to play the game this way because a lot of, so many people who play are just fucking lazy fucking, oh, I just want to shoot people all day. That's why the, the game and the, the AI and the fucking NPCs is going to be really cool. Hopefully they come that soon. I think it's going to be a part of it. Like I said, I'm thinking the devs are just waiting for maximum fucking. Like walking into an area and then you have to kill the fucking tech one. Well, it's like fucking, it's just, here, how about this? It's just like fucking Tarkov with loot that people can steal. I mean, if you think about it, Tarkov is like scum. And, uh, you know, but like, imagine, imagine it like being like Hunt Showdown where like there's, okay. Let's right now we have a thing called drops, but instead of drops, imagine if you had like, you're like, yeah, drops are not exciting, right? You go in there, you lock pick, you take the shit, you leave. Now you got to go there and kill the guy to get what you want. And other people are going to try to be doing it too. Confusion of gunplay. Fucking maybe we'll team up and do it. And we'll split the prize. Maybe we'll fucking kill you. I don't know. There's all kinds of different ways that scenario could end like that. So that's how I, that's what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? I'm not necessarily think. I think of like all those games like Hunt Showdown. But the thing is, though, is that everybody needs to be told what to do. Nobody can fucking do, like make their own. Like, choose your own adventure. Sure, choose your own adventure. How do I do that? How do I do that? You didn't tell me what no. to do. Tell me how to do that. Tell me how to do that. How do you do it? Well, you just do it. Trash. I couldn't figure out in five minutes. Yeah, yeah right. Can't figure this game out because my IQ is 12. I ran into a bunker with only a spear and I died six times. This game is ass. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I guess people buy the game and I honestly think they just don't read the fucking thing. They're like, oh, I'll yep. try. Or they'll see the commercial and they'll be like, oh, that's cool. And then th they don't realize that that is not. Get fucked, nerd. Wow, Nick's Hex. What's going on, dude? What's going on? Right. Oh, that's you? Oh, I thought it was fucking Nyx. Well, you're you're a hoe, Highland. You're a filthy hoe. Oh, I thought that was his. I've been playing this game a lot, and like I said, I've run a server since fucking October of 2018, shortly after the game released, before there was even fucking official servers. There was an official server, but then there was like, yeah, there's, 
I've seen every iteration of the game available. Uh, and, uh, it was just, uh, I don't know. I think people just don't understand what kind of, you know, I bought a minivan. How come it's not a Corvette? Well, I don't know. I mean, whatever. You just, you didn't, you, you, you took something and you tried to make it something else. And that's not what it is. Uh, you know what I mean? Not I mean. You know what I mean? Uh, I ran out of bolts. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude. Motherfucker. Now I gotta go get bolts. That was legitness. Thanks for the lurk, uh, Highland. Well, you do that. Highland's like, I get you every time. Well, you're playing the sound that Nick's Hex plays all the time, you chooch. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things in this game that I actually recommended to Tom. Like, lock protection, you know, the zappers. You know, the how you can change the intensity of the zapper. That was my idea. Um, and you know why that was my idea? Because fucking people oh, were fucking ripping through I'm everyone's base. Like, garbage. see, now I, that's how I know you as. People would be like, oh, yeah, I built a base and everything was gone in five minutes. Even with the zappers. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh, the fame. When you go to the store, when you go to the store and you try to buy something and you need fame and money, fame is like your reputation. It's like you got to level up your character to buy, get purchasing power. That was my idea. Uh, actually, they had a different idea and nobody liked it. And then they changed it to this. And then you could turn that off if you want to in the game. So just another level of complexity you can add to the game. Uh, what was the other thing I gave them? That was my idea. Because, like, I talk, I, you know, I don't talk to him as much as I used to, but I talk to him on a regular, used to talk to him on a regular basis. You need one more fame to buy food? There you go. That's what I'm saying. Fame in this server is really hard to come by. You don't get, like, once you pass the maximum amount of fame, huh? it's pointless, right? You don't need it. Like, you're going to, you know, now this guy fucking number one dies. He's fucked. He gets murdered. He he's goes, he, he, he loses 50% of his purchasing power and can't even buy magazines or bullets for his guns. <clears throat> yeah, you'll have money, and that's used to respawn, right? If you die, you can respawn. Like, the game isn't, like, look at Luis with 66. I'm with 110, and I died fucking twice last week. Was it last week or two weeks ago? Fucking ask someone for some food. You can buy... What? How much fame do you have? Nine? Oh, are you not in Tyrone's? Fourteen? Okay, yeah. You'll get it. Just... Okay, here's the thing. There's water everywhere. Where, where, the fucking lake. Wherever you fucking suck at, your lowest thing... Like medical, medical, uh, go play events. And if you get shot, bandage yourself in the event and it'll level up your medical, which will also give you fame. Uh, that's not really one that's easy to grind, but any of these things that are really low, like demo make nail traps or make fucking bombs or make pipe bombs. And your, your fame will go up gardening. Your fame goes up cooking. Your fame goes up. Uh, and I'm talking like cooking meat. You don't have to build a fancy kitchen or whatever. Constitution, just running around. Everyone's like, oh, you just get fame for being in the game. No, you get fame for moving around because your constitution and your running and your, and your uh, stamina are going up. So like brawling, if I went out and just punched every puppet that I fucking fought, I would get the most fame out of all my strength characteristics here. The next one would be going and killing shit with a handgun. And then after that would be rifles and melee for a tie and archery is my, I don't get zero fame. Like I'll have to shoot like a 150 puppets to get like one fame. Right. You play the game and you get fame, but you get the most fame from the shit that you're not good at. So if your guy's good at fucking archery, don't use archery. Use a um, crossbow with a, ACOG on it. You'll get sniping and rifle skills too. Plus, you'll get archery skills. 
So now he's right. I mean, you just play the game, you get the fame. You don't have to fucking grind it. Like some servers like, we have a gym. What's that? It's like, oh, we're, you can park your guy in the gym and he won't lose any health or get cold or whatever. And you're like in a bush doing this for fucking nine hours. Oh, yeah. Okay. See you later. And then you come home from work and your guy's leveled up in stealth. Like, this is fucking dumb. No, there's not a gym. It's like they call servers call it a gym, like a gym where it's safe for you to go fucking lay on the ground like a lizard and roll around. You just crashed trying to get a plane. I mean, you're not. It doesn't necessarily mean you're dead. He's dead. Well, that's true. I, I know that, but I mean, that's also what people like server owners are like coming up with like fucking ideas to like, like, let's face it. I, 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 I literally paid 270 bucks for a fucking standalone machine. Everyone's like standalone machine. Stand. I'm like, show me the goddamn fucking invoice. And then I will believe you that you buy a standalone machine. I can show you mine. You show me yours. And they're like, oh, oh, oh. I go, so the only thing you can really do in this game to be any different than fucking any other server is your rules. Right? Well, I was like, well, okay, that's a matter of opinion and choice anyways, right? So I have, like, the best machine you can fucking do. You pay $600? What do you want, drugs? Come on, man. Show me the invoice. Who the fuck you pay $600 to for a fucking server? Why? For a scum server? That you can't get the game files for at all? GG dedicated? Dude, waste. So what do you have, three servers? Is this not $600 for one server? If not, you're getting completely fucking ripped off. If you're paying six hundred dollars for one server, let me tell you right now, you're getting completely ripped off because Pink Perfect will give you the same fucking server that they have for fucking two seventy. Yeah, I can have as much as I want too on the one server, right? But I mean, do you have like a standalone machine where like? It's like just, or is it a fucking thing in a rack and they just don't put anybody else on your machine? Because I used to have that with G Portal when they first got the get fucking game. And they're like, you have to buy 250 slots. Yeah, no, I, I used to buy 250 slots from G Portal so that no one would be on my machine. I literally have a standalone machine with an NVMe drive and 64 gigs of RAM and a fucking uh, a, 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 a server processor. Yeah, I, I have just a machine running scum. I mean, I could put whatever game I want on it, but I don't run anything else other than scum. But it's not a uh, virtual server. What the fuck? Here. Uh, I think in Discord we have the, the processor. The processor is like the Xeon version of the i9. And I got an OVH server that's a Linux box that we run uh, Seven Days to Die, and we run Valheim, and we run fucking uh, Zomboid on. Hey, let me out real quick. Let me out real quick. No, just go to the uh, oh. town. The fuck? I thought it was a... No more. Are you going to keep Or we keep going? Let's go to the town, see if you can add me. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you had to I have to go. look. I forgot the processor, yeah, really but it go. came out in 2019, so it's a, the, one of the last Xeons they made. 
I don't know if they still make Xeons anymore. I don't think they do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's coming up on me? Is that you? Fucking piece of shit. Whoa, yeah, there's a truck here. Eh, fuck you. Stay away from my truck. Dude, your horn was like... Did you hear that? See if you can add oh, me. To me, it sounded, it sounded normal. If I can add you? You have you don't have 30 yeah. fame. Yeah, but Uber, it said Goober let me add me. Ah, uh, yeah. Still says need 30 fame. So why didn't it say that for Goober? I don't know. Because he does only got... Probably because I'm by myself or... Yeah. Uh -huh. Where do you want to go? Look, there's a truck there. 3.7 to 5. Yeah, but see, Ryzen 9 7900 isn't a fucking server processor, dude. It's not rated to run 24 7. Like, that's a fucking. Like, it's all about the fastest, uh, what is it, uh, single core processing. And I know that. But he says he pays 600 bucks for him, dude. Like, the thing is, I talked when I, I talked to Leva when I was back in the day when I when I got the, the, the dedicated machine, I was like, Leva, give me the top three server processors, the best server processors, because he's the technical guy on the side of the game that will run fucking scum the best and he listed out the three servers and i got uh, like three and I, I showed him he goes that one's perfect other than like getting something with a thread ripper in it it's you know it's pointless he said uh but it's a desktop server dude that's why that's why that's why scum is literally moving all their servers away from gg hosts <laughs> that's why when you said you'd pay six hundred dollars with fucking gg host man i really feel that's probably one and a half maybe two times oh, more than you would pay inside. at ping perfect or is ping perfect's the only one other one i know that will give you a dedicated machine if you ask for it but they will give you a dedicated machine with like you know uh fucking with like ddos do they offer ddos protection that's another thing. I don't think they do. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. 600 bucks is a lot of money. <laughs> That's a fucking car payment, man. You might want to shop around and save yourself some fucking money and get the same goddamn performance. No, they're not moved to officials. They are now moving away from GG Host. I don't know if you read the fucking last twit, twit, uh, Twitter post that they had. They're moving all the servers to a new server provider. You want to know why? Because Jagex is probably going to move them to big boy servers, like Amazon fucking servers or some shit like that, not fucking servers running on desktop fucking computer fucking chips. <laughs> You know what I mean? You think an Amazon runs a server with a fucking that was legit with a with a hey, thanks for the lurk, crazy. You think Amazon runs their servers with a fucking AMD Ryzen nine? <laughs> like a kind of server that you know, like they put on New World and shit like that. There's no way. Dude, you said six hundred bucks, and you save GG host, and you pay. You you don't have a fucking Xeon or a fucking server rated fucking processor running your game. Then yeah, that's. Right, which are not necessarily AMD's. I don't know what's AMD's server fucking uh, processor. Is it the is it the uh, thread not the thread ripper? Do they even make a server? What's uh? Is it is that what it's called, or are you just saying something else, PC Geek? Epics. Okay, so there you go. 
So, yeah, if it's not that, then it's really not a server. It's just a fancy fucking computer that some guy probably plays games on. So it's not even really a true server. I mean, I guarantee you there's some guy out there who plays fucking scum on a desktop that's built the same way. Do yourself a favor, Ribbon. Go fucking look for a fucking server somewhere else because you're getting fucking raped over the coals for 600 bucks a month, dude. Well, I don't know if they have DDoS protection either, too. Like, I mean, if you're running a gaming server, you're going to have to have DDoS protection because there's going to be some fucking chooch who gets mad at you because you banned him and he's going to fucking DDoS your server. It's going to happen. You ever seen a grown man naked? You know? Yeah. You got 10 metal and 10 rags? Yep. Hold on. And I know Toby and PC Geek know what they're talking about because they're in the industry. That's included, but there's no proper protection from the botnet. Well, I mean, the botnet, they gather IP. You can't drugs. fix stupid. Well, the, the thing is, is like the, uh, the botnet, when, when you, data starts coming to the fucking server, they start gathering the fucking IP addresses and then they're just like, and then oops, you can't send data from that anymore. So eventually you start carving out giant chunks of the botnet. And if you're running a really good place, if you run like decent servers, that, that big chunk of people is already eliminated from the server because. All right, Mighty Mouse, take it easy. I'm telling you. And I'm, I know that fucking Ping Perfect is probably got using a data center where the guy, like OVH, I can get a, a, a bare metal server in OVH. So they probably go to OVH because they have the rights to use the scum game. And then they get the server from OVH, which is a very good server. You can fucking design whatever kind of machine you want. You can design your server so that it's like fucking $2,000 a month. But, you know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> right. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> that's why I was, like, asking the scum devs, like, how do, can I become a server provider and I will only provide a server to myself? Down the hill? Up the hill. So, like, I could just get the game and I, I won't give the files away or anything like okay. that. I'll just manage okay. it. That's all I want. I see you. Right, yeah, and that's basically what all these server providers are. Unlike, but GG host is not going that way. GG host is a guy who has like <laughs> probably like fucking, you know, could be just a business and he has a lot of computers. But I don't know. I talked to the guy GG host and I was like, hey, let's make a deal. And he was like, 300 bucks for the server. And I'm like, well, that's more money than what I'm paying now. And he was literally offering me an i9 9900K, which is actually a pretty old fucking processor by today's standards and i'm like yeah no he, he was kind of a dick i was like yeah why would i do that i'll be like, giving pc yeah, geek can you one. can you find uh what our what what, what our our yeah, server right processor is i know i have it written down somewhere yeah you know what i think you have it over here
Because they don't, they don't run the fucking machine. And I'm almost 100% sure that they're moving. Yeah, where's that tweet, too? Do you have the latest tweet where they put all the servers, PC Geek? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, let's see. Notifications. All right, let's just go uh, scum game. Right there. <clears throat> All right. New IPs, picture format because Twitter won't let me put it in the thing. Uh, yeah, here's the official servers. Migration of some official servers to better hardware, so we expect to change in, in the IPs for those servers list lists of servers below. And I don't think they're using. Uh, uh, it should be the summer, so. And when they do that, I'm 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 almost assuming that Jagex is like, just put it on our servers. Why are you running it on that shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure Jagex runs their shit on some pretty high end stuff. I'm sure RuneScape is probably. Uh, I'm thinking it's Summer Blaze. I think uh, RuneScape probably runs on some pretty good. Uh, you want to? They want to move away from being on Steam. They could use the Jagex launcher. I mean, they could do that. I mean, I don't give a fuck. That's how everybody does it now. Anybody who's big is going to play GTA 5 on a fucking, uh, on Steam? No. You have to open the GTA launcher. Same with Bethesda games and then, uh... Right, right. Everybody yeah, else yeah. does it. Scum's probably going to do the same thing because they're owned by fucking Jagex. Right, and then they have millions of users on their launcher, and then they offer that game for sale on that launcher, and those millions of users are like, ooh, that looks interesting, and then they start playing it. And Steam is kind of like just a giant pond, and if you're not a big fish in the giant pond, you know, it's going to be... Damn, sir. I I've never played RuneScape. John Blaze has, though. He was a wizard. He's the wonderful wizard of Italy. Right, 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 right. I don't think you're going to get that from Steam. Steam, you know what I mean? Steam is going to be like, oh, we'll just do whatever you fucking pay us to do. So when you own the launcher, yeah, and granted, you don't, you, they're not in business to like, like they, they make more, they make enough money. I mean, Steam is in the business of fucking pushing games for everybody but fucking uh jagex i guess doesn't really need steam you know what i mean if you think about it they don't need them like if you don't need somebody just like elon musk doesn't need car dealers to sell his cars he just sells them directly from the fucking manufacturer or he makes his own uh locations well yeah he, he, he makes it exactly <laughs> if they can make more money doing it that way, you bet your ass they're going to do it that way. Right. And so many people that are playing like the survival, like people who play RuneScape are not, I mean, I don't know. I would assume that you're probably going to get more of the non- you're not going to get the like, little Joey. I only want to do is PVP all day. You know what I mean? Oh, fucking yellow and black screwdriver. Nice. You know what I mean? You're probably going to get a different kind of PC gamer or player or whatever.
This is a great video too. This from this tune. If you have never seen the video for this, it's Mastodon Sleeping Giant. Go watch it on YouTube right now while you got me in the background. Okay. Okay. Good. Good talk. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, because I think once the game goes 1.0, Jagex takes over, right? So, and then they're like, okay, Game Pires, go make me another game. Go make me another game. I mean, I'm sure they're not completely devolved to the game, but it'll be released onto the mothership, and then the game will just be, they'll be doing the, whatever their revenue stream is going to be for scum, like selling characters or clothing or paint for your cars or vehicles or even guns. You know what I mean? Especially if the guns do the same damage of the guns in the game, but you don't want to carry an M16 or a VHS. You want a customized, like the charms and shit like that, or fucking. And you know what? Just because the game goes 1.0 doesn't mean the game's over. You know, they could they could have a crew working on it to port it to Unreal 5 because time will evolve, right? And games will evolve, and and it's gonna go to console. So you're gonna have there's. I think that's another thing too. It's probably I don't know if, if is RuneScape on consoles. Not sure. Because that's another thing. If if uh, Jagex will have a bigger footprint on the console scene. Plus, it's a market that right now is only dominated by three companies or three games: Scum. Rust and DayZ are the holy trinity of fucking survival games. Probably the top biggest three. So Scum Jagex is going, you know what? Fucking Rust and uh, DayZ, we're going to take a piece of your fucking pie. We already got a piece of your pie. Now we want a bigger piece. Because that's how people in business work. Someone say they made Scum a survival game on the Steam store? What do you mean? They made it. Is that you? No, that's, we're not over there. If you're hearing something, that's not us. We are not in the town. That's what it's always been in, dude. It's always been in a survival game. Dude, it's always been open world survival. I mean... Yeah, it's never changed. Never change. Yeah. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, you he's like, oh, they made Scum a survival game. Where was it at before then? Fucking PC geek smoking his wife's edibles. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, you should see PC Geek had a tree fall down next to his house. Fucking, he sent me pictures. Literally just missed his house and probably would have fucking took a giant chunk out of the side of it. What it was, it was actually his junk on his model table. Yeah. <laughs> he just whipped out his big hog and was like... They just update the store page, as I know, and added a few extra categories. Yeah, you probably would have had a dude, my buddy, uh, his daughter, okay, there was a storm and he's like, All right, come into the basement. The storm's pretty bad. And a fucking tree in his front yard, his neighbor's tree in their front yard broke and the fucking branch like that big went right through his roof and right through the center of his daughter's bed. Damn. Yeah. Oh yeah, you would have been fucked. It would have scared the shit out of you. Would have put. You got a brick house, look, or you got a. You got a. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. The tree weighs like a couple tons, so. <sighs> Dude, they're not, that's probably.
Yeah, we'll go into RuneScape. Well, I'm sure... I'm sure uh, they're probably super busy, and if it's not an emergency, you're probably last in line. I'm sure there's plenty of people. What do I think is coming for 1.0? It's going to be this summer, and it's going to have the NPCs. You'll have all the vehicles back. You maybe have some those coins, and you're going to have missions. That's what I feel on top of everything, which will change the gameplay completely. And then what they'll do is they'll start adding monthly missions. And there'll probably be characters that you can buy with those. Just like fucking uh, Hunt Showdown does. You know what I mean? Like, you can play the scum with the vanilla character. Or you can uh, go buy the new guy who's got the cool fucking gear that does nothing other than look cool. Tyrone Shoelaces DLC. Right. Gonna be fat and drunken all the time. Listen here. Comes with his own rascal shooter. <laughs> Fuck he's you. He's so used to Lethal <laughs> saying it all the time. He's he was about to say, "Listen, Lethal." <laughs> yeah, I can get shot by myself then. Randomly die, and and you get a message saying you were killed by your teammate. And his sound bitch would be like, "No." Yeah. Oh, fuck you, Chooch. Shut up, Lethal. <laughs> Did you just say you could do the sound thing? You'd be like, Chooch. But Chooch. Chooch. <laughs> but I think, uh, oh, speaking of which, are, Lethal, are you in the path of totality on Monday? The fuck is that? The, 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 solar, eclipse. the eclipse. What about it? Are you you. are you are you in the path of where completely are you like? No, honestly, dude, I don't even, I'd have to look into it. Even... Going right over Buffalo. Oh, well, that's probably yeah. So it's gonna be on Monday towards the end of the day. It's gonna be it's gonna get completely dark for like fucking five minutes, and then the sun will come back out. Oh, I thought it was going to be dark for like forever, man. The rapture's coming back, No, I mean, man. It'll, it'll be dim most of the day. I mean, as it moves in front of the sun, yes, it's going to be blocked. It's going to be cooler because not enough. A lot, lot of the sun's radiation is blasting directly into the fucking moon. But. Uh, I thought it was game over, man. But yeah, you will only experience totality for like a couple minutes, like three or four minutes. So is anybody going to be in the path of totality other than lethal? Because every day lethal wakes up and stands in front of his window, he blocks out the sun for and his I have girlfriend. To call Tyrone to move out yeah. of the way of the sunlight. Right, I, yeah, yeah, right. He stands yeah. and stretches in front of his window, and you just see like the corona of the sun around his fucking fat ass. <laughs> lethal or Cujo, you're in the path of totality also in Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Big Daddy from Cincinnati. Path of totality 2024. So here we go. Yeah, there'll be optimizations too. I mean, that's that's also low hanging fruit. That's like the last thing you do because if the game runs with an unoptimized, it's going to run great optimized. So yeah, Cleveland, Carryville. It's going to basically. Someone's like, it's going through the whole. The whole state of Texas. And I'm like, no, it's not. No. It's going only through fucking Dallas, uh, Russville, uh, Carbondale. Like where I'm at, this is 90, this is 100% totality. And where I'm at is going to be like 90% totality. Indianapolis, Cleveland, uh, Niagara Falls, Buffalo, Rochester. Jamestown, Syracuse, Watertown, Burlington, uh, Canada's a Millen Rocket. So yeah, there's these are all the. Uh, why is Cleveland like fucking Cleveland? You're in Rochester. All right, there you go. No, you're not gonna melt and die, John Blaze. John Blaze is like, are we gonna melt and die? Is my yeah. hair gel going to fuck up? Yeah, oh, your hair gel is going to fucking burst in the flames. How you doing? 
It's going to get dark, though. I have to explain to my daughter. She's like, what is it? Why is the sun going away in the middle of the day? And I'm like, okay. So I had, like, fruit, and I had a, a cantaloupe and a fucking orange and, a, like, a little kiwi. And I'm like, okay. And then it... Hey, it's going through Dallas, though. I do believe Jerry Jones is going to have a seance and turn into a fucking lizard. He's going to be like, oh. Fucking Jerry Jones. You're trash. I should put all this in the truck. Man, dude, I can't believe those two trips cost $4,000, Mexico and South Carolina. You'll see it. Everybody's going to fucking see it. You're just not going to get... There's no way you're not going to see it. The fucking moon is passing in front of the sun in the middle of the day. Unless you don't see the sun, you're not. You're going to fucking see it. In some shape or form. <laughs> PC Geek's like, I'm not going to see it. If it doesn't pass over Massachusetts, I don't see anything. I'll just see the rings around my anus. I mean, your anus. You're going to fucking see it, whether you like it or not. Exactly. We're on someone's anus. A lot of people are going, like, I think, I think my work is just generally, like, I have a plant down south in Illinois, and they're like, uh, do you want to go? And I'm like, not really not really that exciting for me it's gonna get dark for three minutes in the middle of the day everybody thinks the world's gonna end they're like do you realize how many how many places through the totality is going through the names of the city called rapture and then jesus came down from the sky game over man game All over finished. I mean, with math, you can predict when and where they're going to happen all the time. Oh, man, I just ran out of toolboxes. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Blaze is over here. Fucking Benito over here. Benito Blaze. <laughs> World needs a cleanse. The healthy human mind doesn't wake up in the morning thinking this is its last day on Earth. But I think that's a luxury, not a curse. I mean, he's not lying. <laughs> Moses 2.0. Wow. Oh, have you seen? Earlier, I was watching some TikToks, and some uh, religious guy was like, "Yeah, the, the the path is going through seven towns with evil names, and seven years ago, the last one went through seven towns with holy names." And at the X where they both cross, it's an evil town and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, dude. Yeah. That's when you just look at him and go, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Seriously, dude. Get fucked. Seven towns with evil names. Yeah. You know what else the path of totality went through? Your mom's ass. No, nah, it'll be fine. It'll just, whatever. I, we had another one. We had one, what, like 10 years ago or something like that? That was seven years ago. Yeah. What's up, Fistful of Steel? I, I mean, it'll be interesting if you have children or whatever. It'll be interesting for them. I think all kids are inspired by things or inquisitive about things that are not extremely radically different than their every day-to-day -day fucking... Uh, life Bobby's like I don't give a fuck what that fucking piece of shit fucking eclipse does that eclipse can eat my dick
No. Oh my god, I used all the bolts already? Fuck me, man. That was it? Next one is in 22 years. What you talking about, Blaze? Happy birthday to who? What did I miss? Oh, oh, tomorrow it's Bobby's birthday. How old are you tomorrow or today or whatever your birthday is? 34. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 is a lucky number. It's also a religious number. And the path of totality is going through your house. You're now the chosen son. You're the seventh son of the seventh seal. You're now. You're created by pure. You are the liquor. Broken dead, buddy. Right. You can, you can, you know, you can enter the buttholey. The old lady's gonna be like, "You could come in the back door," and you're like, "Yes." Come on, do I get that birthday butt sex? Mm -hmm. Channel Alex Jones. What are you talking about? Oh, you mean with my explanation there? God damn. Well, I guess this is going to be as good as I'm going to get. I should have done upstairs, to be honest, because then they can you could jump up there and... Uh, mm. We can go up for another ride. I mean, because just moving around is moving around, right? Man, I got so many. I should probably put some of these. What's up, Pet Fun Star? What's going on? How are you doing? How are you doing? Do I have anything over here? I'm going to put some in. Dude, I have so many screwdrivers, man. Oh, so cool. Dude, I found another yellow and black screwdriver. I have fucking four yellow and black screwdrivers. Jesus Christ. I need to do, I need to get a kill box card. Start fucking looking for kill box cards, lethal. I'm building the base. All right, build a base then. Curmudgeon. Bastard. Remember, you get a minute to get into the giveaway after the fucking thing bell goes off. You just call me an old bastard. Yeah, pretty much. You don't like it, Lethal? You're toxic. You know that? Whatever. Whatever, Lethal. Dear Reddit. Yeah. Yep. Dear Reddit. Reddit. Me Gee. again. Yeah. And I know it's our <laughs> old pal Tyrone again, but yeah. here. Our old pal Tyrone's up to it again. You know, <laughs> he's all to fuck the world. <laughs> all right, winner of the giveaway is. She doesn't win. She's gonna oh, my God. She won. Oh, wow. And she's not here. Watch. She's not here. Watch. All right. <laughs> Watch. She's not going to be here. She's driving oh. home from the gym. Oh, geez, she there she is. is. Oh, she's like my whammies, whammies. That's not a whammy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Was my mic open? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, everybody right now, everybody's praying to God she gets a you won but lost. I guarantee it. Right I'm, after the right after the Hell Divers two one at that. Yeah. Yeah, right yeah. Hell Divers two one but you lost. Someone could be like, Gamer Girl, do you want to win Helldivers 2 or the $1 billion lottery? Oh, I want Helldivers 2. <laughs> oh, you did! <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> she... <laughs> Is that after the Helldivers 2 one, though? Uh, no, no. And there's only oh, five man. of those on there. I mean, there's a lot of games on there. There's 34 fucking games on there, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> She's like, I'm going back to the gym. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, you can get into this one. Before, she would just be like, oh, I'm so fat and bloated from Tyrone and his games. I don't need to watch him anymore. My Steam library, I had to buy another hard drive for all the games I won from Tyrone. <laughs> Man, look at all those screwdrivers. <laughs> That's crazy. Listen. Sorry, that was slipped out. Dude, you are. It's like a fucking. You, dude, lethal, <laughs> lethal is literally. You know, Lethal's been hanging out with his girlfriend a lot because this is uncharted oh, behavior. Yeah. I called it out. She must fucking do that to you all the time. And watch. Yeah. Now you're going you're gonna to start noticing it. And you're going to get all sensitive about it. You're like, shut up. Stop doing that to me. And you're going to get a big fight and she's never going to touch you again. No, like, I'm, I've, I've gotten past that point. I don't, I don't give a fuck about anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. She's going to be like, you know what, Lethal? Fuck you. All right. She's going to be like, the doors are now being, the business is now not being accepted. All right, Rick. I'm going to need my bank card back then. And... Oh, wow. You got the bank card? Woo, woo. <laughs> Wow. Man, maybe I should just get a dress or something. Fucking, <laughs> fucking be Lethal's bitch. Give me a bank card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tyreen, why have you bought $400 on Steam? I'm going to go be sad now. Oh, come on. You can get in the next giveaway for fuck's sakes. Man, yeah, yeah, water. yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know, these, all these, it's like, Tyrone, I know I haven't played all the games that I won from you. Some of them I probably haven't even installed yet. But, you know. Helldivers would, piece of shit. would change my life. Yeah, you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> you're just like me. <laughs> Trash! <laughs> Oh my god. That that sound clip was absolutely fucking perfect. Oh god. <laughs> Man. Have I really been playing scum for four hours? Yep. <clears throat> Oh, I was looking up the server uh, uh, processor. That's what I was doing.
I was going to get that processor. Here, this is what. That's what our, my server is. So, if you don't have at least that, you're getting fucking ripped off. Hey, what's up, Guer Carrero? You've been playing on the Zomboid server a little bit? Nice. Is it Cuerno? Cuerno de Chivo? Or is it Guerrero? Is that a C or a G? Mm -hmm. Cuerno. Where did you find uh, the Zomboid server, man? It's cool, though. You're playing on it. Thanks for playing. I play on... That's on an OVH server. AK-47 in Mexican slang? Ah, okay. Yeah, I, we've had the Zomboid... The Zomboid server is a different machine. Oh, okay, cool. The Zomboid server's cool. Didn't you just wipe it, PC Geek? All right, I guess it's go time to it'll go time to find more shit. Ah, cool. There you go. You didn't know Doom Eternal, dude. That Doom Eternal is a fucking incredible game, dude. Did you beat beat it on nightmare level? What's the hardest level you went to? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a gun here. I wish I had one of those MP5s with the built-in silencer. I've yet to find one of those fucking guns. I got do I got anything with a scope here? I guess I could take the MP. I'm going to take the other thing and just fill it with the uh, bullets because I think I have bullets in here. I think I have bullets in here. Da, 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 da. E -e -e -e. Oh, Zomboid is definitely a game that will fucking play on a shitty work PC. Zero, zero fucking. Hey, Blaze, are you still here? Did you ever play Zomboid? Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, it's crazy the, the the level of complexity and the new the new builds coming out too. The new builds coming out for Zomboid. They're gonna be able. To, they're gonna build skyscrapers and they're gonna have basements. So along with the map, you're gonna be able to go up and down, and with that's gonna be bring tremendous level complexity and map complexity in the game and. Places you can hide out and just fucking survive. Now, Zomboid is a true survival game. PvP in that game is just fucking dumb. You know what I mean? It really is. It really is. So, that right there is a true survival game. No, it's not me. It's, dude, don't knock it till you try it, 4K Dragon. And that's that's pretty fucking old. I don't know if you played a game that came on floppy disk, and you'd be surprised how bad those suck. What's up, Weigel? Oh, floppy doppy. Zomboid is a really good game. Hey, Goober, you're still here? Nope. It's a perfect example of that graphics aren't everything in a game. Definitely a fun game. Yeah, definitely. You can go down the rat like, you know, you got to have like a sutures and thread and needle and alcohol yep. and bandages. Like you cut yourself breaking a fucking window. I mean, it goes right down. And that's something you really can't like if you had that here, fucking everyone would cry. Eh, can I turn that off? <laughs> it's like, dude. 
I thought I had more fucking ump magazines. Yeah, fucking uh, Zomboid is just like scum, just different on, to you. On steroids. Yeah, yeah, but... I mean, if scum had a lot of the uh, little... Uh, I know the scum devs played Zomboid, just to, you know, scope it out and see... Yeah, my favorite's Rifle and Scum. Oh, I, I mean, I don't have anything in particular. I like the SVD, but the Car 98's also good, too. If you mean Sniper Rifle, if you mean Assault Rifle, uh, the, uh, the M16's good. Nah, good. Yeah, I got a, quite a few actually. Trade you uh, six bolts for a grinding stone. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab bolts. Any, I'm gonna go look for bolts anyways in the fucking city. Don't come over here unless you want to die. Yeah, car ninety eights are nice. Real hill your own. Oh, yeah. The uh nobody uses that either. Nobody uses that fucking M sixteen like iron sight add on folding sight or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? You're Nobody right. uses it. Zero fucking people use that. I would be shocked if someone was like, "Yeah, I use it." You know, there's always gonna be some guy that's like, "Well, I use it." <laughs> Where you at? Right behind you. I don't see you. Walk up to the side of the car, will you? See, there he is. I'll give you a 80. I'll give you the middle one. No, it's six right. bolts. Fuck you. You're getting a 70. I don't care what it is. Yeah, I think I think that you won but lost is fucking people hard enough. You know what I mean? Le yesterday we had like three of them, which is shocking. Crossers. Whoa, 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 whoa. You walk behind the car, you f get the fuck, you fucking hit my car, you beasy <laughs> shit. Fucking get off my property, ghetto ass Don't motherfucker. You, you know, you were invited to live in the estates. Because before you used to win the giveaway, and you were like, oh, I got it made in the shade. I'm gonna get a free game. As soon as you heard your name, free game. Now you're like, am I going to get fucked? Came all the way to this ghetto ass fucking neighborhood over here. That was lethal. Win a duck? Yeah. No, I mean, well, Mr. Coder is very talented at what he does. I, I'm, I can't fucking program and give you a free duck. He's got. He gives ducks. You give. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He gives ducks, and I give. Don't give a fucks. <laughs> Shit! Fucking sliding downhill. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, I really that he's he's good at what he does, and he's very creative, and he's really cool, and he's awesome because he made the fucking part timers website. That's how fucking cool he is. Part dash timers dot live. Check it out where you can see all kick back and relax with all the part timer streamers. He also goes full uh, frontal nudity too. Yeah, all right, exactly. Uh, 
Oh, hey, you know what? Uh, when you're in a hotel, use a VPN and it won't buffer. Are you on your phone? Cuerno? She, she's a dedicated woman. I like I like gamer girl. Yeah, get a VPN for your phone and it won't buffer anymore. I had the same problem. Uh, what do you got? AT and T, fucking Verizon. What do you have? I mean, they all throttle, but they all have a proxy that basically fucking determines whether or not the data you're sending through the network has, uh, you know priority so to speak and uh what's up donnie and if it if it if it doesn't have priority they're gonna throttle it and you'll get that buffering it happens to me all the time as soon as i put a vpn on my phone it stopped doing that literally There you go. See? Yeah. Get yourself... Uh, I use Bitdefender. Go, go to Play Store or uh, Apple Store and get uh, Bitdefender VPN. Yeah, not so much that. I think just uh, cell phone providers put their... Like, have a proxy for their data, and, and they, they have... They have what you call it, uh, like hierarchies, like Twitch. Twitch streaming is not crucial, <laughs> crucial data. If you if you know what I mean. So during peak hours, I don't know what time it is by you, but during peak hours or high high usage hours, the most crucial data will probably be accepted through the mobile network. Then. Some fucking dude watching Twitch. But as soon as you put a VPN on it, they don't know what that really is, so they can't really, you know, you might be important. Right? Right. Or it bypasses the proxy server that they normally go through to fucking throttle you or... I don't think I need metal anymore. I just need bolts. You know what? I don't even know why I'm here. I'll search the cars to get bolts. John Blaze, are you still here? It's 11 30. It's 12 30. He's probably asleep. He's got his bonnet on. Oh, yeah. They, oh, you're right. Troll Garden. Thank you. You totally reminded me. I forgot about that. <laughs> no, he's at home crying because his cowboys suck. <laughs> oh, man. Why didn't I think of this? Why am I such a chooch? Take it easy. Is it stream spinning? What the fuck are you talking about? Spinning what? Go raid my base? Go ahead, go ahead, Dingo. Go try raid my base. And then when you die, thanks for leaving all your crap on my front lawn, okay? Hey, Lethal. Go watch my base. Dingo said he's going to go over there and fucking try to break in. We'll shoot him. You know what I look like. Unless he has the exact same outfit. Blow him away. I mean, I like Dingo, so I don't... I might raid, raid your base with him. <laughs> Just look at her. She's, she's like, not gonna lie. I'm a little, a little salty. She's still stewing. Yeah, she's stewing. She's like, mmm... Man. Probably had to get an extra snack today, too. Yeah. 
Sorry, gamer girl. I wish I could make it up to you, but fortunately, you're there and I'm here and I can't help you. You could have had it. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. All right, now I got to find a place that's got a machine, and I don't recall where their machines are in the city. Whoa! Hey, Blaze, uh, you might be able to join Lethal's crew now for free. Never mind food at homes in real life is right. Oh, look at him. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I reconsider. I mean, anybody who walks up to my base is going to have to take pretty a careful step before they. I really, hey, Cuerno, I really think there's probably going to be multiple trailers. I don't think that's the only trailer you're going to see. That's like that. You know what that is? That's like just a commercial, to be honest. That's just a commercial they've been playing. I seen that trailer fucking. I seen that trailer even before they showed it. It was they were actually running that ad on Instagram. You know that? I mean, it was something similar to that. I think I don't know if it was that exact one, but very similar. Matowski was here. He could tell me. Town. I don't I don't recall where the, the machines are in the city and I'm not gonna fucking run around and try to not fucking call in hordes. Whoosh. The beeps. <clears throat> She's like, I'm really salty. I didn't win that game. All right, gamer girl. I want you to list out five things that are good that just recently happened to you in the last four months. Do I need a toolbox to turn them in the bolts or no? I don't think so. That's what the machine's for. No? Okay. No machine in here. Oh, there's a box right there. Box of bolts. I said, uh, name f five, uh, five things that have, uh, made, that have made you happy or been good for you in the last four months. I want to hear something positive. Geico gets you 15% off your car insurance. Uh, did you see they brought back the Geico caveman? Yeah. That was all salty. And how can you listen to music while listening to music? She got new batteries. Wow, Cujo. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is locked. And I didn't bring any of my fucking screwdrivers. Trash, man. Trash. And nothing in there. Someone just locked it, probably using it as a fucking uh, car storage. Building, oh, that one right there has it. If 
But I think 1.0 is going to be... I think once they put the AI in there, and I have a kind of a stinking hunch they're probably going to put factions in the game. Like, there'll be this faction, and then you'll hang around with that faction, and they won't kill you, but they'll kill people from the other faction because that'll get... A, That'll give more of the teamwork to go, and there won't be KOS, and there'll be more interaction. You entered the giveaway from your cell phone? It's not going to help you. Man, this thing's cranking away. This is one of the nicer fucking quality of life features we've had in a while. I'm back. Ugh. Oh, fuck me, dude. Hey, Goob, can I grab that uh, other axe out of your car? I don't know if you're on or not. It's in the car. I'm, I'm logging back, back in right now. There you go. Good job, gamer girl. Good job. So you don't need hell divers too. Just letting you know. There's five reasons you don't need hell divers too. <laughs> She's like, "Fuck you, you piece of shit." Don't you tell me what I don't need. Yeah, don't you tell me what I don't need. You gonna go see Vlad and Louisiana? Have you ever met Vlad before? Or have you guys just uh online thing? Yeah, you have? Ah, okay. What's up, Joe? Or Joel, sorry. I'm going to loot some metal here. This is the first time me. Ah, okay. No, I've never been a fan of uh, cinnamon whiskeys. What's this? Not a fan of cinnamon whisk. I'm not a fan of cinnamon. The only thing I want to put cinnamon on is my tapioca pudding. E first time meeting in person. So how long have you known them? Hey, outlaw. Thank you. What's going on? How you doing? Interesting. I'm, 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 I'm interested. Five, six years. Uh. I really haven't been, uh, I've been, I've been, uh, staying shy of the whiskey lately. There it is. It's right there. Oh, galaxy blue. Don't need it. Like, I, you know, when fucking, uh, you know, in my youth, you know, I, I tried internet dating, which was like shooting fish in a barrel, to be honest. And there was a lot of people that you fucking, I, you know, I put a picture of me and it's a picture of me and they'd show up and you're like, you look fucking nothing like your fucking picture. Girls, especially when even even girl not 
there was some there would be a lot of girls that were like the first thing they would do is there's like a sigh of relief they would see me and be like oh you look exactly like your picture thank god Which brought me great success in the online dating world. Great success. Fifty out of fifty pot. What do I need to make a fucking explosive? Uh, psh, psh, psh. Uh, ooh, I got all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yep, and I will take that. Yeah, I know, but still, it's just like anything. I don't know. I, I became incredibly uh, like I knew exactly what I didn't want. And there could be uh, there's there's a lot of things that like you don't smell through your camera. OK, <laughs> hey, dude, would you have two nails? Like I, there was like girls, you're like, wow, and you go out with them, they wear like fucking so much perfume. You're like, oh, I want to gag and throw up. Yeah, I was way before Tinder. I didn't. There was no. T I wasn't doing Tinder. Wasn't even around. Yeah, Tinder's just basically a, a fuck, a fuck, uh, fuck app, like free prostitution. They spray all that You've never really dated. What do you mean you've never really dated? You're 30 fucking years old. You've never been out with a man. Not a real man. Yeah. How is that possible? You've had, you haven't been in high school for a long time. I mean, not I a long time. back 10 years. Yeah. Holy moly. All right, rabbit. What's up, Icky? Oh, that's, I don't need that much. Oh, thank you. Uh, just you, take them. Take them. Yeah. You don't date or go out. Huh. Uh, sticks. Gives you five sticks total. Well, that's it. That's, oh, I mean, huh. From the long stick. All right. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I was always on the prowl. All right, sweet. I was always on the prowl. I had to look for them women's. Are you a women's? Yeah, hey, women's. I'm Tyrone. All right. Yeah, I mean, I was, I'm a sick, probably significant, significantly older than most of the people watching me here, so it was a little bit different. Especially when, when you got to remember, online dating when I started doing it wasn't like uh, as socially or readily available for people back in the day. You know, you actually had to have a computer, right? There was really no internet uh, on your phone that was worth a shit. Uh, you know, mobile internet was really in its infancy in the early 2000s. Open the motherfucking door. Survive Jack's boy. Thank you for the raid. The video did. Yeah, I never did any of that. <laughs> Introverts unite, but through Skype. Exactly. I'm not big on clubs. I don't like crowds, so I need to tend away from to stay home and play video games. Yeah, 2G and 3G were pretty bad. Now, I, it was before BlackBerry. I was like fucking like 2003. I don't know. But, you know, you could meet someone at the grocery store. Uh, gamer girl, you could be like, hey, how you doing? Can you tell me where the frozen foods are? You like grocery shopping, too? You like grocery shopping too? <laughs> yeah. Do, do you like eating food? Fifty. Hey, 
Hey, thank you, Survive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, I am. Sorry, Chains. That's what I got for my 50th birthday right there is that backpack. Hey, look at this. There's a fucking... Hey, you need doors for your car? Oh, where is that at? It's in uh, it's in the uh, D three town on keypad between keypad four and seven. Yeah, my first cell phone was a fucking dude. I still have it. It's like a Motorola flip phone. I will check from, that out. In a from sing from Singular Wireless. Yeah, it's got a passenger door. It's the start. Oh, this red car's missing. Either somebody took it or somebody destroyed it. It res pro probably respawned. Yeah. Nope. I'm old. Older. I don't consider myself old. We're going to... Oh, people who are in their 50s are going to get a newfound respect when Mike Tyson beats the ever-living shit out of Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like, no fuck with people in their fifties, man. Crazy. Still beat our ass. Forty two. He would yeah. uh uh Roy Jones said about him. Yeah. Oh yeah, ninety six. That's a that's a good age. You're still doing shit at ninety six. You you've your uh, age is a number. Age is a number until you fucking can't get up off the floor. And then you're like, God damn it, that fucking age. Yeah. <laughs> I think as you get older, it's just a fucking toss of the coin on how your your body. It's genetics. It's how bad you abused your body with what you ate and what you did with it when you were a young idiot like me. I mean, I was a fucking collegiate wrestler, so I'm feeling the arthritis in my hands. I've had neck surgery where I have my spine fused. I got fucking spinal stenosis in my fucking back, so my back has got, you know. I'm not oh, gonna boy. I'm not gonna be really movable when I'm in my nineties, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bill Cosby and R. Kelly also said it's just a number. <laughs> Oh, I got a cramp from laughing from that. Oh, I need to drink more water. Oh, see what happens when you get old. You get cramps from laughing. And then you shit yourself. Don't forget about Diddy. <laughs> Rob Schneider. Yeah. Like, it's going to be fucking... Uh, it all depends on how you treat yourself. That's why... I tell like uh, like my like my buddy's kids, they wanted to play football at a young age and they want to play football in high school and then hockey. And I'm like, dude, do yourself a favor and just go play fucking golf. No, oh, as soon as I get the diagnosis of dementia, I put the gun in my mouth and pull the fucking trigger. I'm just done. I mean, unless I have some kind of like, well, I, I probably shouldn't do that because then I won't get any insurance money. So. I'm not that old. Come on, you're 30. Most people your age would be like, Ew, he's old. He's 20 years older than you. You realize he were, we were 10 years old when we, uh, we, we, he was, you know, like, fuck, it's, come on. He was 20 years old when we were born. Enough to be my dad. Yeah, technically, I could have easily have a thirty-year-old kid. My buddy's got a daughter who's in in her mid-thirties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had a kid in high school though. Shit, my uh, when I'm your age, my kid will be in his thirties. Yeah, so there you go. Like, 
But see, the thing is, is when my daughter's in her 30s, okay, she's going to be eight this year, all right? I'm going to be 85. Yeah. You do the math. Is Tyrone going to see his fucking grandkids? Probably not. There you go, Uncle Tom. When you're also when you're a bigger person, if you're a really big guy, you know, tall people, big people, it's just a fact. Big people don't live as long. Also, if you're eating a lot of carbs at an older age, you fucking you serve a lot more. Eat a lot of bread and fucking potato. I don't. I don't eat a lot of bread and potato. I just. Uh, I just. I just think that your body stops producing the chemicals that made you fucking young and crazy and uh you start fucking like i used to be able to cut 15 pounds in like two weeks like i said i was a wrestler i'd cut weight all the time dude i have to literally not eat jack shit and fucking work out all the time yeah and sitting at my desk playing fucking video games all night when you're 50 doesn't really help either <clears throat> luckily my knees are good my legs are strong that's the only thing i need most people don't realize that if you have strong legs going in the old when you're older you're 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 okay right uh, <clears throat> a good solid core uh and strong legs anything new yeah cuerno we got uh, uh offline well it's available now and we have it on our server we have offline raid protection which means 30 minutes after you or your last person in your crew logs off, nobody can raid your base off while you're offline. Read what whisper. What's it gonna oh I know what's gonna say. Give me hell divers. It's it's your fine overview. Two out of ten. Yeah. Oh, Metamucil. Oh, yeah. That's a thing, though. That's a thing. Uh, like, I got, I had spinal surgery in my neck. I had fu spinal fusion for C5 through C7. Or C... I have to, like... I, th I wonder if I got the fucking picture. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Let's see if they got the picture. I have the picture of my uh, surgery, my, my x-ray. Oh, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll just send it to Toby and go it on through Discord. What I always do, I always send a picture to Toby on uh discord and then i fucking uh just show it because i hate looking for pictures i don't you know Oh, I know. I can do it this way. I hate the way fucking Discord works, but you can go into your phone and, like, send a picture, like, instantly. Share with uh, Discord and OB. Share. Yeah, see, that was much easier than me going and... Going into Discord and being like, hey, Toby, here's the files. So I think. Uh, so here's what they did to my neck. <laughs> I 
I got a pretty square jaw. So, so the lady's like, I, you have the squarest jaw I've ever seen. <laughs> See that spacing there was all closed up. Here's what it looked like before. Here's the MRI before. See how it was all pinched right there? And see these little bumps? This is my spinal cord. These, these were pushing on my spinal cord and fucking lighting my shoulder up and my fingers were numb. I was in so much fucking nerve pain. Nothing was wrong with me other than the fact shit was pressing directly on my fucking spinal cord. And it was ungodly fucking annoying and painful. What's up, Pocket Spider-Man? Oh, yeah, that is huge, Querno. So the offline reprotection, and then there's uh, what else did they put in the last patch? Oh, you can. There's the modular. You can paint the cars now. Uh, you can also um, there's armored they trucks. armored trucks. They brought the armored trucks in. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to think of what else because, you know, everything, you don't really keep it, you know, keep it in memory because you just, it becomes everyday practice. But yeah, the, the no raid, the offline rating is fucking huge. I mean, that's the biggest, hugest thing that I think is going to change the game completely. That was legitness. So no more. Thanks for the alert, gamer girl. And, you know, because, I mean, you played in Boom Boom Room. People would just fucking, server would be going good. Everyone would be having fun. Some fucking Jagoffs would come in the middle of the night, like two or three weeks after a server wipe, and just fucking wipe everybody out. And everybody would be like, fuck this. They'd either quit playing or go play on another PvE server where they wouldn't get fucking wiped out. I don't think people didn't, don't like I think people like PvP. I just don't think people like getting wiped out fucking uh, while they're not on. Just fucking stupid. It, it, well, it's not, it's, it's not horrible, Pocket Spider-Man. It's just what that's, it's what happens. <laughs> that's what fucking happens, man. There's nothing you can fucking do about it either. It's like all these chicks on Instagram and all these only OnlyFans models. Yeah, you know what? No one's going to be looking at you when you're fat, fucking, you got saggy ass tits and a giant fat ass and your fucking tattoos look like fucking stretch silly putty. No one's going to want to watch you and you're not going to make any more money anymore. So either A, invest your fucking money or B, you know, uh, learn how to do something else. And guys, you know, I mean, guys, what you call it? Uh, and, and women, women too. Like they're fucking. They'll. There's clearly more caddy and and uh, their stigmas and all that that go along with it. Not that guys put them on them, but I think a lot of girls just do it for the competition and themselves. Whoa! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Desk pop. Do you have any food? Mm, maybe. Start over here. That's what I gotta do. I forgot, I gotta play some Dead Island, man. They put out an expansion pack for that game. That game was a lot of fun. They have it on the cloud for Xbox. Yeah, I, well, I, I got it for free for Lurk It, so I have the expansion pack for free, so I can go play that. I mean, it's a lot of fucking fun, and you can play multiplayer, too, on that. What's up, soldier? Did you pick up Arma Reforger, or did you look on Xbox Pass to see if it's on there? Me? Yeah. That's not on Xbox. Why wouldn't it be? It's a fucking cross platform game. It's available on Xbox for Xbox. 
You can play it. You can you can actually fucking play it on Xbox. So that's why I was like, maybe it's on Xbox Game Pass. You might want to look into that and see if it is. Because if it is, then we're going to be playing some fucking Armor Reforger. I'm going to show you, like the young Padawan you are, how to how to properly kill people in video show me game. How to play a shooting game. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to play shooting games. Fucking. I don't want to be, I don't want to be here. Oh, come on. Didn't I? Oh, I had a baseball bat on me. So, Cuerno, you should probably come back and play Scum because, yeah, that is definitely a very big thing that they did and i think that was in that was really because tomislav was playing on official servers and was just getting fucking wrecked by like people want to have fun and play the game right and when you're on a server and you how many times do you have to server hop before you stop getting wrecked or zerged by fucking dudes who don't have a job and can be on the game 24 7 like if you have a if you're a normal person who goes to work or just doesn't play games fucking 24 hours a day or 18 or 20 hours a day and you have other things that you do in your life yeah you know it's it's a fucking hard to, it's hard to enjoy the game when you have to play with a bunch of sweats yeah why not? You should definitely do it. Your, if, your, if your squad doesn't play anymore, solo means you can log off half hour after you log. Plus, we got raid alerts now. I, you, we've had that for the longest time. So if someone does pick your lock, it's going to tell you after half after a half hour after you log off. If someone does pick your lock, you, you can log back in and fucking shoot them. So, I mean, it's definitely huge. I think because we, we talked like how many people quit playing scum because they fucking had a great time with it. They bought the game. They paid. Maybe they paid $40 for it. Maybe they spent four, five, six hours playing a game, built a nice little base, put some guns in a box, was ready to like, I'm going to go fucking challenge and explore the map and maybe see what happens. And then they wake up the next day and everything's gone. They're like, yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a fucking stupid. And when I say it's all about having fun, it's hard to fucking have fun when that kind of shit happens. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know? It's a fucking really just fucking... You're like, dude, I know video games are a complete waste of my time in the first place. I could be doing something like going to college or whatever. Writing a book. No, I choose to do this. And when I do do it, it gets completely fucking wasted by some schmuck who does it way more than me. So, yeah, and that's in game. Nobody can fucking destroy your base. Nobody can pick your locks, but they can die to your minds. You will get raid alerts of someone snooping around on your property. So you're like, well, do I log in and see who it is and try to take their shit? Maybe they left some goodies for me. Then you log in and then uh, you're like, okay, I got to go. But then the guy comes back and he locks you. He's got the free half hour. And then as a server owner, you can tweak that. You know what I mean? You can make it an hour. We left it at default half hour. I don't know if when, if and when they're going to implement it on, uh, on uh, official servers. I'm assuming that it's probably going to come and probably be on official servers because what they have in mind for the game is probably uh, you're going to need... like, Because, I mean, you're probably going to need guns and shit like that, especially if there's armed AI running around. You're going to be using those guns to shoot the fucking armed AI. And if you don't have guns and ammo because some cocksucker's constantly fucking killing or uh, raiding you, you're not going to be able to play the game and to its fullest potential.
So, I mean, I see that's why I see scum going down a completely different path now. And we will uh we'll we'll be able to, you know. People are going to probably stick with it. And we have an older, more mature server. But, you know, people do tend to see big numbers. This, when this server gets filled with our, our community and it's bumping and popping with all the fucking OG guys and all the new people and all everyone, when, you know, we had fall guys, we got hell divers. So Scum kind of, it's not that Scum is doing a bad job. It's just that there's been a lot of good games that came out this year that a lot of people are playing. You know what I mean? So with that, you know, you got a perfect storm. But once everybody comes back, this will be a full server. And, uh, yeah, we won't have to deal with the bullshit anymore. Because, let's face like it. Every game, too, if you hit a wall. Right, right. Well, and another thing is, too, is, like, you would be, you really would be shitting yourself if you didn't think people intentionally came in here to fucking shit all over the server just because they don't like me or they just think it's a good laugh. Or they're like, oh, wow, let's watch his stream and watch his fucking rip on him about a certain, like, people come in here and go, why, why is there no population right now, Tyrone? And I'm like, because, you know, you could go to Battle Metrics and look, and there's probably not a full server in the fucking, you know, continent or in the continental United States. <clears throat> yeah, billions of people, there's only like 6,000 people playing daily. Yeah, it's more in it, Europe is definitely a way bigger market for it. Like during the day in Europe, there's like 18,000 people playing. In fact, there's more people that play in the boom boom room during the day than there are at night. Like there'll be 18, 20, 30 people playing during the day. And then uh, at night, it'll be like, you know, it'll drop. I don't know. There's quite a good, I mean, how many people are playing right now? I mean, look. There's 11. We had a high of fucking 18, 30 minutes ago, but like this is, this is what fucking scum is now, man. First of all, like majority of the servers that are, are full are ranked are all fucking Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Singapore. There's the, the forge. It's only got 38 fucking people in it and it's ranked fourth. But look at this. That's it. You got Germany and the United States and everything Southeast Asia and China. But Tyrone. Why well, yeah, and it's another thing. People don't, people don't understand, too, that you don't necessarily need high population to have a good time in this game and or PvP. Uh, again, look at all these servers. You got this one right here. It's, it says America, but it's all in Chinese. Uh, then you got Scum Dumpster, and then Germany, and then, I mean, there's nothing. There's fucking, there's 9,000 people playing, and there's 6,623 fucking servers. I mean, come on, dude. Really? Hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You can't do anything about it. So when majority of the people playing the fucking game are in China and you only got like, uh, here, we'll just do this, uh, countries. So we'll just do it for people in the U.S. because that's where our, our server's based, right? Number four, number 15, 17, 24, 30. Uh, 41. I mean, look at it. Look, all these servers with like 30 people, 50 people, 20 people. I mean, fuck, we were the number one server for like a year straight. So, but you know, things change, man. The game is different. People want to PVP, see? And then they host events. I don't have time for fucking hosting events. 
Because you know what? When you host an event, people still fucking bitch and complain. And then I get really mad and tell people to fuck off. <laughs> hey, thanks, Tyrone, for hosting this event. But I have a little bit of per- constructive criticism and a little complaint here, this and that. And it's like, da 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 da. And you're like, whatever, fuck off. What's up, 40? <clears throat> Running a server and, uh, and paying for it, I feel, is enough. You know what I mean? In my opinion. Plus, I don't have the time or the bandwidth to fucking, you know, be jolly old fucking uh, gamer fucking master. I know the population in China is five times. But the only thing is, even the five times the population, there's still only 9,000 people playing the game. You know, go look at how many fucking people are playing DayZ right now. I'm fully aware that China is fucking bigger than the United States and has over a billion people. But this, that was, there was no Chinese or fucking Southeast Asian servers like two years ago. None. Which is fine because, but it just shows you that like, it's a very small niche game right now at the moment. I'm not saying that I understand that they statistically will have more servers per capita than we will, but even what they have isn't a lot compared to their population. There's a billion people in China and let's say 5,000 are playing scum. That's like a fucking pimple on an elephant's ass. Nothing. Dude, did I use all those fucking bolts already? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Walls eat bolts. I thought I ran out of metal. My whole point is we need more people playing scum. The game will be really good if you can get like 18, 20, 30,000 people a day playing it. I think that could probably happen if Jagex takes it on their launcher because they've got a really custom, you know. Well, yeah, I know that's another thing, too. You got to look at other games, too, like Marauders. It's just dead. I mean, Marauders is fucking dead, dead. <coughs> scum could have been ruined by cheaters. I mean, people bitch about, you know, scum, but it's like it's still there's still a, there's still people that like the game. And those people are, you know, but then there's people who are just like, I'm waiting till it's done, which I totally respect that too. Yeah. I mean, ha- having 10,000 on a fucking Thursday night is and pretty good. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. God damn it. I got to go fucking make a toolbox. Why are you playing music out there, Lethal? Alright, come over here. There's somebody here playing music. Come over here, save me. I thought you were the gold standard. I am the gold standard. I'm going to wreck some fool right now. fucking would save me? I have to turn this off too because whoever did this I don't want any copyright on my goddamn fucking dream I don't know if that's copyrighted or not the fuck someone put a radio by your truck yeah I got some balls times the game had 60k or 30k we had fatal errors non-stop insane game breaking bugs and it got bad rap to people who could spread the word in a good game so one point it is. It is quite. And that's exactly what's going to fucking happen. That's exactly what's going to happen is like, you know, they just people are just really impatient. Right. They're really impatient. And, and it, it, you know, they're going to have to do the, the deal to get it done. 
It's got to be done. I gotta go. Fucking. I'm gonna go. Turn the fucking radar on again, dude. Getting fucked with. What's up, Roland? It's going. What's up, Diablo? So yeah, if you're looking to play scum again and you were really sick and tired of the offline raid thing or it was too much stress for you, I mean it just some people just I didn't I didn't really care for it either. Alright, is that who's on a dirt bike? Nope, I'm in the I'm the trader. I just got to the trader. They're down by the road going towards the dam. Up, Turb. Oh yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying when you when you get back to where, where, what are you on vacation? Are you traveling for work? Are you traveling for work? Once you get back home, it's gonna be, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, get work to buy you a mobile hotspot and throw it up on your fucking. Uh, oh, this is what you do, dude. This is what you do. You got a computer at home. Something twisted. Bueno. You suck. Shut up, twisted. So get a get a program called Parsec. Okay, it's just like GeForce Now, but GeForce Now is where you just stream the game from a high end computer that you don't own. And you don't have to build a computer. So GeForce Now, you can stream the game from a 4080 or 4090, what, 64 gigs of RAM or whatever, and have your Steam and all that, and, and just stream it to a Chromebook if you want. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Dingo because he said he was going to come raid me. Well, whoever it is, they just got to the trader. All right, so, so Parsec is a program that's free, and you put it on your computer at home and your computer at work, and then when you go on the Internet, you can log in and literally stream the game from your computer to your work computer without having the game on your, PC, your work PC. And all the load's still on your, your home PC. Yeah, it's called Parsec. Here, we'll just look at it right here. Parsec. Forget you're somewhere else. You can fucking Blizzard, Ubisoft. Uh, so you can basically load this on your PC and what happens is you just log in and then you suddenly become your PC becomes your, your work PC becomes your home PC and you just stream the game away. Then there's GeForce Now where 
Experience high, ultra high frame per second gaming with GeForce RTX 48 class, 4080 class performance in the cloud only with the ultimate membership. So 200 bucks a year. So if you buy a $2,000 computer, it's 10 years of GeForce now before you make that money up. And, uh, you know, higher, faster resolutions, faster frame rate, real time ray tracing, all this, and it streams right. And there's the day of, they have basic rigs, standard access, one hour session length. $20 a month is no ads, 4K, eight hour session length. I think $200 a year is, uh, if you pay up front, you get, uh, you can do day passes. Uh, just fuel it up. Sorry. Un- enjoy unlimited day benefits for 24 hours. Buy now. You can buy a pass for the day. So say you're at the hotel, you can buy a pass and play the game for a day. What I'm saying, if you get work to pay for you a, a mobile hotspot, like T-Mobile or something like that. <coughs> was it you, Libby? Dingo said he was going to raid me. I'm just saying, get like, uh, or or buy one of these. T-Mobile hotspot, 40 bucks a month. Just fucking carry it wherever you go, dude. Seriously. You literally could take this wherever you want. So for 40 bucks a month and Parsec, you can fucking play your games anywhere you want in the world if you're in a hotel if you're in a hotel a lot i i would that would be me if i didn't have anything else to do and i was stuck in a hotel and i wanted to play games i'd go get a fucking mobile hotspot and play on there no i should probably take this and is there any logs up here no i think they're all done Yeah, someone put a radio there. He's lucky he fucking literally placed a radio like... He's lucky he didn't fucking blow up. Oh, now he's basically... he's yeah, that That's not that close to my base either, so... This food I'm gonna eat is so delicious. <sighs> so yeah, but yeah, you have the raid protection here. A lot of zombies, vanilla loot, and then if you go into Discord, you can sign up for raid alerts. So anytime someone dies to a bomb, fucking tries to pick your lock, tries to defuse your fucking uh, your your mines on your around your base, because some people steal mines too. Hey, PC Geek, are you still here? I think he's also got a, a alert, too, that uh, I think he's working on an alert to uh, when someone digs up your fucking uh, box. You have a buried box. You'll also get an alert when someone digs that up. I don't know. I don't. I know he was saying he was gonna try it. I need to build some fucking pipe bombs. No, it's gonna. It the box thing is gonna is gonna happen for sure. I'm, I just don't know how far along he is because he everything we have here for raid alerts is custom made. We don't use a bot in our server. There's no bot in our server. There's no other copy of the game running in our server to accommodate people with stupid shit. You know what I mean? It's just dumb. 
So we we have the logs that are pulled from the server through the web through the fucking web interface, and then they they write programs, and we have another server. PC Geek writes programs that takes that data and just rips it apart and fucking looks for statistical anomalies. Like he'll get emails, DMs sent to him if people start popping locks off like in one second. It's like a sign that people are cheating. Like, oh, you popped nine gold locks off in thirty seconds and in, in, in ten seconds. Yeah, we, it's easy to catch the cheaters. It fucking they. He has everything written down like that, so that like, there's all kinds of shit. Like when anytime anybody makes a shot over a certain distance, it it sends a little message and puts puts it in a fucking file and sends them a DM saying, hey, this person's made the shot. And most of the time, it's like. Yeah, whatever. But if you start making shots, like let's say you come into the server and you're like a you're you're a you're a classic fucking hardcore cheater and you know you you toggle your shit off. But you get greedy and you start every shot you made is like 500 meters or more. Or there was a guy in there was a guy we had in here that everybody he killed was the within the exact same distance within a meter. Plus or minus a meter. So it was almost like he would get within a certain range of someone, like forty or fifty meters, and then it would it would ESP and show everybody show the person show them where the person's at. We just thought that statistically, you killed ten people, ten people. He this guy killed. He killed ten people in two days, and every one of those fucking people was at forty meters, and it was all over the map too. So we're like, yeah, no, it wasn't streamers either. It was, we just were like, and the devs were like, yeah, he's probably cheating, but that's, we can't ban him for that. I'm like, but we can. I go, what do you mean you can't ban him for that? I'm like, what's the fucking chance that a guy's going to kill 10 people in two days at the same distance, plus or minus one fucking meter? It was either 39, 40, or 41 meters. And that. That's where your body falls after you get fucking shot. So that's not necessarily where you're shot at. So you could be here on the inside of that thing and fall out of it. So yeah, no. But I do think we marked it down and then I we just, you know, little side bet. Like, is he going to get banned? And uh, he did get banned. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, chooch. Any nails in here? I will take that. There you go. But yeah, see, it's 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 way better that way. Boom shakalaka. You know what I mean? All right, and the winner of the giveaway is Goo Goo Wop. Goo 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 Wop. 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 What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Hell divers. Oh, is it gonna be hell divers too? Oh, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition. Woo! Man, whisper to me, Goo Goo Wop. Here you go. I'm gonna die. Uh, doesn't Goober have food? He's got a whole fucking cabinet for right, I'll be right back there in a minute. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were on, Goober. There you go. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's all bullshit. 
Because Google Wop doesn't win all of them. And I'm using a different giveaway bot too, so. All right, getting a giveaway, guys. And yeah, because I'm I've been up for fucking uh I got nails, I'm gonna go make some toolboxes. No, he doesn't. He's also in the fucking yeah. chat. You have to understand that the bot fucking like picks people who are active in the chat too. So if you're talking a lot or you're playing heist or whatever. Fucking daughter's one thing by having a daughter with long hair, your fucking hair gets everywhere. Oh, you do, gamer girl. You're clearly, uh, she uses her witchy ways. She's a woman. She uses her witchy ways to get into the uh, gi giveaways. She puts, a, she puts a spell on you. Ah! Ooh, witchy woman. She would have won hell divers already. Yeah, it's true. If she was cool, she would. You know what I should do? I should put hell divers on the fucking wheel. She'll win it. It'll be the original hell divers that was on P PS One. <laughs> <laughs> you won hell divers, the first edition from the fucking early two thousands. That's right. Now feed me, baby. Taco nice meats. Wait. Thank you, you for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She's going to report your stream for bullying. Yeah, she's going to report. <laughs> yeah, right. I know. She's going to report my stream for bullying. He didn't give me any games, so he's a bully. Uh, ban him or shadow ban him. And I believe he has a camera on his asshole. <laughs> he had a live stream with a coloss. He, he, someone did a colonoscopy on him, and he live streamed it. He live streamed his butthole. Did you see uh, what's her name got banned again? Am Amaranth or whatever? Like, she's really? like, yeah, she's like, oh, well, I guess I'm doing an OnlyFans. I thought she had an OnlyFans. I saw her on, like, on the suggested viewers uh, yeah, last night. She got banned. This is the second time she's been banned. I mean, like, they're getting, they're getting really, really, really. She's like, I'm really happy with the games I got. But by the way, the fucking wheel's rigged. By the way, go fuck. Yourself. Yeah. He's like, Tyrone's a great guy, but you know what? He really could go fuck himself a lot more. But, 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 I'm telling you, the random number generators are kind of fucking wacky. I finally got a giveaway. Have you noticed that not the same people are winning the giveaways? There's a lot of new people that have won giveaways in like the last week. You mean it's not the same five people who win it all the time? Right, 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 right. It's not the same five people. Usually Goober at the end of a stream. All right. Oh, no, it's because Gunnery would, or someone wouldn't be here. and be like, all right, we're going to pull a new winner. Oh, and it's Goober Shooter. Hey, that's only happened like 10 times. Right, I know. Your fucking Steam <laughs> library is like... Yeah, exactly. I need to start going into... Yeah, I'm going to go into Coder's stream try to win giveaways so that I can re-give away them. Oh, re-gifter. <laughs> yeah, I'm a re-gifter. A re-gifter. Uh, go to the garden, see if there's anything coming out. There should be something coming out. That's what she said. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am gonna put a little animation on the, uh, on the uh, wheel when when you do hit the you won but lost, it's gonna fucking pop up and be like something like maybe sound like Happy Gilmore like fuck you or or from his album or something like that. Fuck you, Bishop. You fucking fish eating piece of shit. What game was what? What do you mean? Uh, oh. You guys are talking amongst yourselves. The price is wrong, Bob. Price is wrong, bitch. 
press wrong, Bobby. He gets the he gets up and puts down Happy Gilmore. Bitch. Yeah. yeah. Bitch. He just died last year, right? He died yeah. in twenty twenty three. It was like ninety nine. Happy birthday, Bobby the Ghost, you old fuck. Dude, how yeah, the fuck? Did they do a meme about him about not hitting 100? Yeah. Like he could have hit the 100. Yeah, like, like, the like, right, like Plinko or the, the yeah, the, was it not Plinko? It was the, yeah, the wheel. It was the wheel. Yeah, yeah. His wheel was 100 degree. Yeah, dollar. Soldier, how the fuck do you drink beer at 7.30 in the morning? It was your birthday today? Happy birthday, Black Ice. Toll booth, Willie. He's like, no, there's the chick. Comes up here. Hi, Tollbooth Willie. How are you doing, lady? How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing okay. Here's a dollar fifty. Why don't you go take it and shove it right up your ass? Fuck you, you fucking bitch. Fuck you and your fish eating friends, you fucking cunt. <laughs> come out of this booth and hit you upside your head with a Louisville slugger, you fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll hit you over your fucking head with a Louisville slugger. No, I, I those 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 albums were so funny. Remember the one where he was doing like these like they're driving in the car. He's like, "Wow, you smell that skunk? Yeah, reminds me of fucking smoking weed. Oh, it reminds me of Mary Jane's pussy." And then the guy's like, and then the guy goes, "It reminds me of an old man coming down a water slide. His balls come out of his shorts, and they were so big and beautiful. I just wanted to lick them." <laughs> and then you hear the car come to a screech. They open up the door. You hear the door slam, and then they drive away. And you hear him go, "Fuck you! You made me say it." <laughs> yeah, those oh. are the skits from Adam Sandler and Daddy. Yeah, those are the good ones. Oh, I was fucking laugh my ass off, dude. Soldier, you're the you're songs every year. You're a beast, soldier. You are what I... Well, you're you're probably a young man, and I used to do shit like that when I was a young man. I was a young man when I was a young man. And I passed out. Yeah, Did cause, you go to the garden? Because fucking... Because... Because who can't provide for you? Goober. Goober's a bad friend. I'm on my back. Yeah, you're on your back, exactly. <laughs> no, that's lethal right now on his back. I'm yeah. on my stomach. Yeah. He likes oh, to... Actually, I'm on my side. Yeah, like, whoa. Like a half cross. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you, yeah. You got the bottle flu. I used to have that a lot, too. Hey, remember Tuesday when I fucking streamed and drank a lot of beer and then fucking went to bed? Yeah, I kind of worked from home that day, the next day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, last night when I stayed up till fucking 2 o'clock in the morning and fucking uh, streaming and drinking beer, I went to work today. And who's streaming at 20 to 1 today? Good old Tyrone. Good old Tyrone. <sighs> oh. So there you go. One trip to the fucking junkyard and I had this whole thing done and I don't even have uh, 600. I don't, I don't even have like 500 base building elements used. That's how cool my base is right now. Almost did it again. God damn it. Uber. Hey. You sent me over here to pick weeds? <laughs> no, they well, you I mean, fucking you weed pick weeds, here, man. There's, there are some. Hey, I like your melons. <laughs> <laughs> Check the corn. And Anybody the tomatoes. No corn? 
No, Mars there's no. Be there in like a minute. There's no school day off for the eclipse. Most people, I think, are just not going to go to school or work on Monday. I think it's. I think it's like an unwritten thing that yeah, if you're not at work, especially if you like for what I do, I have projects and I just have timelines and deadlines. And if, if I'm not at work on Monday, no one's going to miss me. And I think I'm going to take Monday off because I'm going to fucking dance around in a tribal fucking headpiece. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in Chicago? Oh, yeah, I bet. Yeah, I'm in Chicago, Black Ice. They... <laughs> They shut down in a lot of the Ontario cities because they were afraid kids would look at the sun. What are you fucking read? What are you stupid? Seriously, you have to yeah. be, you have to be some of the the dumbest motherfucker. <laughs> to fucking, I mean, it's generally not good practice to ever look at the sun, right? Why would a fucking eclipse be any different? <laughs> Wow. They don't teach you this stuff in school anymore, bud. Yeah, I don't think you need to be taught that. All you got to do is stare at the sun for a little bit and go, yeah, I can't see anymore. I probably shouldn't do that. In my 37 I'm years, Mega Man. The, the world has gotten a lot dumber. Yeah, I don't know if it's gotten a lot dumber or we just know about it more because we're so connected to the dumb people now. Before, you never were connected to dumb people. Did you ever talk to the guy who lived in his grandma's basement? No, because he lived in his grandma's basement. And when you saw him, you're like, this guy's a fucking loser. I will never speak to him. Now he can get on the internet and has a voice. Before this is important. Before he didn't have a voice because he was, one, too dumb to do anything about it, or two, now he's going to go, I'm going to go to my chat room, I'm going to go social media, I'm going to tell everybody that the earth is flat. Okay, good luck with that, dumbass. I did, ex I, did ex I, I did research, I watched YouTube for two days, and it's convinced me that the earth is flat. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Yeah, group. Z2? Oh my God. Thank you. That was uh, uh, cola from the drop. Uh, no, I'll keep the zucchinis. I still have a lot of them. Yeah, give that card to, to the guys. You go to the trader and give it to Lethal and Goober. Uh, I'm not at the trader anymore. Well, you can go there. How what about? are you doing, bud? I know, right? Uh, what, what, what are you doing, Mr. You want to know what I'm doing? Oh, dude. Mr. Commander. General, no, General Commander. General Commander, bro. Get it straight. Commander Oblock. Yeah, Bob Oblock. I'm I'm Bob Oblock. You are under arrest. License and registration, please. Do you have a car coming to see one? <laughs> How long is it good for? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Need anything? No. Right, exactly, Red Nail. You know, there's people that think the Earth was was is only seven thousand years old. But you know, when you when you start questioning the fucking shape of the Earth, it's like the Moon is round, the Sun is round, all the other planets are round. The Earth is flat. Like, doesn't make any sense. Look at the Moon. You can tell it's a sphere. You look at the sun, you can tell it's a sphere. You look at Saturn or Jupiter or Venus or Mars through a fucking binoculars, you can tell it's a sphere. You look at Tyrone, you could tell he's but, a sphere. But <laughs> yeah, and it turns. And but but here's the thing though, if we had a flat earth, you wouldn't have any uh you wouldn't have any seasons and you would if it, day and night would be the same time everywhere. You know what I mean? There would be no time zone. Ah, 
None of that would work. Yeah, Shane. Then someone would say that it's a big, it's a big scam. This and that, da 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 da, da and you're like, whatever, dude. I'm sorry that you can't comprehend shit, so you made up your own bullshit. That's all it is. Majority of fucking, uh, uh, what you call it, like tinfoil hat wearing fucking conspiracy theories are just because people are too stupid to find the truth or too lazy, so they just make up their own truth. And it's not really a truth. They just make up their own bullshit and they consider it truth. Like the guy's like, yeah, you know what? I really don't want to f- fucking figure out why, you know, why the things are the way they are. So I'm just going to make it up and then I'm going to tell everyone that's what it is because that's what I believe. No, one, You know, it's like, that's all it is. There's nothing more than that. Because you, and the thing is too, is like complex complex conspiracy theories like super complex ones you're like but that's so much more complex than the real thing you know yeah they're perpetuated by the illuminati but just fucking dumb so can i get onto the roof that's the question here Nope, cannot get onto that roof. Let's see if I can drop the backpack and lower my weight. Because if I can, I got problems. Nope, can't get on. And if they do get on, there's nothing they can really do anyways in the first place. Nope. And I broke my leg. Like, I actually played games with a guy before I streamed, and we played PUBG and all kinds of other stuff. And he, he we found out he was a flat earther, and I, I, I legit, I was like, come on, dude, really? He's And he starts explaining to me. He goes, you see, it's flat, you know. You know how you know it's flat? He's like, you take the circumference. I'm like, wait, did you just say take the circumference? The circumference? Like pi times the diameter? Circumference? Like you can't have a circumference unless you're fucking round, you dumbass. Like you literally told me, you like, you just said, well, you take the circumference, and I'm like, you got, did you just hear what you fucking said, you moron? He, I, I told him, I go, I said, you know what? By knowing you and listening to you, 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 you insult me and my, the knowledge and the schooling that I've gone through by trying to tell me such fucking frivolous bullshit. I go, I'm sorry. His name was CB. I'm like, I can't talk to you anymore. Because you're a fucking idiot. And I never talked to the guy again. I was just like, you have, you have to be shitting me, dude. Like, you have to be shitting me. He's like, well, you see, you take the circumference. And I'm like, you know, you can't get a circumference on anything other than a circle, right? I go, are you going to tell me that the earth is a flat disc? And he was like, no, 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 no. I go, well, then you really fucked yourself right there because I thought that's where he was going. Yeah, I, I, I don't have time for fucking idiots like that, man. I just don't. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Yeah, that, that, that's a great thing. Thank you. Thank you for saving me, Goober. Tyrone just oh, kicked you're me out, left me in the cold, so, you know, with nothing. Hey, you know what? It's a survival game, not a fucking Tyrone give me food game, okay? So go fuck yourself. Feed me, you fat bastard. You got enough food. 
I know I have a really nice vegetable pasta right here in my backpack, but wow. I, I don't want to share it with you because, well, let's be honest, I'm going to need some food pretty soon. That's huge. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Spit and mud. My mud whistle. Is your mud whistle itchy? Itch a lot, and then all of a sudden you start spitting mud? <laughs> yeah, I did. And you know what? Soy. You've heard Soy before. He was shocked, too, because we played games with this guy. Like, almost. He was just, like, he was a little bit older, but he wasn't that much older. He's, like, maybe eight years, nine years older than me. He might be in his 60s, actually. He might be 10, 10 years old, 10, over 10 years older than me. And Soy is, like, three or four years older than me. So... Even Soy was like, yeah. He's like, what? Like, we were just both like, are you fucking serious? He's like, oh, you should go ahead. Believe the lie. Believe everything everybody tells you. And I'm like, there's so many things you can do to prove the earth is fucking round, you dumb fuck. And I go, I'm not going to do any of those because you're a fucking idiot. Whoa. Oh my God, that was. Tell me, who is your daddy and what does he do? Was that crazy? <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? I get in the car and it's like, whoa. And I'm like, whoa. What the? I clipped that. That was good timing. Yeah, you're going to see the round moon pass in front of the round sun. Yeah, the earth is flat. Okay. Fucking chooch. He's a chooch girl and he's gone too far and he thinks the world is flat. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see is, uh, I want to see, uh, I want to see flat earthers explain the fucking, uh, the solar, the solar eclipse. How does that happen? Huh? How do you, how, how would you, how would you think a flat earther would explain the eclipse of a sun by a moon to cover the fucking, the round moon covering, covering the fucking round sun? I'm curious. Someone Google it and make yourself a little bit dumber and see what they're saying. Oh, and the people who don't believe in gravity or the people who think birds are fake. That's another one. The birds are fake people. <laughs> yeah, CERN. Like, they're, these people are, are fucking pushing the lines of physics and quantum theory and the, the why we're here and the secrets of the universe like they like that James Webb telescope they're looking at universe uh galaxies ancient galaxies that are like 500 million years after the big bang and they're wondering why they're so huge because you're looking back in time right and they're looking at these gargantuan galaxies and they're like wait it maybe it's not a big bang because why is there a galaxy that's like five times the size of the Milky Way, which is a huge galaxy back in I'm looking at it back in time, because as you look at light from far away, you're actually looking at it as it was how far it took to travel. And they're like, uh, <coughs> they're like, wait, why is that? Uh, how did these galaxies form in such a short amount of time? You know what I mean? How did stars form in such a small, small, you know, short amount of time? So there's a lot of a lot of things that uh, you know they're rewriting the the books 
on on all that stuff. The whole Big Bang thing is kind of going out the window. So, yeah, and CERN and, like, smashing particles together to try to break them into smaller pieces and see what you have left. When you have something's totally small and you slam it together and it breaks into mil- in the pieces, they can collect those, see where those things go and see how long they last. And they're like, well, that lasted this long and that's a piece of that, so there's that. And they take that and they slam it into fucking something else again. Or the fact that, you know, when you pass photons through a slit, if you're watching the experiment, is different than if the experiment is not being watched. That's the crazy thing right there. Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry. Well, I mean, the moon, again, I don't understand, like, it would make sense, like, even ancient people were like, oh, the moon is round, the sun is round, everything I can see in the sky is round, we're probably round. (laughs) I mean, you know what I mean? It's fucking stupid, dude. Yeah, everything I see is round, so I'm going to say we're square, maybe flat. Yeah, right. That's what you got. Exactly. By the powers of deduction. Oh, I need a two, two, two box. Oh, man. Wow. I can't believe I did this in one stream. I always go all the way down. I don't know why. Because the, the, the fucking entrance. There's a basement in this building right here. I have a, I have the first scum basement, guys. You see that? The first scum basement. There you go. allow you to fish at the trader? Yeah. What am I doing wrong? With? Oh yeah, Scientology is even Scientology is just a fucking cult. I feel sorry for people who get involved with that kind of shit. Oh, drop coming down and see one. I mean, it's just you know why? Because people, uh, people who get deep into that kind of shit just can't think for themselves. They think they're thinking for themselves, but in reality, they're really not. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, the, the you know, they also say the universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. That's another thing, too. Which is a real big problem. I don't know if you know that. E equals MC squared. Well, that C constant is the speed of light. Which, you are like, nothing can go faster than the speed of light. Because if you think about it, things that travel at the speed of light, as you travel at the speed of light, time gets slower, right? Because, you know, you have space time. But as you travel at the speed of light, time becomes slow. So a photon, which is actually light, from the time it's born... To the time you absorb it in your, I don't know, on your sunroof or your car has experienced no time whatsoever. They, they're, they are born and they die and they don't, they don't, they don't, uh, you know, a photon experiences zero time. 
because at the speed of light, if you could travel the speed of light, go one way and come back, say speed of light for whatever, a year and came back, everyone would be dead, right? Because you, you've experienced time much different. Uh, yeah, they're, they're saying the expansion of the universe is getting, is faster than the, is there, it's, there's things that have shown that it, it, it's moving faster than the speed of light. What's up, Hatter? So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things. That's why it's fucking like, you know, these are deep philosophical and scientific fucking things that are way beyond the fucking math of most people can even fucking comprehend. So, you know, it's way. Oh, look at that. I got to never do that one. And that one. Oh, no. So, I mean, this is why, you know, this is why you don't want everybody in your country on TikTok fucking dancing around, flapping their titties at everybody because you need fucking people to figure this kind of shit out and advance the civilization. <laughs> You're like, what did you do with your life? I was a social media influencer. Yeah, okay. Kate, oh, Katie, Katie Kaboom, yeah, 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 he's another part-timer, baby. Ah, uh, you know what, I can get rid of the toolbox. Yeah, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but it seems like I'm I'm really disappointed that I think a lot of young people today think this is a viable way to make money. And you you know, your chances of becoming a successful social media influencer where you can actually make enough money to support yourself, you know, you maybe have a better chance of becoming a pro golfer. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like seriously. You know? What's up, Pixie Dust? Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, yeah, like that little fucking stupid fucking... Who's that kid? He's, like, got an Irish name. He's got a, fu he's got a fucking square head. He's got real skinny legs. Fucking total dork. The fuck is his name? Yeah, 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 that one, that one. Who the fuck is that kid? Dude, if you have to hire a bodyguard, you're a fucking pussy. Maybe you shouldn't be going around pissing people off. That's all I got to say. Fucking A, man. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, give me a fucking break, dude. You got to be shitting me. Yeah, and that kid, dude, it's funny because it's the worst thing is like seeing like he's got all these hot girls and shit around him. And it's like, what the fuck's his name? Someone figure out what his name is so we can fucking look at him and make fun of him. How much of a fucking dork he is and how all the girls are surrounding him because he's got fucking money and not because he's actually, uh, you know.
His name is Jack something. Jack Doherty, right? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Let's look. What's his name? Don't get, I don't want to fucking see his YouTube. Yeah, this fucking dipshit. Will someone give this guy a fucking real haircut? Are you fucking kidding me? It's up twisted. Hey, lethal. Yo. You got anything on you to kill a bear? Yeah, why? Come straight south from where you're at. Are you there at the base? Yeah. Come straight south. There's a bear. We can chop it up and cook it. I don't got anything on me to kill it. Of, of my base? Uh, what? He yeah. hangs out with no. these fucking morons? What is he, 12? He looks like he's got a pumpkin for a head. And you know what? This big mane of hair in about fucking eight years. Bye. This motherfucker right here. This right here. Bye bye. You know, he's going to go bald as fuck. He's going to go. Yeah, that direction you're going. You'll see him right there in the little right there to your right a little bit. Do you see him? Edgar cut. That is so bad. Yeah, yeah that's another fire. thing. Why do kids fire. get that fucking haircut? Why are they call why are they getting this Edgar cut? What the fuck is that? Seriously. Why do you have to be a be a self-respecting human being and get a real fucking haircut, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So bad. So fucking bad. Yeah. Seriously, it's like fucking Jim Carrey. Ah, put another shrimp on the Barbie, eh? Oh, I'm from Austria. Ah, oh, put another shrimp in the Barbie. And she's like. But yeah, like, it's whatever. Okay. Look, clearly he's not rich and famous because he's so fucking cool and fucking, uh, you know, talented and smart. He's just lucky. He's an idiot. He's literally a fucking idiot. Right, yeah, Jake Paul was the fucking chooch behind it. I mean, that's another thing, too. Again, that's another just thing I just can't wait for to happen. You know, I just can't wait for Tyson to beat the shit out of Jake Paul. And Jake Paul really... Jake Paul... These are the things that these, these people have, like, no ethics. You know what? They don't have a backbone. They don't stand on their morals or whatever. Like, uh, Jake Paul, is he going to look like a dick if he gets beat by Mike Tyson? He's going to look like a, he just got his ass whooped by a 57-year-old man or 58-year-old man. Or if he beats Tyson, he's, he's, it's a no-win situation. It's not, you know, I don't know. It's not a fucking, doesn't make any sense, you know? Rabbits behind you, look at that. He had a crypto scam? Oh, I'm sure he's probably I'm sure I'm sure he's probably fucking gonna I'm sure he's probably gonna go to jail. <laughs> yeah. He's probably gonna go to jail. You don't you see fuck people at a large I mean unless unless of course, you know, people were so stupid that they were like, "Oh yeah," and he he had a disclaimer.
Tyson won't get paid off. I think Tyson's ready for it. Fucking, uh, what's his name? Uh, Roy Jones Jr. said Tyson hits really hard. And when you get hit by him, it's like getting hit by a fucking train. So I don't think, I, I told you what's going to happen with Jake Paul. He's going to throw a really open, he's going to go with the right hand wide open and Tyson's going to come with the left and just fucking destroy him. Bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye now. No, nah, he's he's fucked. He's fucked. He's fucked, man. I don't care what you say. Tyson's a uh, world class heavyweight champion of the world. Okay, he's he's got more boxing knowledge in his pinky toe than fucking than Jake Paul has in his entire career. And Jake Paul started boxing at what twenty two or twenty four. You don't start boxing and try to become a pro at twenty four. Usually box from the age of like 10 or 11. My server's crazy with the stats. What do you mean? Boom shakalaka. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picking up what you're, uh, Gear gets worn quick. It's only six times faster than real time. Like 24 hours is, you know, time is six times faster. It doesn't really wear. I mean, it wears quickly because you got to, I mean. You're running around a lot. You got to bandage a C2. Take a cut up clothes, bandage a C2 and sit down. Otherwise it won't go away. You got to cut up a a shirt or sleep in the medic room and bandage it up. So if you uh, hit tab and go to manual and go down to health, it'll tell you how to treat injuries. Or you can go here. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> Treating injuries. C2 exhaustion. Oh, just lay on. Yeah. Just lay on the ground. You made a guy with no stamina. If you have poor constitution, you're fucked. You also need to eat a lot of food, drink a lot of water. Yeah. Because, again, if you play on a server that doesn't have exhaustion turn on, it's a completely different game, man. Completely different game. A lot of servers do not have exhaustion turned on. A lot. And that makes for a completely different game. Because then, like, 30% of the fucking loot table is not even used... Because you don't need you don't need you don't need to make things like vegetable pasta that gives me two thousand one hundred and eighty one calories, right? And then look at my food; it's at one hundred and twenty two percent. So when I'm working and I'm carrying stuff, my character builds muscle. And no, it's all about your overall constitution. Overall constitution, constitution or body type defines everything connected with physical endurance and stamina. Is raised by moving in general, walking, running, swimming, etc. Is lowered by not moving, staying still for longer periods of time. It influences health points, stamina, damage, and status, shock, poison, etc. A.K.A. C2 exhaustion. Resistances, immune system, calorie and water consumption, efficiency. So, you will not get as many infections if you have high constitution. You will better utilize your food that you eat if you have high constitution. So if you have that low, if it's like two, you're fucked. Life, you're, you're not going to be able to run far at all. In fact, con and stamina. So constitution and dexterity, uh, stealth are the two most important things in this fucking server. Otherwise, you're going to get your dick punched in. Yeah, that's why your character's garbage. It's going to take you forever to level that up, too. Yes, it's true. This man no, has no dick. That. Yeah, you know how to fix that. You re-roll. No, no, I mean, they actually fix the staff for the spam, so it actually goes up quite quickly now. Oh, build, well, you build your stamina? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but still, it's still, it's still not... 
<laughs> it's easy, a lot better than what it was. Right, but it's there. still it's still not something that I want to do is sit around and try to build stamina. Like, yeah, you don't need strength. Strength is super easy to build. The fuck do you need strength for? Uh, melee. Carrying weight. Yeah, but stamina is more important, I feel. <coughs> Stealth means you're going to make more noise around puppets and they're going to attack you. They're going to attack you really bad and you're going to get your... You're going to go, oh, I'm going to go to the police station, try to get a gun, and you're going to die. And you're going to go, man, this fucking sucks. So, what I, before you get too deep into your character, put a box in a bush. Go fucking bury up or bury the shit in the box. All right. Remember where it is. Get your coordinates and uh, reroll your character and then go back to that shit and, and uh, get it all back. It's a survival game. Not a fucking live for a long time game. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you can go back and. You can go back and. You can go back and take whatever you want. Yeah, you can hide your shit. That's like what most people do. Take all your money out of the bank, put it in there, <coughs> put it in cash, but make sure you do it quickly because you don't want, you don't want to be like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go do this, that, and then if I can, you know, next thing you know, you're like, oh, all my stuff is gone, shit. Yeah, well, it won't despawn. You can put it in a box, build one of these boxes right here. No, right here. Like this, build this right there. Make it's made out of uh, you know planks and nails and rope and and put all your shit in there. Take a shovel, make a shovel, bury it. Mark on the map where you where you are. Reroll your character, then go back there, dig it up, and take all your shit back. You know what I mean? Then you're good to go. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this fucking... I got to make this bomb, too. I got to make this bomb. Yeah, do not put stats in archery. You have, There are so many puppets in this server that you will fucking level up archery so fast that... Because there's, there's so many fucking puppets. I, I one day shot puppets with a bow and arrow. I got a whore. I got three hordes in a row. It was like 35 minutes killing puppets before they all stopped. Someone grab the highlight from my state, uh, my channel, and give it to Boom Shakalaka of me in the fucking city being attacked by puppets at the gas station that I fought with a mate with a sword for like ten minutes until they fucking just finally cornered me and beat me down, just nonstop. It's a highlight on below. If you just go down, you'll see it. All right, I'll come get the card. C1 trader? You mean C2 trader? All right, I'll be there. It's a trap. But the no the raid the offline raid protection is where it's at. So that the days of playing in the boom boom room and being like, eh, fuck that. I, I like the PvP. Pretty much everybody's thing was is like I don't like being raided and losing all my shit. So 
I'm so glad that that's back. We lost so many people to this server because that happened. Some fucking jag off would come in 3.30 in the morning and take everyone's shit. It would piss me off. Like, dude, you know how hard it is to keep people playing on the server when the fucking asshole comes in? Be three weeks, one guy would be in the server. He'd case the whole fucking joint. Next thing you know, he'd bring five or six of his buddies in like one night. Hit all the bases they could find, lock pick them all, steal fucking everything, chop everything up, and then be and then leave the server and never come back. Or sell it all, turn it into gold, and then have money so that when we re, re when we wipe the server again, they would have money to come back and do the same fucking shit. Because literally that's all there's people with all they would do in some of the servers, so that kind of fucking that just annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, you do. All I got to say, Black Ice, is get good. This will definitely... This is Baptism by Fire, and it's a survivor game, survival game. Dying should be a regular occurrence if you're new. If you're good at it, then you don't die a lot. You know what I mean? Is that you on the, with the bicycle, Cujo? Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Well, a lot of people don't have that same sentiment and it's kind of frustrating, but like I said, there was, we, you know, you got to remember too, we have banned a lot of people. So we have a thing that comes every person that logs into the, the server. We have a program that scans their, their fucking, uh, steam ID. And then it sends a PC geek, a DM. Every time a guy has a, has a VAC or a game ban within a certain time range, it's not, complete you know what i mean it's not a, the whole thing and uh yeah when that we see that we're like bye bye you can't you can't play here cuz we all know cheating's like sucking dick you either do it or you don't right you just that's how it goes there's no fucking no oh, i'm a part time cheater you know when you use exploits to fucking take down other players then uh you're not allowed to play here exploits or cheats i should say I ain't having it and you know what that has saved us from dealing with a lot of bullshit still people come in try fucking around but we get them like the guy i was telling you about that kept shooting people five people he shot oh he shot 10 people in two days his account was like a month year, month old like you just bought your your steam accounts a month old scums your only game and you killed 10 people in two days and they were all from the same distance oh yeah that's enough for me I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I was like, cut them loose. Or people that are like, you picked seven gold locks in 35 seconds. What? Like we see all the, you know, everything's a bell curve, right? Statistics. You got your outliers, the one on the far right and on the left. And they're all the medians, all the meats and meat and potatoes are right in the middle. Once in a while, you can hit the far right or the far left. But if you hit far right and far left all the time, you're fucking cheating. <laughs> you know?
Yeah, but see, people who face through walls, they've they've been busted cheating before. Believe me. We also we also notify if people come in here with a brand new Steam account and scums their only game, and we only allow one character per the server. That we figured that out too. We can catch people who come in with multiple characters. Like they're like, I got a PvP character. I've got a fucking uh, base building character. And then on each character, I store a bunch of guns and log out, you know? Yeah, we ain't having it. I think we're pretty good at it. You know why? Because most people who cheat are just young and dumb. You know what I mean? And I'm not young and dumb. So there's that too. Keep people cheat because they're stupid and they suck at the game, right? So you can't really expect cheaters to be... You know, big brains. You know what I mean? Maybe you got some of those slick cheaters, but then those guys, they may be smart, but they're they are greedy. A cheater will never, ever, ever be like, like cheaters always get greedy, right? They always want more. They always want to do it. So it's really easy to, and we have certain things that we do that PC Geek can do. That can make a cheater fucking expose himself almost instantly. It's kind of funny. Especially Rab Rabbit's good at it too. He he can fucking Get the fuck out of my car. Fucking yeah. I was gonna. You know what I should have done? I should have just fucking. <laughs> Should have fucking take him out, take him out back and shoot his ass. <laughs> the fuck out of my car. He gave me the finger too. Fucking piece of shit. Was that Cujo? Yeah, it was Cujo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, and you know what it is, too? And then running the server and knowing the game and then seeing how good... Scum does a great job with the game because they report everything. Everything is reported. Even more so nowadays. I think they're reporting boxes, who buried them, who digs them up now. So, like if... Like if... Say there's a bunch of buried boxes on the server and then, like, a guy unburies all the boxes. It's like... what? How did you do that, dude? How did you unbury all those boxes? And uh, let me see. You don't have a metal detector? What? And you did it like in five minutes? Okay. Super fucking cool. So all you got to do is learn how to manipulate the stats of the game. And you can really, really, really see the cheaters. Like people are like, well, we have active admins that fly around and drone and watch people. No, 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 no. That's possibly the worst way to catch cheaters. You know what I mean? You use the statistics that bring out the statistical anomalies, and then you go watch the specific guy so you don't waste your time watching normal people play the fucking game. And plus, who has fucking time to fly around and fucking drone and watch everybody? You'd have more admins in the server than you would have players. players in it it's all admins yeah well that's remember bambi land back in the day dude that was all they had all fuck whole fucking server 50 percent of it was admins <coughs> yes i don't want to get fucking caught pants down so yeah i think if you run a server smart it's but you know and I, I, if PC Geek was here, he could tell you exactly how many people we banned that have had previous bans, back bans, and game bans. And a lot of these people have bans in Rust, Daisy, like you know, they're all playing very similar game. PUBG, back bans, fucking CS:GO. And we don't, you know, we don't even want to. We don't even want people to explain. It's enough. We, we, whatever. 
I don't want to hear your fucking story of woe. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck off. It's better to just not deal with you than it is to fucking try to be like, oh, yeah, come on and play in our server. No, no, thank you. We had a guy that was playing with a crew. Remember when they first brought a uh, gun? Uh, <clears throat> remember when they first bought... Uh, remember when weapons didn't have any damage? There wasn't any kind of like... Uh, remember guns always used to be 100% and they never, they never got damaged? And yeah, then, they, they, yeah. then, they, then they brought out the damage for weapons and you had to repair them and this and that and yada, yada, yada. We had a guy... And I remember when that first came out, I couldn't find a pistol or gun that was like 50% or more. Yeah, they did. They took bear paws off. Uh, we had a guy that I remember, uh, Rabbit went and looked inside of his, his gun box, and every gun was, not, was, no, lo was no lower than 95%. I was like... And this guy had like guns and gun. I'm like, how the fuck does that happen? I'm like, I this is at the time when it first came out. You couldn't find a halfway decent weapon. Uh, yeah, this is for the, for your life. You you had to find a fucking uh, thing, and and sure as shit, we banned the guy and the crew, and he's like, fuck you, da 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 da, da. and then e EAC picked him up, and we're like. They were like, fuck you, you're a piece of shit, da-da-da-da, he doesn't cheat, we're fucking legit, da-da-da-da-da, talking massive shit to me, and literally the next day he was banned by EAC. I was like, oh, okay, thanks, thanks for, thanks for playing, fuck off. Like, really? Like, how the fuck do you explain, like, the 42 guns you got in your box that are all over almost 100% durability? Like, how do you explain that? Because it was, you know, at first it was really fucked up. Most of the guns you would find were all junk. The only way you would get a, a brand new gun was if you found it in a drop. So. I don't know. Fucking. Bitches be bitches. Plus, you got, you know, uh, Luis. Luis plays here. Luis Mancada. Marco Salamanca. The character in Scum. Other, next to Danny Trejo and Tuco. He plays here. He likes playing here. I shot at him yesterday. Hey, what's up, Couple Lock? Yesterday. Uh, the day before yesterday, actually. I thought it was... I'm getting I forgot I played free forger yesterday. Man, your cognitive abilities are going way down, man. Yeah, I know, bro. Cuz I'm hanging out with you. Oh, that's just rude. Yeah. Get this this whole thing was turned into metal today on this whole stream. So I went down to the junkyard, collected all this metal. Probably going to turn these doors into metal too. But I'm going to get this done first. It was all done. How about that? Why can't I do that? Why can't I do that? What's missing? Oh, fucking toolbox. God damn it. Hey, 
And PC Geek, our admin, is quite possibly the best admin you could ever ask for in a game. He doesn't he doesn't really he doesn't play. Rabbit doesn't play either. And uh yeah, I don't know. That he's just fucking really just really good. Uh nails. Or do I need bolts? I can't tell what I need. Cuz I uh probably bolts. God damn it, I'm gonna have to go fucking make bolts now. So fucking dark, man. There you go. You guys should be able to see now. There you go, see what I need. I'm fucking, uh, I don't fucking want to dick with this anymore. I'm going to build a workbench too. What I need a rebar cutter and a drill. Rebar cutter, drill, bunch of logs, bunch of nail, a bunch of bolts. <laughs> yeah, I got to go. Yeah, it's a fucking bolt I need. God damn it. Bunch of metals. Why can't I, uh, I have the toolbox. Oh, what the fuck? Did I drop the toolbox? God damn it. I did. Where did I drop the toolbox? Probably back. Whatever. I don't have any bolts. Now I got to go get fucking bolts. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's in there. Go get bolts. Make bolts. Am I triple carrying? No, I'm not. You can triple carry now. You don't drop anything unless you eat or pee or poop. She's crafty. She's what you want. She's crafty. What's up, Agura? All right. No, I don't make me fucking make bolts, dude. Fuck am I making? All right, how many do we have? One, four, five. All right, I think that's going to be enough to get our doors to. Uh, yes, correct. When they say search on them, they're ready to harvest. But you may not get any plant, any fruit. Or vegetables, if unless you, you you get better yields if you use uh, fertilizer. So speak. The higher spe your farming as well. Yeah, and the higher your farming skill is too. And yeah, there's 55 cars on the map, and they all have engines in them. And uh, if they don't get used up in seven days, they they respawn somewhere else on the map. 
So there's plenty of fucking cars everywhere. Plus you can buy cars. And only it's only 150, I think, to buy a motorcycle fame, but that's you know. That's why when when we wipe the server, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The next thing, especially with the bases and everything else, it's just gonna be lots of fun. And then I get to make a fucking bomb. I'm making a bomb tomorrow. I think I only got four minutes left in the giveaway, so I'm not going to be doing the... I got the pressure cooker bomb I'm going to make tomorrow. And we're going to use that and set that up somewhere and fucking... Someone's going to come in with their whole squad and just get fucking demolished. <laughs> Turn into a grease spot. Here we go. Why can't I upgrade this door? There you go. Thank you. Can I upgrade it again? No, I cannot. You can only upgrade the doors twice, right? Why can't I upgrade this floor? Why can't I upgrade it? What? Why won't it let me upgrade it? Oh, oh you want to know why? I'll tell you why. I can't upgrade it because it's it's hanging over a cantilevered edge. Oh, that's I never knew. I've never noticed that. Did you guys notice that? It'll be too heavy to support itself. Yeah, it will. Can I can I put it off of here? Oh, I can put something here though. Oh man, you, you suck. suck. Whatever, I don't need that to be I don't need this to be metal anyways. But yeah, there you go. That's the first time I've ever seen that, I think. Yeah, it's gonna take like it's gonna take like uh depending on are you playing here or you where are you playing at? I don't know what time how long it takes the uh like Time wise is different if you have your server time turned up or down. But like mine right here. Oh, okay, well, I don't know what the time is there. So, like, I don't know if it's like, uh, like this right here. See, it's not, uh, it's not ready yet to, to search. You can destroy it. I can't do that. I can search the, uh, carrots, but I already got carrots today. Oh, look at that. I got a couple of cloves of garlic. I got, uh, I can't search my peppers, but I can search my broccoli. And yeah. I think if you go like this and then you hit, uh, what is it? What is it? Properties? When you hold F on to get properties? How do you get the plant properties? Uh, left click. What do you mean left click? Focus mode. I mean, focus mode. Oh, they are focus mode, broccoli, ripe water. Uh, and then you got organic fertilizer. So that's how you can tell. So this is, uh, peppers flowering. This is flowering. That's ripe. That's ripe. That's ripe, ripening, ripening. So there you go. You have flowering and then ripening and then ripe. What are you talking about, Draw? I mean, Kupalak hit it a couple weeks ago, but he lives in Turkey, and for some reason, any of the games that I offer on Bumper Jump are not available in Turkey, well, at least for me to buy. And I, I bought him a game, and it said global. I bought, I bought him, 
I bought him a EU game because Turkey's technically in the EU. Lethal's one. A lot of people won it. Yeah. Never say never. Because there's you get you get you get big time uh prizes in this fucking server if you hit, you know, hit that shit. It, you don't want it to be all the time because I would never make any money at fucking streaming. Yeah, if they say destroy plant, it's automatically dead. Unless it's not completely flowered. If you have a completely flowered plant, ah shit, I open the door. I'm still looking, Kapalak. I'm trying to find a fucking game, but Turkey's a real bitch when it comes to fucking uh How do you even watch Twitch? I thought Twitch was banned in Turkey. So I don't know. They're real it's real. I thought it was banned. No, oh, whatever. Can I still get in the car? Yeah, I can. There you go. Well, there you go, guys. One guy, one truck. No help. Turn this whole thing, except for the roof, into metal. Well, on the stairs, but who, who fucking cares about the stairs? I think stairs is just a waste unless, you know, cause you, it's, you can, you, if you destroy this right here, then no one's going to be able to get up there. Well, you don't ever know what you're going to get. But look at the sight lines I got here though. It's great. All right. The winner of the giveaway is Ogura. Agura. <laughs> before, before she doesn't see Gamer Girl, she's like rigged. She's like, fuck this guy, man. Reddit. To, I go to Reddit again. Well, remember, guys, you can lose now when you win. No, yeah. <laughs> All right. Rico, you need any more food and drink? Oh, no, I'm good now. Avsala into the Soul Palace. Stop it! Wow. Wow, you barely fucking won, dude. You barely won. Well, two winners, two losers today. Right? Two winners, two losers? Camera goes like, thank you for fucking reminding me. Yeah, I remember that first loser. Wow. Who, I'd give anything for a glass of ice cold water. Who was that? I don't remember. I don't remember. All right. That's right. 
Hey, hey, hey chains. Nice and slow. Wait, are you a dude? Matoski, thank you for the resub, dude. There's a plant harvest thing? I don't know. I know we never fuck with anything on the plants. Okay. I don't know. I don't I don't know what we do for plants. We just don't we don't fuck with it because we don't care. Just fucking vanilla. Something we just said play the way the vanilla game is. I don't I don't know if uh All right. What's going on, man? I was just about to log off before you came in here. I'm fucking tired. Super tired. Super tired. All right, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got here? Uh, it's uh, two o'clock. Yeah, I stayed up to two o'clock two days in a row, and I went to work today, and it was fucking. I was dragging ass, but then I came home, and I dr I had dinner, and then I was like, man, I want to stream, so I had a cup of coffee. So, I uh, basically uh, did that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, man? So yeah, I'm really fucking. Uh, what we got here? You land? Yeah, you can land. You just got to get a hundred percent, though. When we get another patch, Matoski, huh? 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 Well, we're getting ranch dressing in the game. Yeah, we're getting ranch dressing so you can spread it all over your hidden valley. All right, take it easy, Bobby the Ghost. Can we get the uh, crafting uh, grinding tools back? Yeah. All right, guys. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Why I can't fucking do what's going on. Let's see what you said old. Oh, shut up. Fucking crash. Matoski's going to do a Brokeback Mountain update for you, Tara. Yeah, you need my character. So then when you fucking, you just walk in and he goes, chooch, 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 chooch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Me, You're kidding me, right? Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was your name. Your... No. And you put this one in too. Yeah. Don't forget. I am a liquor. <laughs> oh, and this one. You happy? Fatty make a funny. All right, guys. You're I gotta go to bed. Trash. He wouldn't fit into the screen? Oh, fuck you, dude. Now I'm going to come to fucking Croatia and <laughs> kick your fucking skinny little ass. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Oh. Wow.
Wow. Yeah. Your favorite person. Yeah. I'm going to come to fucking hey, Croatia with a loaf of bread. Here, eat some food, Matowski, you fucking prick. Does Matowski know why we're asking for a ranch dressing, though? No, I don't want to go Does explain. You know the meaning of it? Not, no, I'm, I'm ending stream. Let's not get into that just now. You know, We can <laughs> talk about that later, how you fucking used to eat ass with ranch dressing. You don't want to go down the Hidden Valley? Yeah, I don't want to go down the Hidden Valley anymore. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys. I'm sorry for Matowski who just showed up. No, not really. He fucking prick called me fat. <laughs> He's not lying. Yeah. All right. I'm not fat. Fuck you, goober. <laughs> Why don't you turn on your camera and show your ugly fucking mug? Because I'm not handsome like you. Yeah, oh, well, hey, well, he called oh. me hand. Wow. Oh. Wow. That Sounds like a little <laughs> penis to ass fucking insertion there. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. I'll see you on the flip side. See you tomorrow. We'll be streaming tomorrow. And it's going to be a late stream. Maybe I'll start early, too. So who knows? But uh, have a good night. Take it easy, guys.